And oh! welcome to oh, that was good. That was a bunch cool. of us nerdy ass voice actors play Dungeons and Dragons and oh, point to Liam O'Brien for the evening. Oh, wow, well, fucker. Um, the you know, right in the face. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, for those tuning in for the first time, welcome to the chaos. Um, we have a fun continuation of a very fun storyline, uh, but before we get to that, let's go ahead and get through our announcements for the evening. Uh, first and foremost, once again, uh, we thank last week's uh, sponsor Backblaze, but today brings back Loot Crate once again. Loot Crate! Uh, <laughs> Sam, why don't you tell us all about it? Loot Crate, guys. <clears throat> okay, we'll no notes. Flying without a net. Oh, don't worry. I'll come up with something. Um, <laughs> Loot Crate guys, so they don't, uh, they gave us some great information about their next month's theme, which they're gonna announce on the 26th, which is Monday. They didn't tell us what the theme was, but that's the exciting part, because now we get to speculate. <laughs> so I've prepared three ideas for what next month's Loot Crate theme might be. I'm just spitballing here. N number one. Screws and nails. It's just a box of <laughs> screws and nails. You got your wood screws, you got your metal screws, your two inchers, your one inchers. Pretty cheap to produce. It's thoughtful. Yeah. yeah. And useful. Number two, storks. It's the the theme is storks, the movie Storks that's uh -huh. out this week. Oh, sure. right. It yeah. includes a handwritten letter from uh, uh, Andy Samberg trying to beg you to go to see the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and one baby stork, no instructions on how to care for it. <laughs> You just have to deal with it. <laughs> storks in theaters now. Oh, is that, so is that a real movie? Is that actually a real movie? That's yeah, it is, it is out now. Wow. Storks, storks, animated film. I, I still three. think Stork Patrol is the best Andy Samberg related story thing that's ever happened. Uh, and and number the, three, this is, just, this is what the theme for Loot Crate could be announced on Monday. It could be Fifty Shades of Grey. They give you a ball gag, some can. And your own personalized safe word <laughs> is harder, baby, harder, which is very confusing. <laughs> but those are my ideas for what could be announced on Monday. And whatever it is, when it is announced, go online, subscribe, use the code Critical World to get three dollars off your subscription. Loot Crate, we love them, no matter what the theme is. <laughs> Thank shit. you. Holy shit! Uh, I, oh. I, I, feel, I feel like oh. we should put. Wow. I feel like we should put a, a Twitter poll up at some point about which of those three we all believe it might be. Oh, right? let's Ooh, make, like a poll. <laughs> make a poll. Make a poll. I'm gonna do that right now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh. Next announcement. It's gonna be um, the next show I produce. <laughs> exactly. Let's make a poll with Sam Regal. <laughs> okay, keep going. Risha, you want to talk about uh, the new? Speaking host? of shows I produce. Hey. Oh, oh, what's wait. up? Oh, Look at that segue. That was slightly less awkward than a real segue. Right? right. Am I right? Yeah. So Signal Boost. Lean into it. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> Signal Boost is back. It never went away. You didn't realize that, but it's back. <laughs> it feels like it went away. It feels like it went away. It did not. You just forgot about it. It's back with Damien Poitier. Woo! Was awesome. He was Thanos. The first Thanos before he got replaced because celebrities are dicks. And um, Except for the ones that come on our show. Yeah, right, he was happen. also chains in Payday, which is what everyone has been now shouting at us through Twitter. He was in Civil War as the guy that gets killed, but. He was, yeah. he got, he gets killed in Civil War. He was in yeah, Star, technically, Star Trek movie. tranquilized. Oh, tranquilized. Apparently, okay. is what he yeah, clarified. He's Captain America. Tranquilized. Wars, so. Anyway. Spielberg E.T. Uh, walkie yeah. talkie, walkie -talkie, -talkie, -talkie yes. world, he was tranquil. Right. Um, oh. Other than being, um, <laughs> but then having chains, being sh social media, people have also shouted. He's very attractive and sexy, so maybe that's a selling case. point for it's you. True. So you should go watch I it. Do. He's out right now. His second episode is out this past Tuesday. Go watch him. He's he's funny. He's very charming. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. He has Thank great you. shirts. Laura, did you have an update in regards to the merchandise? Merch? Merchandise. Merchandise. I've been organizing my dice while you guys were talking, and so now I'm set. Um, mm. in the store we have things available for you to buy. And um, what are they? Well, not as good as this as Sam is. Okay, so the rings, Pull there's up. two Pull sizes up. left. There's six and seven. So if you have little itty bitty fingers, you can still get one. My the patches are out of stock. Sorry, people. Yeah, but patches I'm proud are out. of everybody that got one. Um, the nail wraps are still there. The oh. mugs are still there. 
and the I'm doing pins right now, and yeah. the, the yeah. wristbands that Travis is wearing right now. I sleep in this. Those yeah. are available for pre-order for well, one more day as of 5 p.m. I think our brand. time, California time. They're going to be out of the store. And, and it's uh, legit. Mine smells like a cast. He's been wearing it every day. <laughs> yeah, so. <laughs> Does not. It doesn't smell. Cast, cast just smell no, like you after smell. a while. That's kind of the nail wraps are limited too. Yeah, I know the nail wraps are. There's only some, a few left in stock. Yeah. You know, yeah. go get them. You gotta go They're get them. They're awesome. Them. The oh. guys like to get them Ooh, and nice. put them on that their middle awesome. fingers so that you can yeah. flick off. How do you want to do this? How do you want to do this? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's good. Mm. I've got yeah, mine. I've got good. mine for for a, for a Disney trip later this week. Oh, so, nice! The yeah. patchwork yeah. ones. Those yeah. are good. Yeah. Nice. Guys, so far, Storks is just eking out <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey and nails and screws. <laughs> it's tight though. Yeah. It's thirty-two percent, thirty-two percent, and thirty-six. I was really. <laughs> yeah. We'll have further. Yeah. Tonight's episode on this. Riding, riding that wave of. Interest and tension. Um, well, great. Uh, I do. We have anything else we need to announce, or is that the end of our? Uh, no. I think we're good. All right. <laughs> that being the case, let's go ahead and dive into tonight's episode of Critical Role. No! Welcome back. So, <laughs> dive in to this evening's episode of Critical Role. Our band of adventurers, Vox Machina, have been in search of the Vestiges of Divergence, a series of powerful artifacts that they will utilize in the coming battle with the Chroma Conclave, a collection of dangerous chromatic dragons that have tore through the countryside of Tal'Dorei and beyond. Um, you've felled two of the dragons, one long ago and one relatively recently, uh, named Amrasil. Uh, you've seemingly Briefly passed by Vorugal, the White Dragon, and Thordak still sits among uh, on top of Iman uh, with Raishan somewhere in the wind. You made your way to the distant continent of Marquette, eventually to the city of Ankarel, uh, where you began seeking another vestige known as Cabal's Ruin. After some fun casino games and losing some money on some drug deals, um, you <laughs> discovered that the owner, <laughs> allegedly, the owner of Cabal's Ruin was found killed. Uh, wounds referring to or pointing towards some sort of bullet entry and exit points, uh, and a uh, woman matching the description of one Dr. Anna Ripley, having left but a week before, the cloak nowhere to be seen. Uh, through a couple of uh, scry attempts, you managed to see that she, with her own band of uh, bodyguards, were, uh, was currently heading north through the ocean via ship, Towards some dis some something in the distance, which you found to be uh, a island made, or now currently covered in shards of broken glass, known as Glintshore, as part of the Hespit uh, Archipelago. Um, you guys managed to, through your influence and discussion, attain a skyship. Um, who knew? Who, who knew? Crazy. Um, with Captain Damon, <laughs> who previously had taken you guys to Vasselheim long ago. You, through the druidic mastery of Keyleth, uh, tore through a storm that would have yes. slowed your arrival, uh, seemingly forcing uh, an earlier uh, earlier arrival than expected from the team at uh, Glenshore. Uh, you guys went into full-on Avengers mode and 
tore into their ship, destroying it in the bay outside of uh, Glint Shore, swooped down onto the edge of the dark glass and soot-covered beach, and you now are all kind of gathering the scenery around you as to what your next point in this uh, aggressive maneuver is. So, at this point in time, you've all sort of gathered along the eastern beach of Glint Shore. Grog, you are still an eagle, a giant eagle, polymorphed by Scanlan. Um, you uh, you have your wings out still. Uh, you guys have flown about, about, and you've seen what appears to be the remnants of some sort of a, a small campsite with a, a an faint ember still burning and giving off a hint of smoke, but it's been a while since it has been utilized. We said like, like five hours is what I... About five hours. Uh, like you just got there and kind of uh, ch checked it right now. You, um, we'll get into the more specifics of that here in a moment. Um, so we have uh, currently, if I recall, uh, Grog is an eagle and Scanlan, and who else is in the center of the beach area between the actual shoreline and the jungle? I'm just showing up on the beach. Okay, beach. I was also on the beach. I thought we were on route when we ended. No, we ended we up. Got we had like just, just gotten landed. there. Just, yeah. just gotten there. Yeah. Yeah. Just gotten there. We're halfway. Oh, there's the accent. Yeah, right. yeah. So, so we have we have kind of in between the the shoreline and the the, the the tree line, the the mostly dead petrified uh, trees, uh, gray and in the distance. Uh, we have the two of you, and uh, the rest of you currently are now gathering at the beach at the campsite. So I pop chink it out. Okay, trinket <laughs> growls and kind of looks around. Immediately looks down at the paw with like the piece of glass sticking out of it. Oh, <laughs> You're tough. Um, so uh, there is. You see, there there are two what looks to be small boats that are currently pulled up onto the shore just outside, like slightly north of this campsite. It looks like there's a tousled blanket that is somewhat dirty, um, with like a small pack that was kind of pushed in the side, the leftover campfire, and it looks to be some sort of uh, movement, like something heavy had been pulled from the water uh, into the campsite and uh, somewhere else from within. Uh, do you wish to continue to inspect the um, campsite? Do we see any uh, like tracks? Are there tracks? Able to be left on. Uh, the make an glass? investigation uh, for this for you. If you're, if you're, are, are you are you just inspecting for details, or are you trying to track? I'm trying to see where the people went. Okay. Uh, go ahead and make a survival check to see if you can follow any tracks. What, do you, what are the people doing at the campsite? I want to check the boats. Okay. Make an investigation check. You die. Survival. Mm -hmm. Eighteen. That was okay. okay. That's okay. What'd you get? Uh, I got an eight. Okay, uh, they're boats. Um, <laughs> I mean, like they're I, made of wood. I just tussled the the blanket aside and just. Yeah, uh, they're actually there's two blankets that are kind of folded in there. Um, What's in that pack? What pack? There was a there's a pack in the bag. Is there a pack in the bag? Yes, your low roll of investigation. Uh, I have not you to noticed. Really missed that there was a pack there on the side <laughs> of you. the blankets. Uh, you go to inspect it. You check and see that there are a number of uh, uh, footfalls in this area clustered. <laughs> Um, I'll my best. Sporadically, it doesn't look, it looks like some of them seem to be with haste, some are dragging, like heavy, uh, the heels are pushed in deep, and you see what looks to be a large, heavy groove that was pulled to the campsite and is pulled further, further inland towards the tree line. Okay. Um, what are you guys doing right now? I'm gonna uh, mount Grog. Thank God, <laughs> it's been so long. And say, uh, Let's go scan around the tree line, friend. Fly, fly! <laughs> then I'll take off in my bird form, admiring the arch archipelago, but I have an intelligence of eight and realize it's archipelago. <laughs> You're such a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and I head for the tree line. All right, you guys take him over the tree line. Uh, make a perception check, both of you. And you have advantage, Grog. I do? You're an eagle. You see everything. Giant eagle. Eagle, you have eagle eyes. Eagle eyes Fox see, Grog. Yes. Not shit, <laughs> so apparently. What the fuck's wrong? Oh, that one's What's the possibility cool. that Ripley can make herself invisible? Oh, that's a one. <laughs> I legitimately have no idea. One. <laughs> one. With, with my brand new awesome <laughs> 20. Six Gotta break it in. Gotta break oh. it in. Never oh. gonna use again. Oh. <laughs> Gotta break it in. You swoop up over the tree line and, and do a couple of scans over the. Um, the, while the trees, many of them are, are dead, you do see there are a few peaking bits of green. It looks like even in the midst of this kind of barren landscape, uh, elements of nature have still managed to push through um, here and there. Just a little dappled peppering of green, uh, but the canopy itself is still too thick for you to make out any details from above. Um, that's as much as you can make out. Petrified uh, trees, or are they scorched? Uh, both. 
Uh, it looks like a lot of it is just burnt and black, uh, but some of it also looks like the the wood itself has been dead for so long that it's become a uh, dull gray, hardened exterior. Sound like you said petrified. I did. <laughs> Petrified. Yeah, petrified. Entire state building. <laughs> Turns into stone. It's deep battered. Uh, Hamburger. Wait, so you didn't, see, you didn't see anything groggy? <laughs> ah! Oh, ah! Not. <laughs> Scanlon, I may borrow you for a second. If I'm in the air. You can't talk. I have, to me. I have an. I have an earpiece. Scanlon! Hi, I'm on the. <laughs> <laughs> um, when you get a moment, we could we could use you for a second down here. All right. When you have a moment. I start taking my broom and just kind of swinging it around me to see if I hit anything that's invisible. Okay. Hey, um, did you see when you crashed through? Were the people on the ship? Um, I know there was one that I might have crushed underneath me that went down. Um, there were also others on the ship, correct? Uh, there at least three on the ship. Uh, headshot by Percy and as it caught fire. Mm -hmm. uh, there was another that uh, was crushed beneath your feet. Yeah. So probably dead. So, you know, there might be a couple if they're real good swimmers, they might make it. All right. With severe burns. <laughs> <laughs> and psychological damage. But... <laughs> <laughs> a little creepy, Maybe. Right, well, but a very good job. <laughs> Thanks. I will Thank you. turn. I'll turn Grog's head and point him back to the campsite. How do you turn my head? Well, I'll just say to you, Oi, If you don't see any, <laughs> see anything, call once, and we'll head back to camp. Ah! 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 <laughs> I forgot you can't count. He says so he sees three things. Shit. <laughs> All right, we'll just fly around then. <laughs> uh, actually, instead of that, can we go a hundred yards past the tree line and into more of the forest just to see what's there? Okay. Yeah. Maybe, uh, you coast up and begin pushing through, and down below you can see. Um, you know, occasional breaks in the tree line here and there where you can, there's like heavy brush underneath um, and the same horrible texture of uh, broken glass kind of jutting haphazard patterns. There are certain areas that are um, aggressively broken and some are just kind of more smooth glass. It looks like it depends on uh, at what point this event happened that turned this entire island um, and how much has been traversed in the time, but you can't make out much more than that from your height. Mm -hmm. Have I got about 30 or 40 minutes left for the wings? Approximately. Yeah, I'm gonna fly out over where the ship was and see if anybody is doing the dog paddle out there. Okay. You go heading off in that direction. And I'll land us, I'll land us at the tree line. Okay, you guys land at the tree line. As you land, um, Laura, Percy, Aquila, um, you guys, uh, feel like there's like this kind of breeze that's been blowing through the beach since you've gotten here. Starting to kind of pulse a little, and the wind starting to pick up uh, rather suddenly. Uh, Keyleth, you were relatively sensitive to this, knowing yeah. that um, the sky has been relatively clear with just bits of cloud. There's no particular reason as to why there should be a sudden gust of wind. There is no weather that is indicative of that sort of a. Uh, also, my control weather spell should still be active. Yes. So. Oh. Nature check, druid check. Nature what the check. what the shit is happening? Check. Nurture check. Nurture check. check. nurture check. Nature versus nurture check. <laughs> Fourteen. Fourteen. Um, this is definitely not a natural wind. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Um, and as you start to get that kind of dark feeling in the back of your head, um, you start noticing that some of the broken glass that kind of is across the entirety of this beach being picked up by the wind and swirling and congealing into what looks like a small whirlwind of broken glass and dust. I toss Percy my his gun. You watch as the wind begins to pick up and draw their kind of separate smaller shapes, but that one central funnel continues to grow and grow like this angry I'm going to flip one of the boats broken. over as a shield and hide behind Ooh. it. Okay. As a That's druid, would I recognize if, if this is like an air elemental situation? Um, make an intelligence check. Ah, why are they always With advantage, because it is uh, possibly elemental based. Hey! Natural 20! Oh, yeah. Um, 
two of the of the entities that are kind of coming out of this wind from the sides are definitely um, air elemental by nature. Um, you're very familiar with this this form of, of physicality. You've taken on this form of physicality. However, whatever this large, strange uh, glass shard encompassed entity is, it's elemental in nature, but you're not sure what it is. You've not encountered something on this form, at least on this plane. Bigger. Bigger. Batter. I would like you to roll initiative. Uh, oh. I was gonna say just the three while of them, she was right? talking, is it? Um, does a wind seem strong enough that if I hopped up on my broom, that I would get blown away? Um, not at the what moment, I, no. Okay, I want to try doing that. Oh, thing. he's pulled it back. As he has oh. now. Oh, look at the water. It's so beautiful. Both those little boats. It looks like waves. Look at my the name, my right name there. is Simon, and, and I, I like, like to do drawings. <laughs> Percy has taken one of the boats and placed it as a guard. <laughs> Kimbo. Keyleth stands here. You guys are way off at the tree line. <laughs> Just pointing and laughing. Oh, oh god. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, killed Percy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Uh, and uh, Vax, you're off that side. Yeah. What you're seeing oh. is this swirling torrent of broken glass. Oh, Am I in the air yet? Lentils crossing On up my to the sides there. Percy, you're gonna need a bigger boat. <laughs> <laughs> and with that, let's go ahead and roll some initiative, folks. Was, did I get in the air before initiative, or? Uh, we'll I'm say sure. as the wind's picking up, you can begin to get up in the air. Yes. Okay. How, how far are you going up? Uh, Full 30 feet? Like 20 feet. 20 feet? All right, let's do it. This isn't great. I don't quite know what to do. Mm-hmm. I don't either. I'm, I'm assuming there hasn't been enough time to where we've taken a short rest, correct? Nope. No. I'm not good, you guys. All right, we'll see. There you are, on your broom. Thank you. So, uh, initiative rolls here. All right, let's, uh... Mm. Shit. Trick is gonna be so useful Lightning against a with tornado. Yeah, you can bite the wind. Yeah, of course, really anything. I legitimately have no idea what's about to happen, because... <laughs> Alrighty, so, 25 to 20. 22. 22. Are we all, we're not all rolling. Just uh, this, everyone right now, Everybody? Uh, even though you're not currently in the middle of the fray, mm. this is going to gauge how soon you could get to them. Oh. Okay. Hmm. 19. Natural 20. Wow! Oh. You're an eagle! Because I have advantage on initiative rolls. You do. Wow. Uh, so, plus, what's your dex? Uh, my dex is 2. Right, so plus 22. Two. So, 22. Crazy. So. It's the same as me. All right, uh, 20, to, 20 to 15. <laughs> 20. 17. 17, you got 19? Scam, Vax. Uh, 15 to 10. 10. 10. Yay! Eat it. Uh, five. Ugh, oh, five. No. That's okay. You're gonna be the most useful one, too. It's That's not, okay, it's power play right no. at the end. From the last fight, no. we have it takes two, it takes both of my B shaping uh, forms to go two, elemental. Baby. <laughs> It takes two, oh, baby. Wow. I did that too, except I went into the woods. Oh, oh. yeah. Oh. yeah. Mm. Swirling forward, the giant maelstrom, its speed rapid fast, just this torrent of, of razor sharp glass bits Shit. spirals forward Fuck. and threatens to engulf both Percy and Vac. Or I guess Vex. I should have gone. Does my cover, my, it's going to mock my cover, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. moves around just it, unfortunately. Like this can squirrel through the small spaces. Um, all right, so there that it's going to go ahead and attempt. Uh, it's going to attempt a whirlwind. Yeah. So I need uh, both uh, uh, Vex and Percy to roll a strength saving throw. Um, out of idle curiosity. Okay, this is not a this is not a ranged attack on any level. I can't count nope. this as ranged attack. Okay. This is just going to suck. Well, that's nice. What? Hmm. 20. Oh, that is, okay. that's nicer. 15. Okay. Um, so, Percy, uh, you go ahead and take 10 points 
of piercing damage as the glass shards go just splitting towards you, jamming into your exposed skin. You get underneath the boat, and it just gives you enough cover to go ahead and minimize the damage. You, however, up above, the wind picks up and swirls around you. You're losing control of the broom. You take 20 points of piercing damage cool. uh, in the center of the Cyclone of Death. Mm, cool. um, cyclone of Death. <laughs> All right, and over there. You are flung 40 Last feet in a random really direction. Help. That would be Last that NATO. way. So you are flung. <laughs> far. You are flung this far away, off the broom and prone, and you fall and hit the oh. ground. Uh, I need you to go ahead and roll a dexterity saving throw. Actually, no, because you didn't hit anything else. You don't need to do that. So this is just going to be straight fall damage. Ah. Uh, it's an additional 10 points of bludgeoning damage as you hit the ground. <laughs> the wind almost knocked out of your chest, still clutching the broom in your left hand. Yeah, it's also got a thing on it that hooks to me that yeah, Percy made. So. Yeah, I can't fly too far. Yeah, you're still holding onto it. It's like a surfboard. surfboard. Boogie board. Boogie board, yeah. All right, uh, that ends its turn. Uh, that brings us to Percy. Beginning of your turn, you are still in the whirlwind currently, and its jagged form forces you to take... Uh, 13 points of piercing damage, just being in the maelstrom itself. 13 points? Okay. 13 points of piercing damage. Uh, now it's your turn, Percy. Uh, that's uh, 89. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm just uh, doing math, which is apparently really difficult. Uh, it's been a day. Uh, okay, out of, out of desperation, I'm just going to, uh, having no possible idea of what else to do, I'm just going to try and shoot at bits of it to see if I can dislodge anything. I don't know. Try and shatter some of the glass and yell bloody murder. Okay. Um, I'll just take a standard shot to begin with. Are you going to move or you going to stay where you are? For the moment, I'm going to stay where I am, but okay. I'm going to move. Oh, actually, I'm too close to get a decent shot, aren't I? It will give you disadvantage on each attack because you are doing ranged in melee. Um, all right. I'm going to back off about 10 feet. Which direction? Into the water? Out of board. Yep. Um, I want to be about waist deep, if I can. Okay, you're still technically in melee. You have to do. If it has a large reach with its. Wait, I, we'll move five more feet. You can. I'll move five more feet right, on you're the other side. Like, yep. Or like or like knees and waist. So your your movement is half. Um, however, as you pull out of its range, uh, a giant pseudopod of swirling uh, runs towards you as an attack roll. of opportunity on you. Uh, That's fine. Rolled really bad. That is a fourteen. Uh, my AC is eighteen. You just weave underneath ah! the, wa- the the wind causes the water around you to sh- just kind of splash and scatter in both directions, but you just avoid a giant blender of broken glass to the face. What are you doing? This is just reminding me of something that happened this week. Uh, okay, I'm going to <laughs> take a blender of glass. It's a whole thing. Uh, I'm going to take a shot at it to see if it does anything. We need to have breakfast. No. <laughs> what the fuck? We never talk anymore. In character uh, or out of character? Yeah. Both? <laughs> Grog, you grab um, next. That's uh, 23 to hit. 23 to hit hits. All right. Let's see what happens with the. Uh, when this. you shoot a whirlwind. I'm trying to shoot a whirlwind. I don't know if this is actually going to do anything. I'm not feeling very hopeful. Um, nine points of piercing damage. Okay, gotcha. Uh, you fire and you watch as some of its form kind of dish, takes impact, some of the glass breaks. It looks like it did sustain some sort of a, 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 a esoteric wound from the blast, though not as much as you would hope from your weapon. Huh. But it did take damage. I assume none of my trick stuff stuff is going to use. Uh, that's a, that makes weird. Okay. Yeah, um, it'll work. They just take half damage to shit. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna <sighs> take a couple. Uh, actually, uh, let's. Yeah, let's. Uh, I'm gonna take another couple shots. See what happens. I'm gonna do a sharpshooter shot. Okay. With. Um, that's uh, another twenty-three. With the sharpshooter, with the sharpshooter hits. Yeah, that was a much better roll. Um, so that's uh, uh, twenty-four points of damage. Twenty-four. Alrighty. Uh, this one still is a larger impact than the last one, but it's you know it's still kind of shooting in the middle of this this swirling mass, uh, so it's not impacting it as much as you'd hope. I'm going to take a third shot, and uh, here we go with the same sharpshooter. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. Twenty-one. Mm-hmm. Twenty-one hits. Uh, I'll move a little. Cl- oh, that's nice. 
25 points of damage. Jeez. Uh, it's a very good shot. And I'm now going to call over my the, the earpiece. Uh, Everyone back! Giant flying glass wind! Oh god! And I'm going to take a deep breath. <laughs> That's actually what I said. Uh, I'm going to take a deep breath and I'm going to dive underwater. Okay. Dive away. If you've gone thrown underwater. Gone away and dive underwater. All right. Underneath the surface there. Uh, it is murky and dark. It's so close to the shoreline, and with the the black uh, silt that, that washes in, you have no visibility underneath. That's cool. Um, all right, that brings us to Grog. Ah! You, uh, <laughs> I look over at Stanley, and I'm like, ah! "Kill the wind!" <laughs> and I, I yeah, gesture let's go. like, "Let's I gesture, go!" Yeah, let's go. So can I hold my movement until <laughs> Scanlan moves? To, so I'll take us both over there. Is my intent. Uh, you can't hold your movement. Can't unfortunately. Hold my movement. So you spend your movement, and you can hold your action to do something yeah. if you want. The scaling could probably turn you back once you get over there. Why don't you just? I'm just gonna. I'm gonna take off, and I'm gonna go s- towards them, and as high as I can go. Okay. Oh. Uh, giant eagle's speed. Hi, Grog. Being <laughs> Bye. Being well, eighty come feet. With me, right? So yeah. You grab me. So yeah, you can. Well, <laughs> shit. Wait, you're, you're you're a little over a hundred feet away from them. So to eighty feet as your movement speed, with just your movement and holding your action, if you wanted to, you can coast up as fast as you can, and at that apex uh, of the end of your movement, what are your what action are you holding? What's the trigger? Uh, I mean, I'll actually go ahead and take my action. and I'll just stop flapping my wings. My oh. intention is to plummet. Okay. Into well, well, then, well, then you, you can use your you can use your action to then Dive move again, it, like dash it, and go right above it if you wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah, right above it and just yeah, yeah, that'll work. Because don't you guys like once you break out of your animal form, you change back? Well, you uh. take damage, and then whatever damage that you take that is carried over, over. into your your real <laughs> form. Your five thousand hit points. You'll be fine. Uh, so if you take 80 hit points, you'll take, you know, the 10 that your eagle form took, and then you'll take 60. the other 70. I think this yeah. is you'll a great be fine. Plan. I think yeah. this is I like a great this You'll be fine. I'm You're grog. Plan. You got the it. Suicidal. You went a hundred feet up, Travis. Wow. Grog. You can take, a, you can take giant poop. There's you. Oh my gosh. With Magic Mountain. A Scanlan. Oh. oh. Oh, I was on him. Unless you didn't oh. want to be on him. If you want to sure, I guess I'm taking this ride too. <laughs> <laughs> if you wanted to, you could still be 100 feet back. Uh, you can fall off into the water. No, I would have gone this with it. So much more. So I figured you were on his back is... still. So. Sure. All right, there it is. Let's do this. Um, <laughs> so you're holding. So that that's your turn. Um, what are you doing, Scanlan? Well, I can't do much now because. If I do anything, he'll break his eagle form. Which is okay. <laughs> and then I'll fall too. Hopefully we'll you're close. <laughs> um, so I'm a hundred feet up, straight up over this thing, right? Eighty feet up. Eighty feet up. Okay, I kind of hang over the side, and I will, I will lightning bolt straight down into the into the torn into the eye of a tornado. <laughs> All righty. Yes. So with that, I feel like lightning is good because okay, it turns that glass is to, oh no, it turns more glass. Nineteen oh, offers dexterity right. save. What's the what's your DC <laughs> with your cone? More glass. My oh, it's twenty-one. Twenty-one. So yeah, it fails. Uh, go ahead and roll damage on the lightning bolt. Would I get caught in that? Uh, it's right water. at the cusp of the water. It's also the water. I'm, I honestly, I'm just looking for an excuse to hit the glove. I'm happy to take the damage. <laughs> I would say, due to the proximity, you might take a little bit just because the conduit of the water sure. around you. It's because it's a lot of water. It's not. Gonna, it's going to dissipate pretty evenly. Pretty quick. So. Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. All right. Uh, it blasts through the storm, <laughs> slamming, causing uh, glass dust to kind of shoot up in this giant cloud around it and fall uh, gently to the beach side. Um, you go ahead and take. Percy, five points of lightning damage just being nearby in the water. Awesome, possum. Um, it, it impacted, though not as strongly as you would have hoped. It, it seems almost like the lightning um, is somewhat in the sphere of the element of whatever this creature is. Oh, it, so it did not take full? It took damage, but it didn't take full damage. Uh, <laughs> it's also yeah. the air druid you've been traveling with. <laughs> uses a lot of lightning. <coughs> <laughs> Uh, is that in your turn, Scanlan? Or do you want to uh, move? Or yeah, I, I, I don't want to move. I'll inspire, I'll inspire Grog. <laughs> He's the only one in your in, yeah. in your shot, so yes. I will uh, sing in his ear, fly like an eagle <laughs> to the sea. Fly like an eagle. Don't drop me. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, go ahead and take your, your D10 inspiration there. Sure. All righty. Ending Scanlan's turn. Vax, you're up. Uh, how far away did I you're, get? You're probably at, at, you just took off when this happened and heard yeah. that, so you'd be at your full movement away from it, okay. which was 60 feet? 60, yeah. Um, at this point, haste is worn off. <laughs> so you're 60 feet away. It would take you your full I movement. You could swoop back and get right in the front. Yeah, go again. Should yes, like then I would like Thanks to fly traffic. straight at okay. the male and stab the whirlwind. whirlwind. So I would like to do that. Actually. With your wings, you're basically going to like just dive bomb and through and chest burst her out the other side of I this hope whirlwind. So. Yeah. It's like the. We'll see I you hope so. And it's like shrink it right next to it. Then I will get sneak attack damage, and I would like to use uh, oh good god divine Sweet smite leg. on the attack. Ooh, what okay. is that all about? I don't hold, know what it hold, is. Hold divine smite until you hit. You don't have to say you're using it until you confirm hit. Well, oh. on, uh, that's a twenty. That's a thir- that's just, that's uh, thirty. That that'll was hit. so close to a one. Yeah, it went one. 19. Nineteen. <laughs> yeah, that'll hit. All right. <laughs> so we start with a one, and then we <laughs> add <laughs> these. <laughs> I want to do two, three, four, nine, and fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-eight, plus divine smites. This is the first time I've ever done it. Is two d eight. What did I just get up to? 28. 28, thank 28. you. 28. Uh, plus Divine Smites, 28 is to uh, 33, 38. 30. Ooh. Yes. As you, your, your wings out, you know, bullet bird form Vax, you swoop down and punch straight through the back of this maelstrom. You see its form uh, briefly kind of fluctuate and have a hard time holding itself together as you slam into the beach sand and glass right over next to Trinket, sending a cloud out in front of you that kind of slowly uh, comes down like a wave on the opposite side. You kind of stand there for a second, look back over, and Trinket just kind of <laughs> licks you right up on the side of your face, making them hey, <laughs> very cool moment, maybe not as cool at the very end, but still pretty cool overall. Yeah. Um, cool, do you want to do anything else? Um, but, 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 that was, so I use movement to get there. Use uh, movement use to that? get there, use an attack, you go through. I want to swipe again, because I've got the button. Okay, uh, this be a throw, because right now, just oh, the sure. angle you had to come through to punch yeah. through it, you would have landed about 15 feet from it. I love it. That is, uh, that is, uh, that is, uh, 20, uh, 24, yeah. 24, so you land and then <laughs> throw the other dagger back at that. So hits. excited by the divine smite. Uh, <laughs> that's that. And that is just a little bitty two plus six is eight, and I forgot to add my bonus to the dagger before, so you can make that 14 for a total damage. 14 total, yeah. nice. You good. So uh, after you punch through, you can see the, the burst through with this kind of flash of vibrant radiant energy that kind of sparks through its internal form, uh, a sort of glow that's reminiscent of what you've seen from uh, pike spells before, but with more of a grayer and less yellow color to it. Um, throwing behind with a secondary dagger, it plunges into the whirlwind, and you see some sparks inside as it kind of clashes with the different broken pieces of glass, and then eventually returns to your hand. I believe that ends your turn. I'm a real paladin. <laughs> <laughs> now, the two other elements are going to go. Oh, no, there's two more? Yep. This one's going to flank up behind Keyleth, and this one's going to flank up What's behind up, Hmm? Glass as well? Or? No, these are just actual air elementals. Air elementals. There is some glass being pulled up in their form as they go, but the, it's not quite the maelstrom in the center that's kind of drawing everything into it. Tight, tight, tight. Um, that's going to be two tight, slam tight, attacks tight. against you, Keyleth, and uh, two slam attacks against you, Vax. Yeah. Um, against Keyleth, that is Bring it. 21. Yeah, that hits. And uh, 19. Uh, that also hits. Okay. Disadvantage Vax. against me. Yes. That is 12. Nope. <laughs> and the other is 12. Rolled two fours in a row on that. Sorry, Charlie. So whoosh, the elemental comes up and swings its giant uh, whirlwind like fists towards you. You duck under one and then leap over the second one, landing back on your place in the beach. Keyleth, unfortunately, looking at the focus of this and trying to ascertain the nature of what these creatures are and how you could possibly control or bend it. Oh, hey, wah, Gary, wah. what's up? Oh, Twice from man. behind, you get slammed. <laughs> Ella. Uh, God go. damn it, Gary, you were always a dick. I guess we're not bowling <laughs> in the wind. 14 points of bludgeoning like damage. 10 years. Uh, 14? Okay. Yep. <laughs> and 13 points of bludgeoning damage. So, so 27 total. 27. <laughs> Is that a hit point ring? So, yeah. That's badass. All right, that ends their turn now. Uh, Vex, you're up. I got Me. it, yeah. Jink. Okay. Like, uh, you're kind of ground into the sand right now, kind of dug a few inches into it from the impact of your shoulder and left a groove on the beach. Ow. There's glass sticking into your shoulder, and you're like, okay. uh, I stand up for my movement, 
half your movement. Okay. So you still have 15 more feet. You can move. Hunters mark that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. The big one. But by the time you yeah, the damage, big one. Alrighty. And then I'm gonna shoot him twice with Fenthris, which is the first time I've actually shot a real Whoa! arrow from this one. Yay! Do it. Okay, please hit. Just breaks in half. <laughs> Super old bow. It doesn't work. 27. Oh, it's dry rotted. 27 on hits. First hit. Yeah. Natural one on the second, mother fuck. 16. That a natural one is. Natural one just misses. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's awesome. Great. Um, so wait, that's a D8 plus a D4 for lightning. It's 10. Jesus, wait. 10 plus 10 is 20. 20. There's so much math. In this I know. Game. Plus 23. <laughs> 23 points of damage with one arrow. That's really nice. Yeah. It would have been That's better. a vestige for you. Um, yeah. Uh, also, don't forget that. Uh, oh, that's four of them is lightning. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, four is lightning. So actually, that would be halved. So it would be 21. Meow. 21 points of damage. <laughs> um, also. So. When you take the attack action, now you already use your bonus actions. Yeah, to do the hunter's mark. Never mind. So what? I was going to say having Shrink it next to it, but I realized you use your bonus action to. Yeah, to I'm establishing that, and then Shrink it can do it. Right. Okay. Cool. Can I use the rest of my movement to get back up on the broom and go up in the air? Uh, sure. You go ahead and grab the broom, and you manage to go ahead and get, get... thirty feet in the air this time, maybe. Uh, I'll say, due to the nature of this, no, not quite. <laughs> you can get twenty. Okay. Let's see. That's the extent of your ascension right now. Oh boy. There you go. All right, that ends your turn. Uh, Keyleth. Okay, mm. so. <laughs> not feeling great about this one. This is um, like your shit, so let's go. You yeah. know. So put, let's... put up or shut up, Keyleth. I mean, I could try and talk to him, but that <laughs> never goes well, let's be real. So. Um, I'm going to cast. Wind wall. Okay. So, okay, here's my question. Yes. I'm having a hard time seeing, so help me. That's me. That's, That's you. who's that. Vax. This is the Vax is here with okay. Trinket. Oh, and this Elemental, Trinket. Elemental, and the giant glass mouster. Okay. I have a 50 foot wind wall that I can shape whichever way I want. Yep. So, I, what I want to do is try and loop us all in and kind of go around. Jesus, this is kind around of go around here. this way. Like yeah, go around Jesus. I want to go around like a Jesus. circle almost. Yes, like a semicircle, starting <laughs> with this guy, going this <laughs> way, fifty okay. feet. So like a wind wall. Starting because it can go over top of guys. Yeah. So starting <laughs> like fifty feet, going around this way. Around Jesus, Jesus take the wheel. <laughs> around a circle this way. The other way, but yeah. I mean, it's 50 it feet. Like It'll work. It's fine. I guess it doesn't ultimately matter. Glass. What are you trying? What shape do you want with the wind wall? A circle. A circle like this? I just want to block the three guys out with my block 50 feet. Out. I see. I want to go over top of them. Right. And keep us nice and safe and comfy okay, in, so a, in, a, in a wind basket. So over top of them. Wind basket. Like that. <laughs> Completely around you guys? Hashtag wind basket. Yeah. <laughs> Completely around you? Whatever 50 feet will cover. Yeah, pretty sure. 50. That's about the length right there. Okay, well, can I, because there's a little overlap, so can I, like, start it with this guy and then go around to where that extra couple feet goes to this guy? I mean, it'll hit all three of them. Oh, okay. Stop That's all I care about. Yeah. So, you reach down, concentrate, slam your hand into the ground, and as you do, the wind picks up out of the dust and the dirt and the, uh, the glass and begins to cause another torrent of <laughs> uh, chaos around you, this one controlled by you, slamming into the other ones. Uh, they have to make a strength saving throw. See, that's a big tornado. I can make a bigger one! Yeah. <laughs> What's your spell DC again? 19. 19, so this Crush is everything. strength saving throw. Uh, 18, fail for the Maelstrom, and fail, and fail, fail for all of them. Yeah! Yay! So that's 3d8 bludgeoning damage. Uh huh. And they should be gaseous forms, if I'm not mistaken, which means they can't move through it. Correct. So right now they are all currently locked in the wind wall, right? That's now. right. They are. Yep. 
That's cool. I'm done. I'm excited. Uh, that's the thing. That's my like, thing. That's like the thing that you that's, do. That's all I do. <laughs> roll damage. That's nature. Oh, roll damage. Oh, sorry. 3d8. Oh, right. just like you, you, nature! Am I a built for this fight? Ooh, oh, that, oh, well, yeah. that's okay. Oh, wow. You need to go higher um, to get above the wind wall. So, uh, uh, so it's 50 12. feet. 13 uh, damage. Not great. That's not 15 feet hot. So yes. what that okay. is. So how much is it total? Since you've weaponized the CBS auto door, basically. All right, cool. Finishes your turn, Keyleth. Uh, you staying where you are? Um, um, can I now shift away from the guy? Uh, I mean, it'll still gonna have opportunity as soon as you break it from combat. Isn't he, is he technically grappled? Uh, no, not grappled. He just kind of can't move through it. He can't move through. What are oh. you gonna do? Well, a walking uh, or like fighting to keep themselves physically in place and together as the wind world's just tearing them apart. I'll just turn to him and be like. Let's do the mirror game, man. <laughs> do the mirror game, yeah, yeah, and that's it. All right. Um, the maelstrom right now cannot pass through the wall, uh, so it is going to move away from it, shifting over to where Percy oh is god. currently underwater. Oh god! As awesome. You're, as this you're hiding down, whirlpool. this this whirlpool begins to tear into it, and all the water around you is suddenly just jettisoned from all sides. Oh, you no longer sweet. submerged as you're lifted up. Would that actually? Okay, fine. No. <laughs> I was like, like in, in theory, if there's like a storm, you go underwater. Cause You've seen Sharknado. Magic wind. This extremely forceful, angry, <laughs> magical <laughs> elemental <laughs> tornado of this death and hatred. Bill so Coleman yes. Tornado. Are you yeah. sure dragons are real? I am absolutely <laughs> sure dragons are real. I've killed two of them. Percy, we've got cows. Uh, so that's going to, first off. No glass tornado I've uh, ever it seen. It does get its whirlwind recharge, but it's not going to use it. Oh, uh, no. It's going to slam attack you twice, Percy. That's fine. Um, Slamming his whirlwind attack. Uh, being. Let's see. Yeah, it has, it has advantage on attack rolls against you because you are currently prone. In the uh, sand. Yep. Uh, that's going to be 22. Oh, that hits. All right. And the second <laughs> slam attack is going to be uh, 31. Oh, wow. Yeah. No, that somehow, that just barely hits, but that definitely. Uh... <laughs> All right. So the first attack is going to be 28 points of piercing damage. Uh, yeah, I know that. That's from right. out on top, just slamming you at your face, actually goes right down back into the muck with a I sucking sound happen. as you feel like someone's uh, grinding. A uh, hundred blades into the back of your skull. Uh, then it releases. Not the face, not the Whack! Face. Comes down a second oh, time. Ten. Four, ten, thirteen, this time twenty-two points of piercing damage. Ooh. How many hit points do you start with, Percy? Uh, one hundred and twelve. <laughs> so offensive. I'm still at ninety-nine. I am, <laughs> I am not doing well, but I am alive. You'll reach triple digits someday. <laughs> yeah, I'll roll a one on my next level. <laughs> 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 but you'll be there. You'll be there. Uh, let me see what my constitution bonus right. is. Oh, it's nothing. Zero. It is now your turn, Percival. At the beginning of the turn, as you are in its uh, its jagged form radius, you take oh, uh, double double ones. Uh, and seven points of piercing damage. Because he's in its what? In the he starts his turn within the center of its Got form. It. So stay out of there. Yeah, even just being in its form is terrible. It's it's like it's like one of those money grab booths, but instead of uh, money, it's just pain. It's just, it's just lots pain. and lots of pain. Just pain and lack of hit points. Yeah, you just. <laughs> um, so I also assume it gets an attack of opportunity on me if I leave its its. It does. Its radius. Of course it does. How did it? Okay, and it can break away from the wall. Just can't pass through it. Can't pass through it currently. Okay. Sorry, you kind of. Oh no! I Left definitely like. Puddle. I definitely. Uh, um, okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is burn a burn a bonus uh, bonus uh, uh, <clears throat> heal. I've got a heal uh, that I can do, so I'm just going to heal myself a little bit, so I'm not quite as close to death. Uh, so let's just add uh, twelve points. That's nice. It's uh, slightly better than before. Um. All right, I'm going to. Uh, oh bugger. I'm gonna pull my sword, and uh, technically speaking, I'm perfectly fine to just go hack and slash on this thing right yep. now, right? You see, you stand up using half your movement. Works for me. I'm um, stand up using half my movement and just start slashing at it like nobody's business. Go for it. It is a magical sword, so. Uh, it is a magical sword. Thank you for reminding me. I'm just gonna roll three at a time just to make life a little bit easier. Um, that's um, 21, 22, and 23. 
All hit. Go to all damage. Wow. You hit so easily. I do. You know why I hit easily? Because I do very little actual damage without... Uh, it doesn't count as a dragon, does it? Oh, look at that! They're all, all the same. Six. Yep, yep. Does, you roll uh, it 666. Six. Oh. I rolled 666. Six, six. Uh, roll of the beast. That's uh, 13. Roll of the beast. Uh, 13. 26. Roll of the beast. 13. 26. 39 points of damage. <laughs> okay. Warlock. How do you want to do this? Oh! oh! You killed the wind! From the inside. <laughs> From the inside. I'm going to just like. Has anyone seen this terrible movie called Rob Roy? Oh yes. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to start just just conducting it and just <laughs> sp spinning and slashing and then just drop it into the bloody ground. Okay. You guys watch as suddenly the maelstrom <laughs> begins to become this kind of uh, uneasy torrent, holding its form together. You start seeing slashes and whirls of uh, metal and 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 fleeing of of blade like action within the inside of its form. Before all of a sudden, there's a burst of uh, glass and dust that then kind of rains to the ground as the water rushes into the space, and you just see they're standing, damp cut, all these small <laughs> wounds across his face and lines of blood dripping down the sides. Percy with the blade jammed into the beach, one hand up in the air as the water just kind of up to his shoulders and he slowly Sick. stands up in place. Uh, and I'm gonna slowly start making my way with great determination and not particularly much speed. I'm going to hobble my way towards the next one of those bastards. Ow. Ow. Okay, so that'd be. Ow. Ow. That's about as far yeah, as you can get that's there. Because on land, it's considered rough terrain. Oh, yeah. And, and or you can go full speed, but you'll take damage for every Absolutely every not. five feet you move full speed. Glass. Sucks. Mm. Um, all right, that ends Percy's turn. Grog, you're up. All right. Uh, <laughs> since he killed the big one, can I fly down to the one that's right next to Bax? Yes, you can. With Scanlan on me booty. <laughs> yeah. Right next to it. Now, if I wanted him, if hopefully I wanted him to lift the form, would I hold my action until... Yes. Yes, I want to do that. So holding holding your attacks until the yes. form is lifted. Yes, totally I would, viable. I want to land right next to him, like yeah. right like right behind him. You're a bird. Totally. Okay. All right, that ends your turn, uh, except for your held action. Uh, what are you doing, Scanlan? Me? Oh, I have to do something now? Yeah, it's your turn. I will do, uh, I will do, I will do Bigby's hand! And uh, <laughs> it's a concentration spell, so Polymorph would drop. Yes, it does. <laughs> Where's Bigby's hand going? Uh, right, right on the guy who's right in front of us. <laughs> Uh, Before see. you continue that, as soon as Bibi's hand appears, the eagle form vanishes, and Grog, you come out with your axes in your hands, angry. Surprise, bitches! <laughs> Not raging, unfortunately, but you do get your Surprise, attacks. gents. <laughs> Be angry. You're just not raging. Uh, so go ahead and take your uh, your two attacks. Oh, woo I would like to make them reckless attacks. That's fine. I uh, just just these are regular, not rage. Yeah, regular. All right, that's. Not I great. say I'm going to have to kill you, dear boy. That's a fifteen. Fifteen, the yeah. first one. Uh, total. Yeah. Uh, no, no, that hits actually. Woo that, one. that just barely hits. Okay, great. Should I roll the other one? Roll nine? No, because it's just one attack, right? No, two attacks. Two attacks. Natural one. Yeah. Right there. 24. Hits. So two, two hits on it. Yes, Grog, yes. Yes. You yes. uh, hate Grog. flow make through me. Yeah, make it, make it more, bitch. Plus. Uh, math is hard. That's a 16 plus blood X. Six. So 22. 22 for the first hit. All right. I'm working it out. I'm working it out. That's how you want to say. That's a 14. And another six for 20. All right, necrotic, necrotic on the left. Correct. The, yeah. Correct. All right, awesome. And this is this is not adding your rage damage. But no. That's right. Yeah. Cool. So that finishes your two strikes. Whack, whack. Scanlan, you have your Bigby's hand up. What are you gonna do? Does it look like hitting it hurt it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well then I'll punch it. I'll punch it in its wind face. <laughs> right in its wind fucking face. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and roll an attack using your your melee spell attacks. Just roll a d20 at your spell attack bonus. Is that a futz roll? I need. I need a judge uh, here. I'm calling it futz. Okay. Right, Did I have a bonus action or did I use it to hit? Uh, you can't hold a bonus action that was on your turn. So. Nine plus eleven, twenty. Uh, twenty. Ju no, no, tw twenty hits totally. Uh, so yeah, uh, go ahead and uh, roll. Let's see. Okay. My punching. Four d eight force damage. Wow. Eight. You need some d eight. So you cool. No, I'll just do this. 
18. Ooh, Ooh nice. kill it. So kill it. So between Grog's attacks and the giant fist slamming into the side of the air elemental, you can see it gets slammed into the dust, causing this whoosh, this push, and it begins to lift itself up, causing this uh, almost jack-o'-lantern-like angry face to appear in this whirlwind. Um, but it's having a hard time keeping its form together. Um, it begins to kind of glance about for some sort of form of escape. Um, Scanlan, do you want to move on your turn at all? I will inspire Vax. With the selection of a, the ultimate dad joke. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I am so ready, I am so ready for this. Take yes. a random page. Hit me, hit me. Page. <clears throat> a conductor once told me that an, a euphonium is Latin for, you're a fraud. What? Hmm. Oh, you! Oh, I get it! I get it! I get it! I get it! I get it. Yeah, that was a warm up. What's the name of the movie about the Cal Von Trapp family? The Sound of Music. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right, take your inspiration. Right. You subtract it for me instead. <laughs> <laughs> it's one D. He never gives me inspiration. That one D ten. One D ten. Oh, right? fellow or dad. Yeah, yeah. When, yeah, yeah. When did, did, did your did your inspiration go up last level or was it next one? No, it, well, you it's been D ten for a while. I right, I'm trying to remember. Uh, if it, I, I think it's next level. It goes up. To oh, two, you haven't leveled up. We haven't leveled up yet. We're still they're a little behind. Hanging at fourteen. Wow. Just double checking for you. Yeah, it's D ten. Yeah, next level becomes D ten. We're level elitists for like two more games. Basically. All right, and just uh, uh, scan this one's over. Vax, you're up. A rules question, DM. Yes. Uh, normally when I attack one character, one attack gets sneak attack, but can I sneak attack the one behind me and attack the other one that's by Keyleth? I've got friends around both. You can attack them both, but you only can sneak attack once um, per round. round. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to shank backwards to the one behind me. All right. Uh, and it's flanked. There's four of us around it, so advantage on this um, one. Well, let's go uh, ahead and look at that wind wall. Oh, okay. Ooh. Let's take a look at the wind. Uh, it Let's should take a only look at the wind affect wall. ranged attacks. It should only affect ranged attacks and gaseous creatures, because I kind of double checked to that. Honestly, I'm quite often a gaseous creature. <laughs> you are definitely. You are practically my textbook definition of a gaseous <laughs> creature. <laughs> yeah, it won't have much of an effect on you. You're fine. Just okay. making sure. All right. So uh, then, so that's a uh, forcing your hand through it. Twenty-three. Twenty-three hits. Okay. Uh, right, all Do you right. you attack this one or the other one? This one. Okay. Uh, three plus... Ah! Four <laughs> seven plus five, 12, 16. That's <laughs> Muppet Lamp. <laughs> That's uh, 28 on that one. Oh, man. 28. <laughs> Testicles I was on that <laughs> As you stab through, the form dissipates upon impact. Whoa. I was hoping that would happen, dissipates. and then I'm going to <laughs> dive and roll around Keyleth and stab uh, the next one. Alrighty. And that is... Uh, as you throw your dagger, it does catch the wind wall, mm -hmm. and gets flung out of the way. Wait, no, I meant to run that way. Oh, you want to run this can way? Can I run through it? Okay. So you can move up to there. That's yeah, you, that you can. CVS, CVS door. And and that was a 23 to hit. 23 does hit. Which is a big uh, seven. Seven <laughs> points of damage to it, all right. Um, yeah, so you go, one is destroyed, you rush forward, stab the other one. It's hard to push through the wind wall to even get to its form. You do manage to ah. find some sort of purchase. Um, it takes some damage. Okay. Uh, that ends your turn, it is now its turn. It moves into both of your spaces now. We'll say, kind of loosely up against the two of you there. Can and I it's going to whoosh into a whirlwind. Uncomfortable. He's yeah, I can. In the he's elemental. still in the. It can move through the wind. Uh, the wind wall. The wind wall. It can fly up and over. <laughs> it has yeah. nine, 90 speed. Holy crap! Um, Keep going. <laughs> Until, <laughs> I'm just going to cross reference that. Keep going. Sure. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Because uh, the wind wall itself, if I recall. I'm just checking. No, go keep check, going. Go check. Keep go going. check. I'm just going to check for it. I'm going to check now before so I do all these rolls. Oh boy. It is 15 feet high. All right, yep. Dueling dictionaries. <laughs> Do I like that this is literally becomes yep. a game nope, of dueling dictionaries. Nope, it is 15 feet high, you're oh. correct. Uh, all right, so as it he swarms in, he does. Trespasser. <laughs> and swirls around in a whirlwind. Barbed wire. Of you. I need both of you guys to make uh, strength saving throws. Strength. Who, me? Damn it. Yeah. Damn, Damn it, man. Hand. What? Backs. Strength. You have inspiration. Uh, I'm gonna use luck. Okay. It's, it's, it's oh, screw you, Inspiration. you die. You I mean, thank you for it, but still, <laughs> screw you. I'm gonna use my inspiration. Yeah, do it. On top mm -hmm. of that, uh, that one. Anyway. <laughs> oh, yay! Sixteen. Sixteen and nineteen. Both of you guys succeed, so you take half and damage. Hey. 
damn it, Gil. God damn it, Gil. <laughs> Mine's been rocking. I don't know what your problem is. Of course it has, Talisman. <laughs> <laughs> You're an anomaly. <laughs> How much damage was that? Uh, you both take six points of bludgeoning damage. Six. six. Okay, I'm and dead. And you hold no, your ground. Sorry. It doesn't fling you about. It's not strong enough. It's wind. It's smaller form and able to push both of you uh, entirely off your feet. So well done. Uh, that ends its turn. Vex, you're up. Can I fly over it so that I can shoot down onto it? You can, actually. All right, then as my bonus action, I'm going to have Trinket run up and attack it. Whoa, Trinket <laughs> attacks something? All righty, so you fly up enough where you have a view over the wind wall itself and take two shots and as a bonus action. Uh, well, Trinket will rush up and yeah. cool. Bite. Trinket's going to bite it. That's cool. Go for it. Bite the wind. Ooh. It's uh, like a dog in a water hose. Yeah. 26 <laughs> hits. Second hit. <laughs> Yeah. 14 hit points for Trinket. 14. So, so, so I... that, that, that was Trinket's attack? Yeah. Nice. So 14 points of damage from Trinket. Pushing forward and just growling and biting through the middle Biting's of it. Mouthful of glass. I'm it's not, not fun, that. but it does some damage. Little buddy. Jeez Louise. Um, 17 <laughs> for my hit. Hits. And then uh, that, the next one <laughs> higher. Okay, yeah, so two hits. Go to all damage on that. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's a lot of math. I know. <laughs> 20 points for the first one. Nice. And that, oh, plus sneak attack. Uh, 24 points. Two of those are lightning. Nice. And then sure. 12, 14. Uh, yeah. Ah, so 14, and then, oh, I don't get that that time. 14 points for the second one. Gotcha, cool, all right. So you, <gasps> up above, <laughs> releasing two arrows that you see spark as they are released from the boat, <laughs> impacting into it. Uh, you see Trinket just tear into its form. Uh, every now and then you see what looks to be an arm of uh, Vax swing through and Keyleth's trying to push her way out of the elemental right now. It's just this kind of mix of, of swirling dirt and, and wind, uh, but it's, it's, it's seemingly being worn down. The speed in which it's swirling in its space is beginning to slow, and images within its form are getting easier and easier to see. Uh, that brings us back to the top. Percival. <sighs> How far away is it? Uh, so one, That's uh, about 35 feet from you. Come on, wind killer. Oh, God, I'm just gonna, I'm not even gonna, I'm just gonna pull out the gun and just start laying waste to it. Um, let's do, uh, I'm gonna reload and take, uh, take two shots with the uh, sharpshooter. Okay. Oh, no, no, that just jinxes it. Oh, no, no. <laughs> See, that's better. Um, look at that. That's lovely. 18, 19, 26, and uh, 23. Not He's a mutant. It. I don't know damage. It's not right. Um, a mutant. Yeah, somewhere else in the universe, the yeah, balance but nobody else is no, missed. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Missed. Me, I missed. I rolled a one. Well, we wonder why there's the West Nile um, virus. Like, wow. Zika. Yes, Zika. <laughs> Thanks, Tal. Make sure this is right. Thanks, Obama. 26, <laughs> Thanks, Obama. 46 <laughs> points of piercing of, uh, of piercing damage. 46 total? Yes. <laughs> These are all the sharpshooter, right? Uh, sharp, there were two shots the of sharpshooter, sh which is a base of, of 16 times two, so that's uh, 32, plus I rolled a natural, t a 10 on that, which pushes to 42 plus a four, so 46. So 46, is that okay. all? Yeah. Fuck um, it. To 20. Uh, even even halved from the impact, you manage to blast the creature, its form hitting the wind wall and scattering against it. Uh, no longer physically able to hold its form, though the elemental dissipating into the sky. First of all, mm. he who breaks wind. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Was, that was for you. As you all, now I feel guilty. Yeah. Yeah. As you all take it's a moment to kind of like catch your breath and look around, uh, everyone roll a perception check. <sighs> Natural 20. Yay! Hey. Is there any lingering? Natural 20. Natural 1. <laughs> boo, 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 boo. <laughs> I'm cleaning my gun, I'm not even looking. <laughs> wow, two 20s, two ones so far. Box yeah. marking, ladies and gentlemen. 15, right Perfect in the middle. Perfect balance. 15. Okay, uh, you guys see a moment and kind of glance around, it appears that whatever disturbed wind brought this sudden attack on has dissipated, and the creatures you've slaughtered have kind of brought this calm stillness to the beach. All you can hear around you is the occasional of the water up on the shore. It does not appear that there is any immediate uh, danger on the beach. I suddenly remember the letters that I stole from the ship, and I say, Percival, and I pull them out. Thank you. 
I'm just gonna. Quit I'm not this. giving them to you. No, oh, I'm no. looking at you at them with you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, they are what appear to be sketches and designs. One of which is of a more refined pepper box. Um, okay. Upon looking design. at them, I don't get it, and I hand them to him. Okay. Uh, there are a just few, a cursory look. Yeah. Yep, you glance through. There are other variations of retort, uh, the pistol mm-hmm. that she had before. You also see a few sketches, uh, very complete sketches of uh, kind of a bad news rebuild. Oh boy. Um, not as good even looking at it. The the design, you can see a few faults in it that prevent it from being as powerful as what you've created, but nevertheless, it is a fairly high-powered rifle-like weapon. Um, you do see uh, beneath him as well, you see notes of what looks like uh, f- five constructed and then it's erased um, to one hand. Okay. Oh, huh. I'm putting this away. I'm oh, not shit. thinking about this for a little while. The, the, oh, yeah, like there's, it's like a ledger keeping tab, so yeah. each thing that she's created. Oh, yeah. That was for bad news. Uh, I believe that was for bad news. Maybe it was either bad, no, it's the pepper box, I believe. I'm gonna take a little run towards the water and then shoot out and do what I was trying to do before. Okay. So <laughs> Scanlan, can you use your very, very delicate sword and put some very, very gentle, difficult to see holes in both of these boats? Sure. Sure, I'm a master swordsman. <laughs> <laughs> I draw my blade. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me, baby. <laughs> Talk to me, Goose. <laughs> As you say, baby, the, the voice has this kind of baby, this low, like tuning fork vibration hits the blade. As you begin to just go nuts on the ship, you guys watch as splinters of wood go. That was not what no, I I'm had just, in mind. Just stabbing. Yeah. I'm just stabbing. Oh, we're killing straight, both. Straight, delicate oh, no. stabbing. Oh, great! Yes, yes. Just a couple, couple. You, you put quite a number of pincushion-like blows to the uh, the exterior of the ship's bow. Neither of these will last much in the water. Did and we, we did we actually end up searching the boats for for everything, or did we not end up searching? You the did. Boats for you were you about did. to. You were about to. I was about to before this happened. Wait, if if those elementals that we just fought were were they left by Ripley? Were they? Was it a trap? Did we activate a trap? What is she close by? She can't have gotten far. It looks like she dragged whatever she found further into the into the island. Can I call Trinket over and then? Mm. Look at the tracks and see if he smells anybody and see where they heal. took everything. Yeah, so go, on, go and make an investigation. Does anyone else want to take a short rest? <sighs> yes. Do we have time? No, we don't Where's have time. Where's she going? The water looks awesome. What if she's teleporting out of here? What if there's 15 a 15 for me, should I roll for Trinket too for his smell perception? Yeah. I need to heal. Well, this, this is investigation, so. Oh, okay, but Trinket's got, I was seeing if he could catch their scent. Uh, yeah, then roll, roll a perception check for, for Trinket. He's got advantage on smell. Twenty-five. Yeah. Uh, as you're kind of looking about, you see the tracks. You also see in some of the the, the grooves where some of this heavy object was being dragged. You see one portion where it's dragged up, or seemed to have been dragged up onto a kind of uh, a shelf, like a very small six-inch shelf of glass. And you can see what appears to be a scrape and some splinters of wood. Um, whatever was being dragged appears to have been wooden, and part of it was like very, very faintly damaged when it was dragged up onto the shelf. So you know you're looking for something that appears to be made of wood. Okay. Um, the, the the wood slivers, as you look at them, they're a little swollen and damp. Um, Waterlogged. Sure. Yeah. So, they, so whatever chairs. these were, they were underwater for a, a, peri- a period of time. Um, Trinket goes. <laughs> Mm. And kind of like leans the head forward towards the jungle. All right. Hey. You know, you also have that dog. They can maybe team up and have extra strong smell perception, but. Truth. Or Truth. we can save it. I, I don't know why I'm saying this, but I trust Trinket. So you want to keep the dog for later, don't yes. you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Um, wait, does anyone, can I, I, should I heal you, Percy? That would be lovely. I'm bleeding over everything. Oh, well, here, yeah, I'll do one too. Heal his face, his face is cut up, I say over there. I mean, no, I'm just, that is so but kind of you to say. Better that I'll way. heal everything but his face. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see here. Do you have a strong heal? No, I'm, All right. I'm terrible, it's tiny. I'll do a... It's not tiny, it's I'll what do you do with it. I'll do a second level. Oh, thank you. And I'll just touch your face. 
so I can heal the little glass shardy things. Oh, oh, thank you. Ow. Glass shard. Ow. I will Shut do a, a second level healing word as well. Okay. Um, which is what? 2d4? 2d4 plus 6. That's not good. Uh, that's 9. Nine. 9 is good. <laughs> I'm a little better. 17 for me. Thank you. That's uh, a. Oh, wait! Before we trudge off into the jungle, didn't you get a shit ton of potions? Can you hand those out, please? Yeah, 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 totally. Uh, am I seeing anything out in the water? Uh, this ship is sunk. Gone. No surprise. Um, you do not see anybody currently swimming in the water? Yeah. Um, yeah. You can tell me a perception check. At best, they've headed to the. Uh, yeah, 22. It's a tough swim. 22? Um, yeah, looking about, but you can you can see the bits of the reef that are slightly visible through the murky water surface here in the bay. Um, but the ship is gone. You can see bits of floating broken wood from the impact of the ship. It's probably end of driftwood on the beach itself. Um, no sign of any survivors. All right, I'll shoot. Uh, back. You do see two figures out towards it that are just kind of floating in the water, face down. Oh yeah. Yeah. Check um, them for traps. I'm gonna go. If I get it. Drag him back. Huh? Fake I'm gonna drag them back. Fake it. Okay, uh, you're not gonna be able to drag both of them both. Uh, with the wings. But one I can? One you could, yeah. I will drag one back. Oh, you're gonna drag my shame into shore? Yeah. Do Basically, yeah. Your okay. shame, you mean your pride. No. Oh, yeah. I would, I would, one right. so you grab one. It would be willing it's, to assume. It's hard, you can barely get any lift, but yeah. you can basically, especially since he's so soaked with the water, it's an extra weight, so you're like. Can I just <laughs> stay close to the to the surface of the water and. Yeah, uh, I will ask you to go ahead and make an athletics check. All right. Scan and take a greater and a regular healing potion. Thank you. Percy, take a greater and a regular. Uh, just an 11. Keyleth, 11, you're you barely any? able okay. to keep from being dragged into the water. Give them to other people who okay. can't heal themselves. And it takes then you a while to get there because you're having to basically drag it. He doesn't ever regular. actually leave the water. Yeah. You're kind of pulling him through it as you go. It right. um, right takes now. you about well, like 15 it. minutes to get him into shore. Yeah, save. That's 65. I'm going to imagine that my wings kind of bounce out. Soon after that, wanna, yeah, you're getting pretty close it, to the end of your time. So I'm gonna search him. I'll give you a lever. Okay. He's dead. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So make, make an investigation check. You guys watch as uh, Vax swings him with the wings, dragging a waterlogged, seemingly unconscious or dead body, throws it onto the beach and begins rifling through the pockets. Ooh, what'd you find? Uh, that is uh, 22. 22. Uh, you find uh, 145 gold pieces. Oh, hello. It's the first gold I've had in ages. You find uh, a spyglass, and you find two small, kind of reddish purple stones that are perfectly spherical in the pocket. What is what? that all about? They were playing marbles. <laughs> all right. Okay. That's all you find. What, what's that thingy pointing to the spyglass? That's uh, that's a uh, you know what that is. Percival, what is that? <laughs> It's one of those uh, spyglass. It's a spyglass, I assume. Looker. Yes, here you can look through and you can see that everything is very, very far away. Oh, it looks small now. Everything <laughs> looks tiny. Just like you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so wait, what are the two marbles? That I'm that I've got in my pocket. Uh, oh, I thought that's what you passed. Yes. Over. My bad. Actually. I think that would be great on the broom. That uh, yeah, I think that's a good idea. What is that? I'm thing? gonna keep this. Yeah, Spy is glass? It for looking through. Do you have one of those on your your big bad news? I do. It's not. It's not quite as powerful as that. Should although that is an interesting idea. Can I, I look play through with it? That later. Ooh, can I fly up in the air and look through it? Yeah. Down at the ground. See what I see. You fly up. Can I make perception check? <laughs> I take the two Does small. It, do I get advantage because of the spyglass? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll. The DC will change based okay. on what you're looking for. I take the two small stones and I look over it. Percival and Kilo go. <laughs> what uh, are those? Do those look valuable to you. They look like. They look like rocks. Four. They look like um, if you. I mean, you have a closer look of the the canopy of, of this this jungle. Um, you basically make up the same details that like I did earlier. There are bits of green. There are bits of, of live tree here and there. But most of it's just dark. What and if I fish. follow from where the path of the the that I saw them dragging, and I follow through the trees? Can I see in like a path inward from there? Uh. Uh, you see from this distance, there there is occasionally what looks to be a break in the jungle or a path that could be taken that isn't completely overgrown and too thick to walk through. Mm -hmm. um, but that's all you can make out from this distance. I'll do. 
Um, I'm examining one of the red rocks. Does it look like anything? The red circles. Spheres? It, it, it looks almost like a like a, a polished red quartz. Um, imperfect. You can see kind of will look almost like texture cracks or just layers of some sort of a, a natural forming quartz like material on the inside. That's so it's like a stone. It's, it's like pretty. A, it's like a, it's like a, it's like, a, like a larger marble of stone. Are they magic? Do you want Probably. That? Can we arcane them? Arcane check. I'll I take can, a look at these. Yeah. Hand it hand for on. Arcana. You can, yeah, make an Arcana check. No, Grog, don't need it. <laughs> oh, you can have it. Oh, 19 plus stuff plus seven. Yeah, uh, you. These don't get used too often. They're usually used more in uh, uh, emergency <laughs> nautical in circumstances, or used uh, as a means of. Uh, gaining attention for a certain. It's, oh, it's, they're flares. They're, it's, it's it's called a flare stone, and they're essentially they're uh, they're impacted hard and then thrown high, and they turn into <gasps> a. Kind of Is a that what we mark. saw? That's what you saw oh, above. So he the wasn't ships a magic user. That's cool. Yeah, well, he was because he was starting a spell. Okay, okay flares. Okay, okay. That's cool. Who wants hey, to pass? No, pass that back. That's yeah. mine. So we should sp- we should spread them out. They no, should. Everyone yours. should not I have. Take the purple one, you take the red one. No, you take them both. You've Why do the, I take them you've both? You've got the broom. You can. You'd need one, one and one. someone else Just take one. Take yeah. the other. I keep. Ah uh, n- uh, no. <laughs> I'll Nobody. keep the purple one. I'll take the. the t- let the one. twins have them, because they're the ones who'll get yeah. separated. That was the perfect interaction. Frog remembers that. <laughs> 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 it's a way to call for help, Grog. Oh, I heard you could put these up your I don't butt. think you're going to need it very often. <laughs> I'll take off sullenly towards the trees. I'm going to follow. All right. Ow, He's got the ow, right idea. Ow, uh, ow. Trinket kicks up, catches up to you, and like Trinket's kind of running alongside you, following the smell. Um, you guys watch. Is everyone getting? I'm, I'm going. Yeah. Okay. All right. You guys push forward, reaching the tree line, and then pushing into the jungle itself. Oh, I um, agree to it. The smell of the saltwater air gives way to now the smell of uh, ash and burnt forest, but old, old, um, very faint. It's less of a, of a recent burn and more just an ever-present scent of dead brush. Um, you do catch the occasional sour smell of some sort of a, a tropical flower, and you do see bursts of uh, ground brush and living plant life that has kind of pushed through the glass and is slowly kind of retaking the island over time. Can I keep an eye out for that fly- that flower? Yeah, uh, and you, you see it a few times. It has kind of a, uh, a yellowish, uh, like, a, like a milky white color to it, and it has a, a, a vibrant purple stamen that kind of protrudes from it. And it, it gives, it's almost like, like, a, like a sour milk type smell. Uh, it's not very pleasant. Uh. I grab a few, put them in my bag. Okay. Um, you continue pushing through the petrified forests. Uh, you guys pick up, and Trinket picks up as well, as you're pushing on for another uh, 150 feet or so, you start noticing broken branches. You see little elements that you're used to in tracking movement from individuals. You can see what are sheer signs of, of heavy footfalls. Occasionally, what looks to be another grinding along the ground. It looks like um, whatever was being dragged has now been seemingly picked up or is now leaving less of an impact through it's it has more people now working towards moving it um so that groove is subtly vanishing as it progresses but you do see signs of of people pushing through the jungle at a rapid pace but the twins quietly in the lead uh right now it's, it's grog and trinket in the lead oh, do you, trinket. you guys want to change up a marching order for this yeah, let's yeah, do yeah, it yeah yeah bud buddy bud um you're very big and large and amazing. Could I? Um, what do you want? He wants one of those balls to put in his butt. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I give him a small piece of glass from the ground and I put it in his hand, and then I run up ahead. I grab his collar. I pull him back. <laughs> <laughs> try, try, buddy. Uh, huh. <laughs> Give me a dexterity check. I will make a make a, a a strength check or an athletics check, Rob. An intelligence check. For you the make stand. an acrobatics check. All right. <laughs> acrobatics. Yeah, they're fine. Grog, you still. One, two, five. Thirty. Oh. You still have inspiration, Grog. Oh, I do. Oh. Thirty-five. Oh. 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 Wait, 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 wait! I'm gonna use luck. <laughs> Just no, didn't you? <laughs> you dart forward, grinning as you as you just left them behind, and all of a sudden you feel your hood go <laughs> choke you from behind. His grog's just holding it and pulls you back to him. What is your rush? Uh, fine, take the lead. I'm keeping the stone, dick. 
Fine. Right this way, stealthy motherfucker. I start stomping extra no, loud God, as I walk. please don't stomp. Just really making like little bits of salt Grog. and pepper beneath my feet. The glass is cracking and breaking beneath his footfalls. That's not okay. I'm specifically, I want to keep a, like just <laughs> conscious. I just had a ter- I just had a, this weird thought. I just want to. <laughs> do I smell anything? Do I taste anything uh, in the air? Is is there minerals or any kind of? I had this horrifying notion that is, 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 are there any signs that this island is, has even been vaguely inhabited at all recently? Are like how many people does it feel like are, are here, and is there possibly make an intelligence check? See if see if you're going where I'm going on this. Yeah, I, I, I second boys. that question. Um, let's go eight, uh, okay. twelve straight. Uh, from, it's hard to tell. Uh, from from the beach, the only sign of any sort of Activity that has been washed away by the elements was the campsite that you saw, and that was relatively fresh. And you gather probably from the rather rapid rate of rainfall that storms through this area that a lot of any sign would be washed away over time. Um, however, you guys flew over in the sky ship, and as you cased the uh, island, you did not see any pockets with villages. You didn't see areas of the jungle that have been, uh, you know, harvested for resources. I'm going to keep my senses aware as possible for the signs of a mining operation. Okay. And can I keep my senses aware for like aboriginals of the island? Okay. So you guys are being are just keeping tabs on anything around you that might be a Mainly sign. Like, I'm keeping my yeah. senses aware for if Ripley's invisible and is around us. Okay. There I am looking for literally nothing. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, you find it. Well, I will, have, <laughs> uh, I will guess in this in this point one. Uh, everyone roll a stealth check if you're stealthing forward. I'm looking for rabbits. <laughs> the last rabbit. Wow, no. Natural twenty. Wow. Hey, seventeen. Ooh. Fourteen. Seven. Twenty-five. Twenty-eight. All right. Oh. The half elves. Um, catch up on this. Um, as you're making your way towards this knotted section of the jungle, uh, this is, oh, this is the stealth check, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you guys are uh, pushing forward quiet, you guys without a single touch of sound. A little bit from Scanlan, but as the bulk, you guys manage to stop him and as a group push forward, you imagine fairly unseen. Um, it's pretty proud of Fox Machina. Um, <laughs> Grog especially, being the one that stomped, from that, stomped forward. Um, you continue to push forward. Um, everyone make a perception check. All right, new dice. Ugh. Three. <laughs> 10. 22. 26. Ooh. Um, 30. Six. Half elves once again coming through with the skill checks. Yeah, team half. -elves. You guys being quiet and being careful and, and methodical and pushing past the brush without damaging anything. Uh, Vex keeping an eye on signs of movement, and the more you push forward, you start seeing some of the branches that are broken have less dust or just general settling material on them. You're coming upon something relatively recent. Right, is yes. Is the ground still covered in glass? Uh, there are bits of dried brush, but there there is still a very glass-based floor here. Is it like um, broken glass or smooth glass? Uh, there are sections of it that are smooth, there are sections that are broken. Um, you can yeah. see the further in you get, the less that it appears to be a jagged, broken experience. Um, but it but is. No. it does vary, depending. Mm -hmm. But we can navigate. Uh, through. You can navigate through carefully as you move. And does the vegetation seem to be getting thicker? Uh, it's pretty thick. Um, the small breaks here and there, but for the most part, like I said, there aren't carved paths through the jungle here. Um, there's just kind of natural clearings, and you guys have to kind of find your way through. Sometimes you get tight, and you have to move around some of the larger trees, but you're able to navigate without a huge issue. It's not terribly choked off. Um, the the half elves, as you guys are, are quietly pulling forward, um, you pick up on what sounds like whispers, um, hushed voices at least. Um, what do you do? I want to take out, I have a couple vials of poison. Can I dip my, up like a few arrows in the poison? Sure. Okay. Does that make poison arrows? <laughs> the arrows would be poison, yes. Okay. Um, I, arrows begin to die. I will come back, I promise. Do you want me to go look? I'll come back. Just go look. I promise. You got this. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm going to stealth my way to We can stage one whisper. stealth check as you're we can. progressing seven There's eight. no one really listening to us, so we can talk as loud as we want. But there might, there might be. Uh, what? 31. <laughs> okay. So you guys are all staying behind. Uh, what's the marching order, by the way, you guys are currently in? Um, I'm going to be behind him. All right, so Vax is going ahead. I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make a sound. <laughs> so Vax is going forward. We I have him stealthing onto a battle map. Vax, uh, you are you are staying behind him. Yeah. yeah are you going along with her? Everybody are learning quiet. Are, are you going forward, or are you just letting him go ahead? I'm gonna. I'm going to stay, like, grid. behind him. Okay, back with the group or with him? He's moving ahead, everyone's like staying. Like, how much farther ahead are you going? My proposition was to leave you all and go look and come back. To look. Just that always works out, of every time. But I, so, go for it. You can set up a flare this time. Go for it. Why don't I go, I'll I'm tell you what, stay. I'll go up. I'll for Trinket, by the way, too. Oh, we'll stealth for Trinket. I'll stealth for Trinket. I figure when I go too stealthy, I just pop mm. it. Okay. okay, then Trinket is popping your necklace if you wanted to go with that. Mm. Probably safest. Yeah, for stealthy times. Stealthy times. All right, so marching order is Vex. Stealthy times. Behind Vex. Use Raven Slumber. I'm, I'm in the back, back. Okay, Scanlan's holding up the rear. Uh, <laughs> and then I suppose it would be uh, Grog and, and me and Keelan's, maybe? Yeah. Huh? Grog, Grog. behind Vex. Yeah. And then, and then, the then Keelan and Percy behind that, and then Scanlan. Sure. We're kind of been sure. beaten around the head and neck. All right. <laughs> now, Vex, as you stealth up ahead, you. Can I use detect evil? Detect, detect evil? evil? Is that a thing that exists? Yes, it is. Is it a spell? Are you going to see anything other than me, really? <laughs> Don't flatter yourself. I'm like the city, city lights of Los Angeles. I just drown out the stars. You're a wannabe. I'm Please. such a wannabe. Yeah, seriously. I'm the middle What's management. What's going on? What are we doing? You're holding the <laughs> middle management. Divine <laughs> sense. The presence of strong evil registers on your senses like a noxious odor. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. The spell? The level one spell? Yeah, oh, divine sense. Oh, just the, just you use this oh, feature I, a number I, of times equal to one plus your charisma modifier. Right. So one. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> That's right. So I have three times I can do in a day. Fancy me. Yeah. All righty. So you, you stop and concentrate in the end of your turn. All right. Um, you do not sense any celestials, fiends, or undead. Oh. Okay. Okay. That's good. Oh, good that's thing that I'm being quiet, so yeah. I'm going to still. You scoot ahead and you towards the whispers. I there's there's like a small break, and you see that groove kind of reappear in the center of this break, and you see what appear to be three figures on the other side of this, seemingly in a conversation. Oh. What do they look like? Kill them all. You see, uh, to Make the back, attack. holding a large wooden crate, and is currently kind of leaning against it and kind of impatiently looking at the other two figures, uh, a female Goliath um, with a heavy, heavy scratch scar across her face, um, head shaved bald, um, and she, she has a, like a shield slung over her back and a, and a, a big sword uh, currently sheathed over her shoulder. Um, she looks kind of wounded a little bit, like there's a little bit of blood trickling down the face. Um, and then right in front of the crate, you see what appears to be uh, a younger man with a dark hood up and cloak arguing with another woman wearing a very intricate cloak with like a sparkling blue interior. Uh, darker brown hair kind of pulled into a very, very tight bun in the back with streaks of, of white in the back. Um, and what appear to be familiar looking weapons dangling from her belt. You're too far away to hear anything, but you do see this saw happening. Goliath. Ripley, and Ripley. a third, you and said? And a third, yes. What does the third look like? Uh, it's too hard to see from this distance. It looks humanoid. Go back. Okay. And I go directly towards Percival. She is there. What? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. There. Okay. <laughs> she is there. Right. Grog, there's a big woman of your breed Very there. Good. And a third, I don't know what, I don't know if it's a he or a she, I don't know who it is. Thank God. <laughs> um, what do we do, charging guns blazing? I say we put her down as what? quickly as 
I say we put her down as quickly. That's right, we have to stage whisper. Yes. This is fine, let's just all assume that everyone can not hear us. Do we know what the vestige that she has does? We don't. No. So what can we immobilize her with? We do know for whatever she has blocked my scrying. So whatever it is blocked my magic She's to the probably immune her. to magic. From she my vantage point that I had, how far away was I from them? Uh, you were about a hundred feet from them. You were just on the outside of that kind of slight open clearing, and they were in the center of it. It looked like there was momentum moving through, and they had stopped to have this argument. Um, so you don't know how long until they're going to keep moving. How about we take a short rest? <laughs> one of the, like... <laughs> we, can, we can overtake her now if All we right. go right now. All right. What about the hamster ball? But we're not rested. We're going to have to take it the right now. Ball, I, can, I can go in there on the hamster ball, but that doesn't do anything. Can catch her in, in the ball? She might not be catchable. I I'm thought she th can't be magic I don't know. She probably can't magic one of the others. I'm going to, I'm going to. I can barely hear you. I'm going to create a distraction. When the distraction Wait. happens, we just all charge and attack. Wait, I'll shoot you're her. creating a distraction. I'll create a distraction. Why Scanlan create the distraction? I, just, I have a very good distraction. Yeah, but okay, we need you on sharpshooter duty. Percy, I um, think you are the distraction. Are you going to be the distraction? No. She'll know I'm here when she hits us, feels a bullet hit her. Do then, we want to use these? No, no. I was going to make the treasure chest look like it, it, a trap triggered. I was going to have it explode with like a poison, a, a, an illusionary poison. Well, hang on. If we have the flares that her, she is recognized with her crew, why not use the flare that her crew has? Also, it if won't I alarm may, her to someone, uh, an outsider. As a seasoned magic expert, you're going to have to be pretty fucking close to do that, friend. That's fair. <laughs> I think she doesn't care about her crew, remember? She's already this far I in think and, and they Stanley are fucking distracting. We all charge in like motherfuckers. Fine. Magic users, try and chase the others off, see if they'll if they'll back off. We got to get that box away from them. She already got away from us once by using magical abilities to blink out of existence. We have to make sure we lock her down so she doesn't run. Scanlan, can you do that? I'll try. There's a big woman there. All right. She's all yours. A big woman. I, I guess I pop shrink it out. Okay. And I get up on the on the bow. I mean, on the broom. On the broom. I sit on my bow. Carefully and then I get on your broom. <laughs> Wait, Max. From a one to a ten, would you say she's a um... eight point eight? Sweet. <laughs> Percy, I need you to do something right now. Yes. Make me a minor illusion of Ripley. I can't move it once I Just a picture. Minor illusion is very limited as a cantrip. Just a picture. Just a little, just a picture. Like a headshot? A headshot. Like her, like. Like a 1980s Halloween mask? <laughs> it lasts for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> and it stays in that place. Yeah, that's all I want. Yeah. So you, where, where do you want to create it? Okay, right here. Good dog. I call the dog. I say, look at this face. Go grapple that face. Go, go now. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm gonna make my way to the to the oh, tree line and get ready and, and find a, I'm making my way to a tree line sitting down and going to try and get a nice clear shot the minute that I see anything okay. happen. I so would, you're releasing the dog. I'm releasing the dog. Okay. I'm gonna fly up to the top of a tree and I like, try to be so. high up. Okay, so you fly up, to, up, up into the tree oh, there. Oh, you guys her? are making your way towards the edge of this kind of What's clearing. Um, the dog goes, Jasna. I, I'm terribly sorry. What was oh. you requesting? Oh my god, that's right, he speaks. Oh, hi, hi. Hi. I'm scared. <laughs> it's this, this, this black mastiff kind of quizzically turns his head to you. Yes, I forgot you can talk. <laughs> yes, what are we doing? Who are you? What was this the presence? Oh, hi. Right. We're your new masters. Female? Great. Do you like kibble or meat or something? No. Are you, can I ask a favor of you? Maybe. <laughs> we are really in a pickle, and we need you to go grab someone by the face and hold her down. Mm. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. I'll see what I can do. When? When? Who? On the count of ten, maybe? Oh, the, the, the chick. Guys, the, the yes, chick this, this image, vision. this picture, if you go over that little ridge line there, you're going to see three figures. One will be she. Go put your, your maw on her face and grab it. All right, all right. <laughs> You're a good doggy. Yes, you are. Don't call me oh, that, I'm please. Sorry. I was <laughs> sorry. It's, it's demeaning. <laughs> Do you have a name? I already have his name. Oh, I thought it was good. good. I thought it was good, good dog. dog. Oh, he, that's not his real name. What is his name? 
Does it say it on the card? It does. Reginald. Shazbar. Reginald. It does? Sebastian. Oh, <laughs> That's the... Onyx Dog? Uh, let's go look at my notes again. Anyway, you know his name, it's fine. We won't go to Hubert. Mr. Belvedere. Right. <laughs> anyway, towards this clearing, preparing for the sequence, we're going to take a bathroom break there. Yay! Come back for the ensuing chaos. <laughs> So we'll see you guys back here in a few minutes. <laughs> Everything uh, goes. Thank you, Loot Crate. Check out stuff. We have awesome stuff with them. Um, back here in a few minutes, guys. Nails and screws. <laughs> How does Loot Crate obtain such exquisite geek and gaming treasures every month? They rely on the best. Every month we curate an epic mystery box of ridiculously cool surprises with amazing themes like cipher and fantasy. Heroes, villains, you get it. Every last crate containing exclusive, one-of-a-kind items. Then I deliver it to you for under 20 bucks a month. And I guarantee it'll be worth at least twice that much. You're welcome. So get yourself a Loot Crate. Seriously, you already missed out on this one. LootCrate.com. Epic wins every month. What's the car? <laughs> welcome back. So, last we left Jeez. off, you guys, uh, Vax noticed that apparently Ripley and some of her crew are trying to make their way back further into the jungle oh, the and are in, in mid-discussion. Oh. Um, this is just kind of a good for spatial awareness at the moment, and depending on what happens, mm. possible battle. Um, where do you guys want to be for this? Who's on the map right now? Uh, this is the Goliath right there, oh, holding kind of the box. I didn't have a box with me, but it's a big box. <laughs> oh, that's shit. Ripley, and that's the hooded figure. I wanted to be hiding up in a tree. All right, so we'll say... Still can't see the third, right? What's up? Still, have, we can, still can't make out the third figure. No, it's but the third away figure is by Ripley. The Goliath is off on her own with some sort of box. With the box. So we'll say, "What's a box?" Stay up here, Vax. Off to the side. Just open it here. Okay. The rest of you guys, tell me where you want to be placed. Like anywhere that's green is essentially tree overbrush. And where, where are, where are they in the box right now? Uh, that's Ripley. That's the hooded figure, like, like a, like a hooded thug, and that's the Goliath. I'd like to not go direct, but just slowly start creeping around. Says so here we're gonna try and flank that this green, bitch. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna. Over here. Fuck. Yeah. Fuck. I'm gonna check, be. Rog. Guys. Make a stealth check. You're getting close. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay in the brush, but feet. I want to get a clear. Sh I want to get get forward enough to get a clear shot, so I can like really take a nice, well aimed shot at Ripley's head. That right there is gonna be. About there is going to be. That's a fine. Place. I've or, got some. I've got some nice distance. Up to you. It's a fourteen. A fourteen. Yeah. A hold okay. person spell. I can try and hold. Um, Keyleth, where you want to go? Whenever. Where do you want to go? <sighs> I'm gonna kind of creep forward and towards Grog, but being very stealthy. Stealth check. Uh, Scanlan, you have a little dog with you. I think we're gonna start out under. Where Vex is flying, like if she burned okay, over this way. Awesome. Twenty total. Twenty total. Okay. Um, so, as you guys are kind of sitting at place, Vax, you can start hearing and you start hearing some of the conversation. You oh. hear uh, Ripley loudly, kind of whispering. Look, I have been carefully setting my scheduling on this, and we have at least fifteen to twenty minutes before they arrive. Uh, the thug, uh, who's kind of, you know, turns to us. You also said they wouldn't be arriving to the island for another day or so. We don't have time to drag our prize to the transport site. And it returns immediately with a, you are a fool to argue with your superior child. I hired you as a bodyguard, nothing more. I plot, you protect. If this doesn't suit you, allow me to fire you from service. And she pulls one of her guns out and cocks it and points it. Um, he goes, no, I mean no disrespect, but we must begin setting a trap here. Now, if we hope to stop them. Is that a he or a she that I'm hearing? It's a he. Uh, and it says, you aren't wrong. Luska, take the relic to the others of the mountain. We'll wait here and prepare for our pursuers. And the uh, Goliath kind of reaches down and begins to grab uh, the, the box and goes, you mean use the relic against them? And it says, it may be too dangerous given we know little about it. Let me think. Um, as this is happening, you hear a <laughs> in a brush, and all of a sudden they both look over in the direction as a Goliath holding axe is kind of just visible behind one of the trees. I fire. Oh, oh, distraction yeah. throw a dagger at Ripley I fire, now. we all fire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right, so. <laughs> so, who's firing right now? Okay, you, you, and you. I'm releasing a dog. You're releasing a dog. I'm dog gonna try and hold Ripley run. with a hold person. 
Okay. Uh, going going around here for this. So so you release the dog. The dog begins to run. Uh, we'll say gets about there. Um, the Vax is throwing a dagger. Yeah. Go ahead and roll for an attack. Is it a surprise at this point, or no? Uh, no, Grog broke the surprise. Uh, you still, you still get the uh, the advantage on the first strike, though. Okay, twenty four. Ripley. Okay, twenty four on Ripley. Um, uh, okay, so that hits going all damage. But it's not. Uh, but I get sneak attack because I'm first to go. Correct. It's not surprise. All right. Plus 12, 16, 17, 21, 27, 34. 34, and the second dagger will go as well. Okay. Uh, for seven. Plus poison. Okay. DC of 15. Okay. You throw both daggers, one goes into her shoulder, and she kind of. <sighs> Pulls back the impact hitting, but you're kind of like seemingly resisting, not taking the full brunt of the blow. The second one hits again, and there's kind of a delayed reaction from the impact. She's like, ah, stop! Stop! Now! Puts her hands out like that, kind of just shouting out to you, shouting out to the direction of where the dagger came from. She kind of sees you kind of moving past in the brush, glancing, and she's putting her hands up like that. Um, what are you guys doing? Are you going through? Did the poison yeah. take effect? Yes. Uh, you don't know. All right. All right. Next. I'm gonna shoot a bramble shot at her. Bramble shot from up here? Yeah. Okay. Get her uh, she has pretty intense cover from oh, she you. she does? From outside. Yeah. Not high up, like, you you can see where she is, but um, she's like pretty much almost full cover, so you're gonna have, she has a big bonus to AC. Then I'll just try a regular shot. Since I can't see her, I don't wanna waste my bramble Okay, go shot. for it. So first strike. Uh, 20, 21, 22, 23. Twenty-two uh, with the cover bonus. No, Aaron misses. Just hits a tree nearby. God. Yeah. The other one misses. Too. She hits another tree. Nothing. She's still shouting. Stop! Let's talk. Um. Uh. Scanlan and Percy. What are you guys doing? I say to Percy, should we hear her out? So you're kind of holding her shoulder from where the dagger impacted. And the other figure, the hooded figure, is like pulled blade out and is looking around. I'll just shout at her, what do you want? What do you want to say? Alright, you shout? Yes. Alright, uh, Grog, what are you doing? I want to kill. I want to ring the fucking dinner bell. We <laughs> will. What do you mean? I can walk her down. I, can I, down. I, I step on the branch that creaked like I'm angry at it. <laughs> Snaps I'm, loudly. I'm gonna cast Hex on her. Okay. With my bonus, I'm gonna hold my action. And I'm gonna train. I'm like, and I'm going to shout from the from the from the woods. Step away from the box and tell your men to put their weapons down and we will listen. Okay. Keyleth, what are you doing? I'm gonna take a few steps forward, like two boxes forward, and I'm gonna release a hold person on Ripley. No! Okay. It's a hold person. Oh, you're it's releasing a hold person. it. You're doing it. I'm doing it. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, don't release Cast it! Yeah. <laughs> no. don't I'm not letting it go. Shut 19. Up. She's, gonna, she's gonna make a oh. wisdom save. Right. Uh, uh, she begins backing away. Spell has no effect. Fucking fucking. No, 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 no. But she, magic. she has, she puts her, she's like holding the gun up, uh, her hand up now. Or she's she kind of put it up and she's taking a, a, a step back. Way. Stop moving. She stops moving. The other right uh, now. The other figure is kind of standing there, looking what to do. The Goliath is kind of holding the crate now. Put the crate down. The Goliath, or I'll shoot out your ankle. The Goliath shouts out. Here, bring it to you. I Put don't it down know. right where it is. Drops it to the ground. And begins to like back away from the crate. Um, about there. Um, Anna, who's standing there now, looking over and seeing you, where the voice is coming from. If I see a twitch, I fire. Faster than anticipated. Congratulations. Well, now we stand in a curious position. Shall we talk? You can talk. 
You have however long I choose to give you. You see the blood kind of like pulling down her shoulder. Um, you see uh, the other, the, the the humanoid male, you can see now it's a, it's, a, it's a man behind there kind of holding the blade out at the side, kind of. Explain to us why we shouldn't just kill you now and let your two friends wander off into the sunset. Not to be touched by us if they turn and run. While he's talking, I want to fly closer on a closer tree. Closer tree? So I can get a better Okay, you have to get her. lower to get a better look here. Okay. Can I hide again and circle around further? So you can get about there to get a better view. I will also in chat and try to heal the dog. Okay, yeah, the dog which has kind of moved forward. Nick. Back, back, back. It's okay. Steps back I'm there. I follow is. suit and also move okay. like slightly to the outside and around their flank. Yeah, there you go. There you mean? Yeah, that's great. Okay. Um, you can still kind of see her through the brush. You have a better view. She only has half cover now. Okay. In the trees. Uh, you begin begin with a stealth check because we make a bonus action. I want to hide, I wanna hide yeah. behind like one of the branches. Okay, so both of you guys roll stealth. You, you essentially both hide as your roguish talents let you. Just keep an eye out. Make sure that they're not people in the jungle coming this way. Uh, that's yeah, 26. that's. Uh, 26. Yeah. 20, <clears throat> sorry. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. The 25 on self. Okay, gotcha. Um, just, I have fairly procured a few artifacts for myself, and you have done the same. Do we call it an honorable draw and go our own ways? I am in agreement that on that level, all debts are settled and fair. However, I believe we have some previous debts to still settle. I have no interest in the petty tyranny of drakes and dragons. Every great beast that has asserted dominance through history has fallen to the ingenuity of man. I will worry not what you're after. You are so dull. The other races, Percy, and you know this in your heart, they lack our dynamic ability to adapt to build upon failure so quickly that success becomes an inevitability. I have faith you will all succeed in your mission, so long as you keep your precious white-haired boy in the lead. You two really follow her? Are you idiots? The, uh, the, uh, the man with the, with the dagger out kind of just glares off at you in the distance. Um, make a perception check, actually. Who? Everybody? Or Everybody, right now. Ugh. 16. 12. 19. 22. 32. Jesus. You coming here? Whisper. Whisper. We get the little oh, 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 falling shit. door. Scans in. Ooh, guys. we both get it. Oh, you're taking the DM chat. Hey, 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 hey. Oh! oh! I can't hear anything Matt's saying. <laughs> They're so cute it. over there. I knew oh! it. I fucking knew it. Okay. Oh, no. I, it. Uh, I knew it. Is there anything we should know before we continue? Uh, um, Anna continues. Arm up says, religion is archaic and unnecessary. What's she paying you? I bet I could double it. The, uh, the the man kind of stands there still looking kind of dumbfounded. Attack her right now and we'll discuss terms. I'm not actually sure I could double it, but I could definitely make it worth your while right now. I would be hilarious. She's awful! Look. Oh no. Percival. Oh, are they moving behind you? Do you know? You can't see. They really don't like you. Do they know what you did to my family? Do they have any idea what you do to the people that you stay with? As you're talking, she cuts through your voice to him and says, Don't worry, Percy, our toys have already made the rounds. I sold a couple in Vasselheim, and a few more in Ancarel. Partially because I needed the money, but also because he told me it would drive you mad. How many have you sold? Uh, we're looking at six, and the uh, instructions for creation to two other seemingly very curious and up-and-coming tinkerers like yourself. Well, I guess I'll just have to live with that. I open fire. <gasps> okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Go ahead and roll. Thank you. Combat has halted, and now it's progressing again. Her. Um, I'm going to do a 
She really pissed me off. I'm so sorry. I'd like to throw at her again as well. Okay. Um, go for it. Go ahead and go for <laughs> okay. It. Let's. Uh, I'm going to spend a dead eye shot on this, and uh, uh, this is a bad news shot with a dead eye with the hex. By the way, she has a disadvantage on strength checks. Okay. Uh, the hex is probably not going to do a damn thing. I don't even know why I bothered. Um, Extra damage. Magic fucking cloak. Um, so with sharp suitor, so that's this. I'm so nervous. Natural fucking twenty. Hoo ha! Oh, so that's your attack. What's up? Roll your attack. I rolled a thirty-seven. Okay. You fire, and the dagger gets thrown. The dagger passes through her form. Your bullet has no effect. She's Watches. a fucking. Ripley kind of smiles and lowers her head. Both her and the figure that were standing vanish from sight. No. There's a streak of bright light from the distance as a small beam hits the center and detonates in a small fireball, which then causes the ground to suddenly rumble and <laughs> erupt in an explosion of white light and force. Everybody but Percival, for a moment you are tossed with the blast of a hundred hammers across your body and face. Your vision is faded as you hear the sound of thunder but inches from your ear. Numbness takes over your form. I need all of you to roll a dexterity saving throw. Oh. Does evasion factor into this? It may. Yeah. Did the hex actually take then? Uh, no. Wouldn't I have noticed? Is this an illusion? I threw it over there. Gil, don't it fail me. It seemed to cause some sort of a smoky apparition. Oh. I don't know. Sense, <laughs> don't so don't kill. Okay. Gil, this is on your fucking dice. Gil. <laughs> I walked away from that. Um, Natural 20 on yeah. the second. Great. Wait, did you say we have a no, he has advantage. advantage. He has advantage on dexterity. So dexterity? That danger sense. Does the dog need to make a dex save? The dog would, yes. How do I do that for the dog? Uh how many hit points does the dog have? 70 stats for his six. Even if the dog made it, the dog is just the the I <laughs> the onyx dog that reformed into a into a small object is now flung from a large fiery explosion. Um uh alright, so. Dex 14. 17. Percy, you actually are, oh, you know, actually you should make it too, just from the sheer force. Everybody makes it. 12. 28. 15. Natural 20. Okay. So, Grog, you manage to just leap out of the way as you begin to see the fireball explosion that's just out of the range. It hits kind of in the center here and doesn't hit anybody. But in a split second, you watch as certain things in the ground catch flames and explode from underneath. The ground itself erupts like something deep beneath the earth just bursts outward. Um, Grog, you take 32 points of fire damage. Wow. Um, Vax, you manage to dodge out of the way behind a tree, the tree of which is blown past you and you duck out of the way, but it takes the brunt of the damage. You take no damage with your evasion. The rest of you take 65 points of fire damage. Took the full smack. Ooh, oh that. my god. Wow. We walked right we into that. We knew we were gonna fall for that one. Yep. The Goliath, did the Goliath uh Goliath probably took some damage too. <laughs> Trinket also takes the damage, by the way. Trinket. Uh roll the reflex save. Trinket was on the ground, wasn't it? Yep. If you, um, if you, uh... Dexterity. Uh, 21. For Trinket. Rog is not blasted prone, managed to catch himself. 21. 21. Okay, so Trinket takes, uh, 32 points of fire damage. Good, because if he had taken the full thing, he would have been unconscious. As, as the ringing subsides from the blast, you all were thrown dozens of feet from your current placement, most of you onto your back, aside from you, Vax, and you, Grog. Uh, and actually, Trinket would have caught himself as well. You now see a giant crater in the ground with rock and rubble and shards of glass tossed around you. The trees in the center have been blasted out, and you can see a number of broken trunks and roots kind of curved up with little bits of fire and flame now kind of burning off their edge, what little bit of burnable material still remained on some of the living trees. Um, 
the smell of heavy gunpowder, recently burned, kind of sits the air as the giant cloud of smoke rises up in the center of the jungle. Um, at this point in time, the uh, Goliath has stepped forward from the brush, as well as two other figures off to the side, wielding long-barreled rifle-like weapons. You, there are a few other figures on this side as well. Oh my god. And actually, you don't see that one. And Ripley steps out of the bushes from the side. Where is she? What? Over there. Oh, so they are there, and we're all like at... The okay. opposite side, and the this is a heavy groove in the ground. These are the only parts of the land that still stand at normal ground height. The rest of this is a giant slope that goes into a crevasse and rises back up. Vegetation so, is gone. Here. Uh, vegetation in that area is completely gone, and there's broken there? rock and glass everywhere still. So in how the deep area. is the crevasse? Uh, oh, it's crevasse. about twenty feet deep at its at its deepest. And uh, everybody sees everybody, right? Everybody sees everybody yeah. right now. I need you all to roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Overlord, yeah. don't fucking fail me now. That's yeah. all right. Come on, Gil. Not great. Natural one. <laughs> wow, you like that dice. Is that Gil's dice again? It's been doing fine for me. It's been hit or miss. Yeah, same here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Although I, I will admit, I, I rolled, I rolled gold for this roll. So. I rolled gold. Yes, I did. All right. All right. Bitch. All right. All righty. So, going from this here, because this is going to be a bit of a complicated so battle to keep track of for initiative, um, I'm going to go ahead and write it here 25 to 20. 30. 30? I just rolled a natural 20 on my initiative. It is 30. This would be the time to do it. Jesus. All right. What'd you get, Grog? 22. 22. Uh, 20 to 15. 17. Uh, Vex. Uh, right. Uh, 15 to 10. Uh, 15. 15. Combat's over. 10. 10 to 5. 6. 6. All right. See you guys in a half hour. <laughs> Is she actually vex? Is she actually been hit by the hex? By the way, uh, the hex is still around, but meaning you cast the spell, and it's a concentration spell. Actually, I need you to roll a concentration. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. I'll run that, a that was... concentrate. What, what is? What, what do I roll for concentration? Yeah. Oh, you got to roll a natural twenty. That was yeah. a lot you of damage. Yeah, you have to roll buddy. above your damage. Or half, half the damage. That... Oh my God! Shut the Another fuck up! It's a different dice too. <laughs> Jesus Christ, what Allison. The, what the hell? You somehow, in the blast, as your eyes flicker too, and you immediately just, shoot up from the ground in a sitting rolling position, with hate. your I'm eyes immediately hate. focus on Ripley appearing from across the way, from across the crevasse, and that little, <laughs> that little lingering scar of Orthax oh, in the back can't. of your head maintains the anger of your hex. You would have to designate it onto her next turn, That's but you still maintain fate, this man. <laughs> All right. Uh, my my hate lives. Yeah. My hate lives. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. got this. <laughs> F, you got this. H, fate, hate, whichever. You know, same. Six of one, half a dozen of the other. Oh man, that felt good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's two in a row. By Top the way. Top of the just, round is yes, Percy. Uh, okay. Um, where was I? Um, uh, you are over here on your ass. Right I'm now. going to stand up. <laughs> That's half your movement there. You're right at the edge of where the ground breaks and falls in. That's fine. Um, how? What's the distance? Is it only bad news distance, or am I within 400? Am I within 400? You're within 400. Yeah. You so can. I can actually like put bad news away and and actually like deal with this. Yeah, if you'd like to. Um, well, they probably all have much higher. They're going to just have initiative up the wazoo. So I'm gonna. Um... Huh. Okay. No. No. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Pull, pull the big gun out again. Give it a reload and give it a shot right at Ripley. Um, okay. It's going to be, I've got the hex on her. Okay, so you move the hex over to her with your bonus move action. the hex over to her for my, for my bonus action. She's now officially hexed. Um, 
Let's give her, let's pick a fun disadvantage. Uh, let's see. Um, let's give her a, let's give her a, um, just a, a dexterity disadvantage. Nice all right, dex disadvantage, got it. Um, all right, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a um, standard shot at her with um, uh, a leg shot. I'm just going to try and knock her prone, because okay. that's fun. Go for it. Uh, no sharpshooter. Uh, that's 26 to hit. That'll hit. Uh, that's, uh, so she has to make a strength save, is it? Um, she has to make a strength saving throw. Uh, that is a 19. Against Seven, a DC of 19. 17 plus 2, she makes it. Okay. So it doesn't knock her prone, it hits her in the foot, she ugh, almost falls over, but go ahead and roll damage. Uh, damage is, oh, there's also a bonus damage. Isn't there? Really? Here we are. Uh, make sure I'm rolling all the right dice. That'll, that'll do. Um, that's uh, 6 plus uh, 10. Uh, 22 points of damage plus 3 points of necrotic damage. Nice. All right. <laughs> the blast hits the leg and almost knocks her onto the ground, but she catches herself on the edge, kind of against the, the, the tree right behind her and pushes herself back into place. <sighs> That's funny. I'm going to burn a action surge. And I'm going to shoot her two more times. All right. It's funny. Um, I'm going to... Uh, where is she? She's... What's behind her? Uh, it is a tree, uh, about... 10 feet okay, behind her. Um, I'm going to hit her again with an attempt to knock her down. I'm going to burn another grip okay. for that. Boom, boom. Uh, that is that's a, that's a 20, 32 to hit. Uh, 32 to hit, that'll hit. And that's um, not quite as good. That's 6, uh, 11. 14 points of damage plus 3 points of necrotic. Okay. This uh, one. And yeah. another strength check. Another strength check. This one she does not make. As she readies herself, you fire a second time and it hits her foot. You can see a spatter of blood off the side and she ah, falls and slams right down on the ground, uh, actually taking three points of piercing damage, landing onto the broken glass and the rubble around her. And um, just for fun. Fun. No, because then that's just her bonus action for that, although that would be pretty funny. Uh, I'm just going to hit her one more time with a, uh, um, just for a, uh, a, uh, a sharpshooter shot. Do I get a bonus to hit her because she's on the ground or no? Actually, because she's on the ground, it's at a disadvantage. Um, range attacks against prone. Prone people, even with a sharpshooter, even with a, with a, with a standard sharpshooter bonus of uh, ignore Is it three quarter cover. It's not so much cover, it's more the fact that they're... Uh, smaller target. Yeah, she's a smaller target to hit, because they're closer to the ground. Okay, so so the the full range, uh, sharpshooter full range ignore three-quarter cover does would not cancel that it's out. It's not cover that gives you the bonus. I mean, but like the whole theory being it's just easier to hit smaller targets. Right, it affects cover, it doesn't affect her being a smaller target in general to hit. Hmm. It's just the way the rule works. Yeah, that's okay. Um, She's down. What am I going to do? Yeah, no, I'm not even going to pretend. Yeah, I'll, I'll burn a point of... I'll, I'll burn a point of uh, grit. grit to also ignore that. Okay, there you go. So just a straight attack roll. Uh, oh, that's probably uh, probably not going to hit. Let's see. Uh, 14. 14 does not hit. Damn it. it scoots past her and poof, slams into the tree behind her. You see the splintering of petrified bark. All right, I throw the throw my throw my uh, uh, gun behind on my shoulder, and I'm going to head. Uh, to my right to try and get some cover with that tree. Around Keyleth? Yeah, around Keyleth. Okay, yeah. Jump over her prone form. <laughs> my mind dead. Like, get get up! Turn <laughs> <laughs> Percy? Yes. All right, Grog, you're up. I look at the crater on the ground and I go, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to rage. Yes. Can I, in 50 feet, get to that? Regular rage or frenzied rage? Just regular. Okay. Can I get all the way to the guy that's right in front of me on the map, along the side of the crater, or is that not enough for 50? Oh, man. You can just get there. I'll just get there. <sighs> Lovely. You see him, like, loading the rifle, and all of a sudden you rush up to the side, he goes, Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> I would like to make a reckless attack against him. Okay. With my two blows. Flaggle, Go for flaggle. it. Flaggle. 15 by 15. 
That's 20, uh, thir- 29. 29 will definitely hit. Nice. Thirty-three. Thirty-three points of damage. Yeah. Thank you. Oof. No, no, I'm sorry. Thirty-three to hit for the second. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Oh, okay. I'm sorry about that. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, they both hit. Yeah. Okay. And roll damage. Alone. Uh, twenty-nine with five points of necrotic damage. Nice. So thirty-four. You actually did more. <laughs> Second strike. I'm sorry, 29 includes the five point of Oh, includes it. I see, I see. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Sorry, 29. <laughs> That's all good. Four, 17. Uh, a total of 22 with another five points in the chronic. Gotcha. Okay, cool. As you rush up and whack, hacking into him with the blade, angry, the, the, the just your jaw clenched in, in anger. The gunner is like pushed back, each blow just gashing into his chest. You can already see the crimson line of each slash across his armor, part of it kind of folding away from the impact. And he's just like trying to get the hell away from you. Is that a new turn? I say, thanks for the warm up. And that's my turn. Okay. <laughs> All right. Next up is Anna Ripley. Um, she stands up from her space, angrily, and goes, oh, that's all right, we can finish the job. And she brings her hand up and begins casting a spell on herself. Um, all righty. She finishes casting the spell. Uh, her, this weird kind of outline begins to just kind of a little, like, like a gold-like shimmer across just the edges of her shoulders. You're not quite sure what it means. You watch as her right kind of metallic hand that she has detaches and hits the ground. You watch as a flare of purplish black energy begins to swirl off her shoulders. And where the arm was, now you see a giant shadow claw emerge. You see a shadow begin to encompass around her another pair of shoulders and glowing yellow eyes over her form as she says, I found a new friend recently. Seems he doesn't like being abandoned. <laughs> the anti-person. That's what we'll pick it up next week. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching Critical Role. <laughs> Holy fuck. Brought to you by Poor Decisions. Yeah, man. <laughs> Aha. And with that, she vanishes. Oh. Chickens are all coming home to roost. Shit. Can I just say how much I wish Pike was here right now? Yeah, second hit. <laughs> third, though. Yeah, we missed Pike. <laughs> All right. This gunner here is, is going to go ahead and aim at you, Vax, um, while this one is going to attempt to step away from Grog. Attack of opportunity. Yeah. 30 right there. Okay. Go ahead and make your attack of opportunity on him. Just reckless. Reckless. Percy, did she just disappear? Uh, 29. She's that invisible. Yep. She's just invisible. 17. Uh, 20 Fuck points, including bitch. including three points in the credit. 20 total. Nice. So you hack that. again, this time across the back of the shoulders. Ah, he arcs in pain. Um, he's, he's looking a little rough, uh, but still keeping up. Stumbles away, turns around, and whips the rifle behind, and psh, goes to fire at you with it. Uh, it has advantage on you because you're reckless attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, that is going to be a natural 20 on the second roll. Mm. Um, God damn it. All right, so with the rifle, it's 2d10. I don't look good either. Uh, Nine. I should mention, I suppose, that these rifles are probably very breakable. 42 points of piercing damage to you, Grog, from the crit. Uh, because yeah. you are raging and it is not magical, that's halved to you take 21 points of piercing damage. Oh. Like 8% of your hit point pool. We can all get together. I actually brought heal today because Pike wasn't here. Really? I people. did. I was going to reload the rifle and then go still, for another strike. Like it immediately heals like advantage. seven people yeah. for like 80 that's, hit points or something. Uh, 17 insane. plus but I, 10, I gotta, so I 27. Yep. I think we have to be close. Next hit is. I'm definitely out of 13 points of piercing damage. Reduced to I'm six. like glass. I'm ten. The other gunner aiming at you. I'm, I'm four. Max disadvantage because of the cloak. Right, which it rolled a one and a nineteen. So yeah, sorry. The first shot that. just goes clear. It hits your form, but your form shimmers and you're actually. When a roll with a one with a with a with a rifle misfire. Yeah, it's going to. Okay. Um, so the rifle immediately kind of uh, smoke starts pouring out of it. And you see the metal is kind of bent now, and he kind of chucks it to the side. Um, turns and pulls out 
a small pistol and it's going to go ahead and take two shots at you. With a disadvantage, that's a yes. and a five, plus 10, 15, misses. Second shot, psh, misses, turns the barrel, goes to fire a third time with disadvantage. Six and a 19, nope. Uh, the third one psh, fires and each one's hitting your form, but your image shifts sh- sh- around it, no impact. Um, it's going to step back into the bush here to try and get out of sight. That guy's going to stay over there. That ends their turn. Vex, you're up. <laughs> Where am I? You're over here, flat on your ass. Jesus. Looking up at, the, at the, 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 the open space where a bunch of tree cover used to be that is now blown open and the sky is visible. Jesus. <clears throat> well, I stand up. How far, what are those like, those circles next to Trinket? What are those? Uh, the, these are some trees that survived the explosion that are like singed and burned. This is, so there's like a trunk approximately this big underneath. I, would I be able to get and hide behind that? Uh, using half your movement to get up, you would have 15 more feet, so you get that as far as you could get. <laughs> but you could use your bonus action to dash if you wanted to. Oh, right, because I'm Because you're I'm second rogue. level rogue. Okay, I'll do that. All right, and so I'll you... dash and hide behind the tree. Okay. Uh, well, you dash, but you can't you can't roll a hide as well unless you want to use your action to do that. Well, I want to get behind the yeah, tree, so, you can use so the it's tree still like cover. coverage, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, that's true, yep. Um, and then I can't. Can I shoot from there? You can yeah, as long as something's in range. Um, what's is anything in range? What's the range on your uh, longbow? Um, it should be written down with the Oh no, no, it doesn't say. It should wrote it down. But I'll find it, it for you. It says longbow. Longbows range 150 feet and 600 feet. So uh, yes. Yeah, uh, pretty much everything, except for maybe the farthest guy, is questionably within your first range category. So yeah, you do have a shot at most everything. Okay, I'm gonna um, shoot... Oh, so the guy that Grog hit is without, outside of my range? He might be. It's hard to tell at this distance, you have to gauge it. Okay, then I'm gonna shoot at the guy closest to me. But I want to be able to like peek out, shoot, and then duck back behind the tree, yeah. Okay, go for it. What? What? Nothing, you didn't hear me. Go for it, go for it. Okay. I don't know why you what. What? Um, that is a thirty something. Thirty-two. That hits. Jesus. Okay. What? Twenty-one. Twenty-one points of damage. What the fuck, man? As the figure is like disappearing backward, trying to get into the brush to hide, arrow (laughs) hits. Uh, the, uh, the female warrior, um, and you can see her move quickly. So you go and take your second attack on her. Uh, that was a female warrior. It was, it was a female gunner. Yeah. Yeah. Then which, I'm gonna... which one? Right there. I'm not shooting at the other one, dude. Uh, I thought that's what he said before. No. Okay, so I'm gonna shoot her again. Okay. Uh, eighteen doesn't hit her. Uh, eighteen just barely hits. Ah, ah, ah. Ventress. <laughs> yes. Yep. Didn't quite get into cover at this point. It's 22 on that one. Oh, and the last two had four points of yes. lightning damage on both of them. Right, yes. Right. Right. So, right. you hear the echo of, of angry, gritted I'm teeth trying. from the pain of the two arrow blows. And then I, I hide back behind the, or coming. duck back behind yeah, okay. so you're like using the tree, as, you're, okay. you're with half cover at the tree. Okay, that ends your turn. Vax, you're up. So, uh, the one in the far corner is not the one that you whispered to us about. Shit. Or is, who shot at me? Uh, the one who I whispered to? Yeah. Uh, that was an illusion. It vanished. Gone. You don't see that figure anymore. Okay. Fucking hell. Uh, all right. Uh, oh shit. Oh. Then um, I am going to. Uh, that's the one in the far corner is who my sister attacked. Yeah, right there. You saw the two arrows. <laughs> then I'm going to follow up. Okay. One more player off the board. Do you want to uh, move, move closer, a, yeah. or are you just like leaping up onto the? I'm right there. Yeah, I, I'm a sharpshooter. That's. Yeah. A... This tree is too thick. You're gonna have to get up on the tree to do it. Fine. So you kind of leap up. <laughs> Get onto it and you. 29 for the first, and the second is uh, 26. 26, all right. Both hit. Uh, unfortunately, no sneak attack. Yeah, I know. Uh, that is, uh, is eight for the first. Go up next, Keyleth, by the way. And nine for the second. That's what I'm gonna do. Great, all right. So <laughs> the two daggers pierce, kind of vanish in place. They come back to you. Can I use the rest of my movement to drop behind the tree and go into a crouch? Yeah, you leap just beneath, and if you want to use your bonus action, well, no, use your bonus action. Yeah, yeah, so I'm done. You're done. 
All right. Uh, that does give you three quarters cover, though, from behind, okay. anywhere from that angle. Oh, can I have had on my move Trinket run over to the tree where Percy is? Yeah, I'll give it. Mm. Thanks. Right behind Percy now. Uh, all right, that comes to Keyleth. Okay, I stand up, very irritated, <laughs> and I grab Percy, and I pull him to me, and I cast Heal on him, my sixth level spell. I'm fucking burning it for you. Thank you. Oh. So full 70 points, because he's almost down. I thought it was a group spell. Is it not? It's not. Oh, not you made I should have grabbed Mass Cure Wounds, and I was wrong. So I grab Percy, and I say, fucking finish this bitch. <laughs> finish this. And let him go, and that's my turn. Okay. So healing Percy. I am not at full, but I'm much better. Nice. Which Fucking is kill her, man! But is a thing. All right. Uh, next, you're probably down down next to me with some cover, though. You're probably not up. To and I'm gonna take side. my last whatever movement I have to kind of step back a little bit because I'm really <laughs> fucked up. So if I can step back, step whatever back. whatever I can. I know I stood up, so I know I have like half movement. Two, three. You can get like behind trinket. If I'll you get to. behind trinket, and I'm not Barrow looking cover. good. Okay. Um, Grog, after you see the guy back up and you start lurching forward, you just faintly hear out of the corner of your ear a rustle and, and your eye turns over just in time to see a hooded figure leap out with a blade in hand towards you from behind. Whoa. That is going to be with advantage against you. Oh, um, God. 26 to hit. Yeah. Uh, that hit. I have danger sense, advance on deck saving throws, dodge, traps, and spells. Eh? Oh, yeah, wait, it doesn't, doesn't help you in this. Wait, traps and spells? You, yeah, which he, he got advantage on the, yeah, yeah. On the saving throw. Yeah. Uh, 26 so yeah. hits, yes. All right, so. What the hell is that? Uh, you feel something cold and painful just sink into your back That's and so the muscles tense up. All right, you take. I'm really tapped out. I'm not looking. Sorry. Keep going. From the sneak attack. Oh, sneak attack. Kill her. <sighs> 28 <sighs> points of slashing damage. Half to 14. Uh, half to 14. Nice. Uh, piece of damage through your back. Um, uh, from the blade. And. Uh, Kind of surprised at the impact it didn't take as well as it did. Pulls the blade out, kind of <sighs> looking, you know, with the kind of the, the blood curling on the edge of the blade. You kind of glance over your shoulder at this, uh, this, this, you know, thug-like figure, uh, kind of young man looking a little scared. Uh, that brings us to uh, the Goliath, who at this speed right now just sees you at that point. Right? Uh, goes ahead and dashes forward, takes no action, but pulls, pulling out a shield and a big old thick broadsword, just comes up, yelling at you, kind of getting your attention, full on like gladiatorial warrior on warrior combat, shield at the ready, ready to just tussle with you. Table four. Uh, Scanlan, you're up. Me? Yep. <laughs> Jesus, I can't do shit. I uh, get up. Those are holes, craters? Yeah, I mean, like you can slide, it's, it's like a gradual uh, crevasse that comes down and then comes up to these points here um, where the ground has just been blown out. Okay. I get up to the edge of, I, I go, I, what, I can only run another 15 feet or something, right? Yeah, roughly. So I get closer to the edge as far as I can, yeah. That's about as close as you can get there. And, ah, uh, shit. Um, so far, I, man, I can't do much. Uh, those fuckers are. How far apart are the far, the farthest of the far? Uh, Not far apart. These, both of these guys are about 25, 30 feet from each other. And then how about that one and the next one? That one and the next one there. Yeah. Uh, they would be roughly 65, 70 feet apart. Okay. Eh. <laughs> okay. Um, you take your action to fly. Oh man! Yeah, yeah that's a good. Yeah, I'll, fl I'll fire a, a fireball to those two in the corner. Those two that's there. good. That's good. That's so helpful. All right. 
Uh, two mind. dex saves. Oh man, we're one. in it, y'all. We're fucking one. in it. It's a one, so it's DC fifteen. This is gnarly. This is gnarly. Um, right here. Okay, so the one, the robed one, succeeds. So it takes half damage. The gunner rolled a natural one and doesn't. Say robed one. Great. So go ahead and roll that eight d six damage. Percy, you're almost up. We have one more turn before you after this, and then you're up. So be prepared. Oh God, I have to. Yeah, just, no, I'm. I'm. Hmm, that's good. Thirty-five. Thirty-five. All right. Yes. Seventeen fire damage to that one, and then that kind of there. Another fiery explosion. <gasps> um, you can see uh, the streak from the wand of Scanlan in the distance. This tree pff, begins to catch fire. It's, it's one of the few uh, not fully burned petrified trees. Oh, thank God. It's going to curl up. Um, the rogue figure kind of ducks, ducks out of the way and, and manages to, to avoid some of the impact. Uh, the figure that's already been stabbed and shot by arrows um, takes the full brunt of it and is looking charred, burnt, and <laughs> like barely holding on right now. All right. As a bonus, can I take a potion? Is that a bonusable action? I'm letting it, yeah. You need to get a potion as a bonus. Okay, I'll take a greater, which is how many? Uh, greater is 4d4 4 4 plus 4. 4 d4, but it's 4. 4 d4 plus 4. 4 d4. Pretty good. Oh, shit, man. What a map. I'm so excited. Okay. <laughs> okay. Like a pair of crater breasts coming out of the ground. Oh, boy. Crater breasts. Okay. okay. That's my move. See you in a half hour. <laughs> <laughs> we'll send him out. All righty. So. Oh, my God. There we go. <laughs> How many more attackers don't we see? I know, right? There are, there are the Hong Kong Cavaliers still. We're ready. It's like the crazy 88s. Just, yeah, they just, just keep coming. One, two, three, four. <laughs> figure the magician. Four. Uses a bonus action to Misty Step. Damn it. Fucking. Under there. What? Come Good. On. The Good. That's funny. No, that's edge. at eye level. That's, that's uh, on our level. The robed oh, figure. It's right yeah, it's, it's up on the eye level. Stands there on the edge, lifts the staff up. The hand begins to glow in a shimmer of rainbows. And as the hand comes down like this, the rainbow blasts out in front of it with this sudden, nearly blinding show of magical arcane force. Um, uh, hey, did I get my templates? Cause I'm gonna need a, I'm gonna need a template there, Ryan. Those little plastic. How many, things? If you have yeah, no template, it misses everybody. Five, ten. 30. That's how it works. 40. I don't see them in there. Is, is this one? Sorry, before you do this, before you spend all this time, is yeah. this one sixty feet away from me? Uh. Oh God, oh God. It is within sixty feet. I'm gonna counterspell that. Ooh. You're a beautiful person. Okay, uh, using your reaction to counterspell, go ahead and roll, adding. Six plus two because of your thing, so plus eight to this. It's a d20? D20 at eight. Fuck you. <laughs> Twelve. Twelve. Um, <laughs> nothing. An interesting thought here. There are. Right. I like interesting thoughts. No, thank you. Well, hopefully we don't need those. Uh, oh look, they made little caskets for all of our figures. Oh, that's so adorable. Oh, I hear the oh, skill. How cute. Thanks, chat. Oh. You can add one of your own bardic inspirations to an ability check if you want to. Little remember? Viking Higher. funeral. So can, this is technically an ability check. So if you wanted to, you I can, can inspire myself. Yeah, that's ability you got to that hardcore. All right, to inspire myself, I take a big handful of fusaka. <laughs> 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 you can roll the d10 and add that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. Oh, thank you Another for that Another four. Line. It only brings oh. it up to 16. 16 is not going to be a oh. Oh. Terrible rolls. <laughs> what a uh. visual. <laughs> oh, I got spice in my nose. Only <laughs> catches those two, unfortunately. All right. <laughs> Wasn't quite as good as he was hoping. Mm. And neither was I. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it would get... No, drink no, it's not getting drink it. Um, Tickle on his nose. You're good. Yeah, I'm right. great. I'm hiding behind Trinket. <laughs> so I need a dexterity saving throw from Percival and from Scanlan. Come on, Percy. Happily. Natural 20. No, but good enough. 24. Good. Um, 18. 18? Oof. Um, I, you know what? Should I? I mm, is it too late to re-roll that with a with no, a? No, you have the ability in Dark as a fighter to do that. Right. Scanlan, what'd you roll? Twenty-four. 
24 dexterity saving throw? I rolled a 19. Nice. Come on. It's a bad guy. No, no better. Okay. Uh, well, it's 10d6 fire damage to you as one of the red ray strikes into you, Percy. You managed to pull out of the way just in time. Rainbows are a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, dude. I would have been dead. Oh my gosh. People made fun of Thor walking Why across that rainbow bridge. So many. So many. Mock Asgard now. <laughs> Stop making that face. That's a. Uh... Heimdall, it, chill it can't kill out. me. It can't kill me. <laughs> 15 Percy points of fire damage to you, Percy. 15. Die. Okay, that's fine. Would have been 30. Um, that was some really shitty rolls on that one. Holy shit, you Rainbow scaling. Dash. Actually, no, Percy, Bad you, 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 you failed, so you take full damage. Sorry, so it is 31. Yeah, you're fucked. Okay. 31 points of fire damage. I'm still fine. To you. Thank you. Oh. You're welcome. Yeah. Oh. I rolled an eight, so that's two rays against you, Scanlan. Is this prismatic spray? Yes, yes. it is. Yeah. Oh shit! That's cool <laughs> you know what it is? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's really cool. Yes, it's yeah. yellow it's against baller. you and orange. So that's twenty d six damage. Twenty d six. Thankfully, you made your save, so it's half each. Did you say twenty? Lightning and acid. However, the acid you have resistance oh, against. I do. Whoa. I do. So that's halved again. Did you say twenty? Twenty d six. Down to ten. Yeah. So we'll say ten d six. So the acid damage you would take would be. 47, reduced to 23. So okay. you take 23 acid damage. You're welcome. Oh my god. That armor. And then uh, 38 points of uh, lightning damage. Are you still reduced, alive? Reduced to, well, okay, so to the acid damage? Yeah. You took half of that as well. So how much did I say you took? 23. 23. 23, that's reduced in half because of your oh, resistance. okay, that's so, nice. So that brings it to 12. You take 12, or 11 points of acid damage. Okay, that's it's going down and down, I like yeah. this. And then you take 16 points of lightning damage. Okay, that's, that's much better 27. than those 27. other numbers that you were saying. Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> those, were those, were, those were bad numbers. <laughs> 1d8 when it's cast, and, and on you I rolled an eight, which means you get the two rays. Oh my god. Thank god you had that resistance and I you made your save. I almost took that spell, it's a cool spell. It's it's a really cool spell. I was surprised you did. And the colors determine the... It's a random. It's a random. Yeah, it's, it's really badass. And it's everything in his face with lasers. Oh. So, so thank God. I was hoping he was a little closer, but that's a good night, sweet prince. What right level spell is that? It's the seventh. Oh, shit. It's like a Pink Floyd but tribute that concert. Was, yeah. That was his big That, that was, was his big, big old. One. Big old move. Could he have Misty stepped closer to us? Uh, not with that crevasse, unfortunately. Okay. It's um, a some would call it a crevasse. <laughs> I will fight you. A crevasse. I will fight you. I have two guys fighting you, right? I have now. a lovely bouquet at home. Uh, crevasse. Percival, right you're up. <laughs> Can I? In theory, I'm able to to sense my hex. Uh, you can't right now. No. I'm not sensing my hex. No. Not at all. No. Like She's got a magical cloak smile. of fuckery. Right? Yeah, yeah, she does. She's a bitch. Middle us down. That's fine. I'm just going to. I'm. There's really no point of even moving at this point. I'm just sort of on fire. So I'm going to. Uh, um, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna pull out re the retort pistol and I'm gonna shoot that wizard in the in the in the chest with some fun. I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna take three shots at him. Okay, go for it. Uh, the first is a, is a sharpshooter shot. Okay. And that's. Uh, 27. 27 to hit with the minus from the sharpshooter? With shooter. the minus, yeah, I rolled really well. All right, that'll hit. That's actually 24 to hit, I'm sorry, 16. 24 to hit, yeah, it hits. Actually, it's 27, never mind. I'm just rolling really- <laughs> Make up your mind, man! I'm really angry right now. Like, I I'm, I'm genuinely angry. Uh, I can't even roll, oh. Should oh, I count that? Good. Should I count that or not? Should I re-roll that? No, but it was good, but you have to re-roll it, I'm sorry, what? man. Can't wasn't an intentional, was intentional roll. roll. All right. That's oh, it was the same, same thing! thing. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's 26 points of piercing damage. <laughs> Already. <sighs> what the hell? <laughs> the bullet hits him. The rope figure, so the hood kind of flies back, and uh, you see, uh, like a man in his forties with kind of like a chin strap beard. He's like, Ugh! and he's still holding a staff, kind of keeping himself there. I am so calm doing this. I'm, I'm going to shoot again. Down. Same thing. Um, oof. Uh, that's uh, twelve. Uh, twelve does not hit. This time right. you go to fire, and uh, the mage, now aware of your presence and what's firing him, just ducks out of the way and, pff, and shoots past. All right, and I'm going to burn a grit, and I'm going to do a torso shot, because that'll be funny. <laughs> uh, no sharp <laughs> here. All right. A fan of comedy. I am. It is, it is, it is hilariously funny as always possible. Well, oh, and there's no save for this. It's just if I hit. If you hit. Come on, be cool. That's cool enough. Uh... 21. 21. Uh, 
as a reaction, uh, the mage is going to throw up a shield spell, seeing it coming towards him, adding to his AC. The uh, bullet, while it should have hit the torso, <laughs> ricochets off an arcane shield that kind of shimmers briefly in place, having no impact, unfortunately. Uh, uh, uh. Um, <laughs> all right, um, I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> I am going to uh, really quickly stop a, uh, use my bonus to have a greater restoration, uh, greater greater potion, that's 44 plus four? 44 plus four, yes. Um, all right, and then I'm going to make sure that I look the wizard in the eye, and I'm just going to just yell to him, you're not leaving here alive, you're going to die. As I reload. Well, Alrighty. I can't reload yet, but I'll reload in a second. All right, then's your turn, Percival. Yeah. Rob, you're up. Oh, <laughs> now that I've got two play, for, play fellows, can I, we're on the edge of the crevasse, right? Correct, yes. Yeah. Can I try to push the Goliath into the crevasse? Uh, 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 can I go into a frenzied rage? Yeah, right. my bonus action. Sure. And can I use my first attack to try to shove the Goliath <laughs> into the crevasse? <laughs> Uh, you'd have to move to push her. <laughs> right yeah, now. like just move. Yeah, you shift around well, that yeah, way. I'll do you that. can get an attack of opportunity from the rogue. She's really good. Uh, that's worth up it. to you. It's worth it. And I would say, just, just so you're aware, uh, and usually it's like when you go into a rage, you choose to frenzy rage, but I've always liked the idea of you just going into frenzy if you want to. Yeah. I don't think it takes an action to do so. Okay. Yeah, that was like a bonus. It's a bonus action to rage, but... Yeah, yeah. I thought that frenzy was awesome. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Uh, you just go into it. All right, so you'll move. Yeah, just one over. One over this way. Yeah. The road goes to strike you. Yep. Uh, that is... 21. That'll hit. That hits. Uh, it is not sneak attack right now because he already used it. Let's come back to his turn. So you take uh, 10 points of piercing damage, reduced to five. Okay. As he swipes at you, just cuts barely across your back, and you move into place. Okay, now the Goliath kind of turns her shield up in front of you. With my reckless attack, I would like to try and push her into the crevasse. Okay, so the first strike, go ahead and make your uh, athletics check, I think. Nice. Uh, athletics? This would be your athletics versus hers. 27. Yeah. You push her back five feet there, and you push into that space there. First time, she's like, Ugh! push the shield up, and as you slam into the shield, she slides against, you see all the glass kind of building up behind her ankles and tumbling into the crevasse behind her. I'll do and, another. All right, go for it. Roll again. Yes. 23. Uh, that is a 13. Yeah. So as as she stands there with her blade at the ready, getting ready to arc down with the, with the counterattack, you <laughs> slam into her shield and she <laughs> falls backward, tumbling into the crevasse, <laughs> down into the no, pile in the Spanish. center. She takes... Uh, 15 points of damage from the impact and the shards of broken, jagged glass that are kind of at the bottom of it uh, from the explosion nice. before, and she's like <laughs> on the ground. Can I look over my shoulder at the rogue? Uh, yes, you can. Because she's got the little dagger, right? Yeah. Can I say, sit down before I open you up? <sighs> and I would like to take off towards the... Uh, the guy that I was first engaged with, that's at the back corner of the map, with the okay. rest of my movement. Sure. I have one attack left. Yeah. yeah. Go for it. Reckless, please, chef. <laughs> uh, 25. Thank you. Yeah, that'll, that'll hit. <laughs> Turn him into paste, please. Uh, 17 with two two points of necrotic damage. 17, you rush up and slash across with the axe. He puts up uh, the rifle to try and uh, keep it at bay. You cut through the rifle, just cutting it yeah. in half, and shoo, the blade impacts in the oh. chest. Uh, uh, pushes and pulls the, the weapon out as you pull backward, ready for another strike. A big streak of blood kind of pours out from the wound. He's standing, but looking extremely Whoa. hurt. And his rifle's broken. Mm -hmm. All right, that ends your turn. I have retaliation, I forgot about it. That's all right. If he tries to run, you'll kill him anyway. If somebody tries to hit me within five feet with melee, I have I can hit him back, but I forgot to do it. It's just like a backslide. Oh, even on the attack of opportunity, you mean? 
Mm-hmm. Now, he has the ability to just use his reaction to attack someone back immediately. I'll only do it once, yep. once a round. Once per round, but yeah. All right. I'll say. Suddenly. <laughs> Who's that? Ripley. Ripley Who reappears that? 10 feet from where she was before. <laughs> and uh, you can still see the smoke pouring off of her, the presence very easy to see of uh, Orthax now bound to her, the inspiration for her recent designs and carrying on the legacy that you chose to end. Um, as she appears, she goes and takes aim with her refined pepper box across the way at you, Percy. Yes, she does. You get advantage against bullets, right? I don't, although I do have cover. I don't have full cover. I no, have you have half cover. cover. I have half cover. Five to AC. Uh, Shoulder 28. Um, that'll hit. Um, I, uh, adds five to my AC currently. Uh, yes. So the first one hits. Mm-hmm. The second strike, she's going to go ahead and spend a grit point to violent shot. Mm-hmm. Uh, that is a 26. That also hits. Okay. And the third strike, she is going to. She's going to headshot you. That's funny and kind of useless, but okay. That's all right. Uh, that was a natural one. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> means the gun no, is... misfires. <laughs> I'm misfires. The first two shots hit, but the third one misfires. Uh, so with her refined pepper box, she takes aim, takes a shot. Um, actually, before she does that, she bonus actions towards you, and you feel a similar no feeling shit. take over you as uh, you like now. She's... Percy. Such a Nega wannabe! Nega Percy! Wow. Why don't uh, you marry her? <laughs> <laughs> this whole fight's gonna end with us kissing. We're just gonna start yeah. making out, yeah. like, in the, yeah. It's gonna be a big, ugly uh, out. So the first shot with this is going to be... 12, uh, 10 points of, oh sorry, that's... 12 points of piercing damage from the first strike. Uh, 12 points of piercing damage from Plus the... two psychic. Plus two psychic. Um... As the impact hits you and you feel this kind of shocking ring in your head, you see a flash so, suddenly in your mind of the dark shadowed face of Orthax laughing. 14 points total? Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Second shot, which is a violent shot and hit, has double dice value. So that's... 18 points of piercing damage. I'm gonna try and slow it down with a catch. Okay, plus four psychic. Uh, so I'm just gonna try and lower that 18. Go for it. Ooh. Uh, uh, I lower it by 14 points. Okay, you catch the bullet, and for the most part it still pierces through the flash of so pain to you. Four points of damage plus four plus psychic. Four psychic, so eight total. Eight total. Wow, you caught a bullet. Yeah. They don't, they don't move that fast. <laughs> and the third gun. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm just gonna be laughing my ass off for a minute. And I'll you be... watch as she goes, very well, and vanishes again. From oh. Oh. I hate her. She's the best. She's a botch. She's a botch. She's a botch. She's a botch. She's a that brings us to the gunner's turn. Uh, of course. Uh, this one here is gonna go ahead and it's like horribly wounded. Um. This one, the rifle misfired, if I recall yes, correctly. Right. Yes, that's right. And has pulled out the pistol. So the gunner here, using the pistol, is going to take three shots at Uvax. With uh, disadvantage. With disadvantage on them, correct. Um, is it, well, it's two shots. One, and then a reload, and then one. So yeah. The first shot with disadvantage. It's a uh, 27 and 24. Uh, that hits. All right, so the so the so disadvantage is faded. Lose it for the rest of the round. Shit. Yeah. Uh, but still, you take from the first oh, hit uh, twelve points of piercing damage. So much therapy. And okay. the second strike with that disadvantage okay. is terrible. That is a thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Uh, it's terrible. Rolled a three, but it did not roll uh, enough to to miss fire. So. Uh, reload, yeah, halfway. Flash shot, shot, fire misses. Uh, and it's going to go ahead and run this oh, way. Oh, can I uncanny dodge the, or is it too late? The, yeah, you uh, can do that. All right. So, half okay. damage. So, uh, All righty. All right. Uh, the other one who's in front of you, Grog, and is just like scared out of his mind, is going to go ahead and attempt to step back. Well, that's one way to die. 
So go ahead and take your. She does not want to be in your face. <laughs> That's twenty nine. That hits. Go to roll damage. Could I make that great weapon? Uh, That's it for you. Yeah, no, it's too. Sixteen points of damage. One, necro- one necrotic. Sixteen. You arc back. This time you like jam it in the leg, and you see him now limping. Uh, one eye is like half closed and swollen, breathing heavy. One arm is kind of busted and is still holding the pistol up and kind of points it towards you. It's going to take uh, three shots with the pistol that's already loaded. Now you need to get rid of the big gun. The first one is going to be 12. Misses. <laughs> <laughs> you just head dodge to the side. The next shot is a 25. Oh, yeah. Uh, this one will be. Uh, uh, that'll be four plus four. Uh, eight points of piercing damage. Okay, half to four. Yeah, and for this one, it's going to go ahead and use all three grip points that it has to do a triple violent shot. Oh. Whoa! Wait, that's a, that's like in. a thing. That is a thing. That's cool. What the what the a add, triple violent? Why it, haven't it, you done that? It adds more to the misfire score, did that to but it can add a lot of damage. Yeah. So, no, I, I very rarely use it. Because What's a trip? What? It's a bad. It's a twenty-two. It's oh shit! It's uh. just a. Look at, did you see how dangerous. happy he was about that? Yeah, was happy. Happy. that was this is going to be bad. That was the most satisfied smile I've out of, seen from Matt in a really after long this, time. Uh, sadist. How are He's you, Grog? Life after this. Are you all right? A triple Lindy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on take those like, yeah. These shots are all at 26 have. points of piercing have, damage, reduced have, to half. 13. Oh. To 13, yeah. Yeah, oh. see? Oh. <laughs> right. Just goes firing uh, at you with, nice. with uh, the shots, and uh, as you're still standing and taking it all, it's like one angry shot that may go terribly. Shaking and backing up. Yeah, can I like lick the ice it's cream as it's melting out of me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> triple violent shot? I can do a quintuple. Oh, All right. man. Uh, that ends uh, the gunner's turn. Vex, you're up. Me? Yes. Oh. Um, okay. For a bonus action, I'm going to take a greater healing potion. Okay. Yeah, you are. I'm going to do that at the end, though. All right. Um, okay, I'm going to peek out. Who's seeable? Is the guy that I've been shooting? Dun, 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 Is he? Dun, 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 dun. Still visible over here, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to shoot him. Go for it. That is a 30. That'll hit. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, and Percy, I forgot to add. 15. Nine additional points of necrotic damage from the hex. I forgot to add that to the damage you were taking. But you forgot. I well, give it to you all the time. God damn it. Okay, are, you, are, we, are we rolling that? I, I all right, just, nine additional points of necrotic? Nine points of necrotic damage. You can go all night long. God. 15. <laughs> That's with one lightning one damage. Shot. Damn it. Do you guys have the time? All right. And then. I'll do it again! All right. That was good. <clears throat> That's a fun thing. Uh, tw- th- 20. Fuck. Shabadaha. I can't add. 23. 23 hits. Okay. Off of that roll? Holy Shut cow. Up. Oh. Yeah, that's Oof. badass. Ventress is Thir- awesome. No. Oof. 17 she, she points like, with three lights. <laughs> <lines. laughs> 17 points? Uh, the other arrow slaps into her leg as she's trying to run past and uh, she almost stumbles for a second and has to kind of Jeez, they're all still standing. He does, I was saying, he's seeking. Oh, and then I'm going to take my potion. Okay, go for it. Yeah, fuck it. Uh, Vax, you're up. Uh, I would like to use my movement and my bonus action to run. I want to beeline towards the rogue. How far do I get? Over there? Yeah, straight towards him. I don't care how close I get to the other crevasse or around it? Crevasse. You're gonna jump? You can hop the crevasse. I'm running. Five. 30. Yeah. Slide down. Yeah. Uh, moving at the speed, you're taking damage for each. Sure. One so that's, you take six points of piercing damage. Sure. One point damage for each square that you run past in the glass. Oh, six speed. points per square? Per square? Yeah. Wait, oh, no, one point per square. One oh, point per oh, square. Oh. All right. Oh. So that's as far as I get with movement and dash, uh, bonus action dash? Uh, no, and then you can use your time. Yeah? I kept forgetting the glass aspect okay. of this. That's as close as you can get. And I'll use it. my action to keep going, and as I close in, I shout out, Kynan! You're with us! You are not with them, you are with me! Stop this! Move behind us, now! Kynan? You t- it's a total of 12, 18 points of piercing damage. Okay. Who's Kynan? Is he the one on the thing? He's okay. the, is he the mage? They don't, is he the spell they don't know, they don't know. He's gonna have to be a climb check to get up next round, but that's as far as you can get. You're kind of running through the crevasses as you it's go. It's all happening, they don't know. Yeah. I, I ducked back behind that tree after I shot, by the way. 
Hmm? I ducked back behind the tree when I shot that person. Okay, there you go. All right. <laughs> Charisma roll, uh, persuasion, anything? Uh, for this one, as you're du ducking through, you're shouting it out, but you don't even know if he's really paying attention all at right. the moment. Um, all right, ending your turn, Keila, you're up. All right, I am burning my seventh level spell yeah. and just gonna really fucked up behind tree kit. I'm gonna think about the air elementals on the beach and what they just did, and I'm gonna cast Whirlwind. And I'm gonna aim for the mage on the uh, crevasse booby. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. Right. <laughs> that mage is right on the nip. Yeah. Right, right on the nip. <laughs> 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 All right, so it's a, a, a ten foot radius. We ruin everything you yeah. make. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Anything you do, we will turn Anything into preschool math. Yeah. Oh god, I just saw it. I hate so you all. a ten foot radius. Oh, you built this. Looks like a dick. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna kill all of you. You're all gonna no, die. no, no, come no, on. No. Um, so you're fighting a thirty foot high cylinder. So you're just creating it, it here. No, no, over top of the mage. I have a mage. three three hundred foot range. All right. So the whirlwind. Do you, do you, you guys watch as the wind kicks up. up. The Can I get the guy in the in the crevasse? So the, the, the thirty you know, foot high. Uh, Technically, yeah, if you want to. Yeah, all right. suck them all up. So you watch as, as the cloud uh, a, a cloud begins to appear above and sh shoots down an instantaneous funnel. A tornado slams down into this crevasse as Keel's eyes glow, her reaching out and drawing it to the ground. Um, all right, it sucks up any medium or smaller objects that aren't secured uh, objects. Creatures make a dexterity saving throw the first time on a turn that it enters the whirlwind or the whirlwind enters its space. So, they both have to make a dex save. Uh, the mage, that's an eight, that's a nope. <laughs> what a lovely number. Uh, <laughs> Goliath, it's a 19, an 18 plus one. What's your DC? 19. Succeeds. Fucking oh. um, wait, the wait, the, the mage. The Goliath does. The mage does not. Oh, the Goliath. Whatever. So the ten d six bludgeoning four. damage, if you could. Huh? What? Ten d six. Ten d six. Ten d six is like Christmas. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> Ignore the. Oh, bullet. that's fine. Oh um, yeah. Um. Okay. So that's it. wait. What was that? What was that, Talison? Uh, I just pushed four. it. No, I that just was pushed it. It was, was it a four. Two? It was, was a four? four? Okay. I believe it was a four. Okay. Um. Yes. Six. Plus five is eleven. Plus four is fifteen. Plus another four is nineteen. Plus another two is twenty-one. Roll them again. This ten, five. That was five. Twenty-one plus. 20. Plus uh, not as good this time. Uh, what did I say? Twenty-one. Twenty-one. Twenty-six. <laughs> uh, thirty. Thirty-two. Thirty-five. Thirty-six. Right. Thirty-six bludgeoning damage. Does he get flung? Uh. The the um, Goliath grapples onto like some of the shards of broken glass, and while taking Ouch. the bludgeoning impact, manages to stay in place. The mage has to make a strength saving throw. We'll become restrained in the spell until it ends. Or uh, get and flung rolls a three. Two. Yay! Oh, buddy. So wait, is he restrained or is he flung? Because uh, it's kind of vague on what happens. I was personally, I was flung. I was you flung. You was flung. I was, I was flung. restrained. Restrained means uh, speed becomes zero. Uh, Tackle is going to have advantage. Uh, it has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. I'm so he's, he's just kind he's of a stuck bad in a right now. tornado. Uh, he is also a tornado. Um, of stick. He can try and use his action to uh, to break free, and then it is hurled from it. But right now, it is currently held. Oh, if that's he tries awesome. to break free, he's and well, he's, got, that's no, fun. he's literally got nowhere to go. When it starts his turn, he begins being pulled up in the air inside the yeah, whirlwind. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, uh. I've never done this before, so this is cool. Yeah. It's pretty cool. All right, cool. And you can use your move to move the whirlwind 30 feet. So basically, now that he's restrained it, if you move the whirlwind elsewhere, he goes with it. Can I do that now? Uh, or next turn? You know you didn't use your movement. I didn't. <laughs> so yeah, you can move it. You can move, <laughs> yeah. it. You can move yeah. it up to 30 feet and possibly pick up other things if you want to. <laughs> oh. Directly nearby, but you can start moving it in a certain direction. If you hey, like. you don't move it my no, way. No, we don't actually know where Ripley is. Pick up that little piece yeah, of shit move it towards where Ripley every... was. That's true, where is Ripley last seen? That's probably what I would uh, try right and the do. Top of the, uh, yeah. yeah, I would push it that way. <gasps> okay, so leaving behind. Come on, get to her, get to her. Is where you're going to want to leave it there. Uh, Currently get held it, up get inside it. that. That sucks for you. Um, all right, Keyleth, end your turn? Yep. All yep right. Hers. Can he just not do anything while he's in there? He's fucked, yeah. That's awesome. He's stuck in a tornado. 
Unless if it hits Ripley, does she like diffuse it? We don't know. She has to save from it. She either gets sucked Six. up in it or flung. So she's gonna get fucked Perfect. either way. Or nothing. I don't know. Right. That, uh, well, then we know she works. It's not necessarily a spell on her. I made a spell <laughs> around her. Keyleth. Keyleth. Yeah. What? As you're casting this spell no, and holding come off, on. Uh, the the hooded thug, uh, the younger man, runs behind and flings a dagger in your direction. Kynan? Little shit. <laughs> she's got she's got cover by That's, the way. Uh, yeah, you do have half cover on that, which adds. No, damage. we can't kill Kynan. Minus you can't kill Kynan. Kill him. <laughs> so the destroy. I can't kill Kynan. I apparently can't kill AC? anyone. Yeah, that's what you gave me. Yeah, a well, three quarters cover is plus five. I think it might be plus two for half cover. The spread it's, on a cracker. I'm check. kind of hiding. I'm, I'm using. You're like trinket. three quarters cover behind the tree. There's a tree and a bear. I'm using trinket as like. I'll say it's three quarters cover. That's fine. That's fine. Not really um, no. So okay. that would be. You get plus five to your AC, 24. What's your AC? I get plus five. Yeah. Yeah. That hits. The hit still? That's my armor class is 17 plus five, so that's 22. Yeah, it still hits you. Okay, so flings the dagger. This black curved razor light dagger sinks into you. Um, currently, no sneak attack damage. But you do take. It's okay. I swear to God, if he drops, we have to be. That's fine. Sixteen points of piercing damage to you. Oh. Okay. All right. I need you to go ahead and make a concentration check. Uh huh. Does so roll a Constitution saving throw? Um. What do I have to roll over? Roll over. Uh. Will it be ten or higher? It's a pretty. That's fair. Don't roll low. So con- Constitution saving throw. Hmm. Ten total. You make it. Yeah. You make it. You maintain concentration. However, as the, as the blade hits you, fucking pissed. You watch uh, as as it was thrown. You notice oh. Oh, shifts into shadow and goes after the blade, vanishing. The blade strikes you, and then suddenly, kind of, its hand appears where the blade stabbed you, and he appears next to you. That's yeah. sick. Where? Up on the log, right there. Oh, good. Not you still want to Kynan! Hey, man. What's up? You see him. Kind of just shaking the sweat on the face. Um, <sighs> that ends his turn. Uh, it is now the barbarian, or not barbarian, the, uh, the Goliath's turn. There, he's going to attempt to make a athletic check to climb. Oh, I know. That's enough. Oh, I know. Gets up uh, just barely to the top, and that's not going to be enough to really do much else in her turn, unfortunately. Sparta! Kind of messed up everything she's been trying to do. Right. Gets kicked back. What? She's a shield, right? Right. Yeah, shield. <laughs> Climbs up, kind of like wipes off the blood from the side of her mouth. <laughs> uh, Scanlan, you're up. It's a very muddled playing field. Yes, it is. Uh, and I'm so far away from everyone. I'm going to yell, Grog, <laughs> hold on to something, man. <laughs> And so I'm gonna cast reverse gravity right there. <gasps> oh shit. <laughs> and get everyone over here. All right, hold on. Reverse gravity, 100 feet, you could totally get it over yes, there. Yes, yeah. yes, 50 All right. foot radius, yes, so yeah, did. it's gonna get. And Ripley if she's not immune to it. So yeah, you can get everyone in that, including Grog. Sorry, Grog. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, hold on take to a free ride. Right, Grog, make a dexterity saving throw. Right, hold on to some jacket glass. Advantage. Advantage. Against the spell. <laughs> That's not great. Oh no. That's a six. Nope. Oh, uh, wow. Right, the gunner. You're going on a ride. <laughs> the gunner fails. The Goliath fails. Uh, <laughs> interestingly enough. The mage is unaffected because he's already because he's not affected by gravity. He's currently being held in a whirlwind. Okay. Um, however, go ahead and uh, at the full hundred feet high, everyone hits the very top of it, and then you can choose to then either maintain it or drop them immediately. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> they're gunners, right? There's a gunner there, and then there's the Goliath warrior. I'm gonna hold them. Okay. I'm just gonna hold in place and let's all go around and find Ripley. You can like with swords out, guns and, out, and you can you can totally do the uh, the uh, point break like 
midair um, terminal combat. velocity. Shame yeah, return. terminal velocity. Uh, is it point break the one where they keep was, jumping yeah. out of airplanes? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. I never remember. Wow, that is so high. <laughs> that is like Hell yeah, man. almost a bong. Okay. Sorry. Oh cool. Awesome. Super awesome. cool, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super cool. <laughs> <laughs> so they are all go currently upstairs, now like unable to attack, unable to really do anything uh, well up from there. Just think, if it had been Percy, he would have thrown up. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I hate the Tower than, of Terror. Other than the Mage and maybe Ripley, everyone's on. Oh no, and the fucker Kynan. Yeah, he's over there, and there's the Gunner over nope. there. Yeah, Kynan's no, that next to me. Been in the radius. Uh, fifty foot radius. Fifty foot radius. I cast it right where. What's uh, right yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, that would have put ah. deck save on them. Uh, they. That is a twenty-one. What is your DC? Twenty-one. So it just it just oh, makes wow. it. Wow. So it's barely holding on right now. Like reaches over and grabs part of the tree. It's like. Ugh. Does that mean he can't fire his gun for as long as the spell is up? Seemingly. Yeah. All right. Good to know. Well, I'm I'm up in the air again. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be of all the people who <laughs> really shouldn't be there. in the air. <laughs> <laughs> I'm up in the air again. It's like yeah. Dragon Ball You're Z totally fighting. You're totally our ragdoll. Just holding <laughs> on to the branch <laughs> to prevent themselves from falling <laughs> upward, like grabbing a root in a part of the tree. It's like <laughs> stuck there in the moment. Uh, do you want to move? Yeah, I'm, 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 yes, I'm gonna move. Mm. Jesus, what's the fastest way to get across this stupid crevasse? I would. Uh, whatever you feel like. Every wit. Through it or around it. It's up to you. Get a little some ouchies in there. And it'll take me like a minute to get all the way around there. So, <laughs> is there, you ride much, on Bigby's hand through it. Eventually, she's going to end up near anything. like like. Can yeah. you dimension door? I can't do shit while I'm casting a spell. Oh, that sucks, man. Uh, I'm just gonna start walking. Just start walking around around the circle. This way. Yeah. <laughs> Do you get? Do you have any healing bonus actions? I do have a healing bonus action. If what, you want to learn, I am really five low. Five points and of I piercing damage to you, higher. Scanlan, as you're running across. Oh. Uh, Grog's taken none because Grog's rage essentially halves the one point you take per walk, so you just don't take any damage. <laughs> um, Fuck these Legos. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else has been barely moving, so they've they haven't they've been kind of doing the half move. Um, right. Uh, so you take one point of damage per square. Okay. You're just like all right, feathered in glass. Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, I'll, so you're dying? Okay, so I'll turn to, to Vex and I'll heal her. Uh, I'll just sing, I heal you, I heal you so bad, I heal you so bad, it's driving me mad, it's driving me mad. <laughs> <laughs> I love those all right, so and good. what level are you casting it as? Uh, two. Two, second level? All right, so 2d4 plus six. <laughs> Twelve. <laughs> Twelve points healed to you, Vex. <laughs> All right. The <laughs> the mage who's currently held in the whirlwind. Uh, let's see here. His options are pretty limited, if I recall. He diarrheas on himself. Dun 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 Restrain, he can still do things while it's in the whirlwind. It's just, yeah. it can't move, and attacks against have advantage. It's attacks. Uh, he can just go, oh, Toto! It has disadvantage and stuff like that. Toto! Oh, Toto. Oh, Toto! 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 That got weird. That evolved real quickly. What did we just do? I have no idea. <laughs> you guys. Oh, cool. Apologies for the delay. The dice sticks to the magnets on the oh, boxes. Really? Oh, the metal ones? Apropos of nothing. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, that works. Oh, it does. Oh. So, Whoa. the mage is currently held aloft, like, uh -huh. out, looks over at the source of the, of the whirlwind, puts a hand out, and goes, Gah! You watch as an arc of lightning. <laughs> Arcs over oh, shit. Uh, in, what? The, in the direction of Keyleth. <gasps> what? It, it can it arcs past. Is it going to be able to hit? Take down the MVP. Her, he doesn't get through. No fucking magic, shit. Man. He doesn't get thrown. He doesn't get thrown. What a dick. No, the throw is he when he breaks thrown? free of it. Right now, he takes damage at. Uh, where is it? Touched. 
Failed save edition. Um, yeah, but basically it just does the damage and then it holds them in place and you can basically control where they are. Uh huh. Which is the fun of it. <sighs> Damn it, time. So yeah, it's restrained and it's held within. Thanks. Uh, just making sure I'm not missing any of the elements here. First time in a turn that it enters the whirlwind, or that the whirlwind enters its space, including when the whirlwind first appears. Yeah. So yeah, it doesn't keep taking damage. It's just being held aloft right now, and you can move it over other guys as you continue to press to do more damage. Um, so anyway, it's the arc of lightning arcs over 150 feet distance, um, hitting towards you. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw, Keyleth. Do I have like advantage because I'm behind Trinket or anything? Uh, no, it doesn't help you. Magic, unfortunately, is pretty, especially the I have advantage because my armor is resisting You do, so spells, yes. Right? This is true. Right. So go ahead and dexterity saving throw. I'll save it 12. It's not great. Uh, 17. Mm, does not. Does not help, unfortunately. Uh, it's 10d8 lightning damage. There is no way that the guy who's currently got a knife stuck in there is going to get some more than I was dying. We'll find yeah. out in a okay. second. Just I, asking. I can't tell how much. You Honestly, I thought I was going to be able to last around the next round. It's okay. There are options. 10d8. Don't worry. So, Keila, if you take 59 points of lightning damage. Oh shit! Oh, fuck. I take what? 59 points of lightning damage wow. from the chain lightning spell that just hit you. Ooh. Oh! Chain lightning? Wow. That's a power. That what a kills you in this game? Uh. <laughs> what? Hitting zeros no, unconscious no, no, no. and then going past your total HP. Yeah, yeah, you have to go yeah. I have to go past my total, total, yeah. Yeah. total yeah, you're HP. Fine, you're negative. Fine. negative 115 or something yes. like that. Well, I'm negative 58 now. No, 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 no. you're zero, zero now. You're zero. Now it's zero. just death saving now, throw. I just, just go to zero. zero. Yeah. Yeah. zero. Yes. I don't go negative. If you don't go I'm... higher past your total HP, yeah, you're Take it from zero. us. We've been unconscious. You're fine. But do I still have to count? Going negative? No, no, no. 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 Now it's just a zero. You fall unconscious. The whirlwind vanishes, uh, and the mage kind of falls to hundred feet. Falls in the prone, <gasps> and then Thunk. does Please, he take falling damage? Does not have any. Cannot grab on anything because it was actually lifted up in the air. So the mage is now hundred feet in the air. <gasps> yes. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> yes, Dylan. Yeah. <laughs> that was a series of poor life choices. Yeah, it was. <laughs> However, three bolts then leap from the target to as many as three other targets. Oh, so that's going to be. Ooh, uh, Jesus oh, shit. First. Damn, that includes Scanlan. Uh, so Scanlan, Percy, and Trinket all get a bolt. Mm. He's not going to get hit because mm. he's touching her at the time that she gets hit. Mm. Yeah, Kynan kind of doesn't get hit. Uh, he chooses he the chooses. target. Cool. All right, so I need uh, Percy, okay. Scanlan, and Trinket shit. to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, shit. It's about to get very bad. Oh, come, on, come on, come on, come on. I can inspire on. myself yeah. on the save. Not on the saving, not unless you already Six. have these perks. 12. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Sure uh, Get ready to fall there, Grog. Oh, oh, really? Uh, <laughs> it's about to happen, <laughs> really? It's about to happen. Oh, yeah, man. 20, Remember those break falls you practiced? <laughs> like in basketball like in high school? Oh, yeah. Do that. Yeah, yeah from, from, from six feet, feet, feet up. Yeah, 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 not 100. Only for an ability check for you. That's okay. Oh god. Yeah, 86. Oh god. Way, Papa. Oh All right, god. so. You're gonna die. 12. 12. 23. No. 23. God. Six. Oh right. shit. So you took how much damage from the 59? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. 59 points of lightning damage to you. <laughs> oh. Oh. <gasps> it goes unconscious in the ground. 30. Fuck. Uh, does that. Percy, you Both take. Both your healers uh, are out. BT dubs. 38 I've got points. A small of healing spell. You too. 38? And he does too. Uh, or we. No, sorry. Half, <laughs> yeah. half of 59. <laughs> when one 20, 20, 20, 20, 28. 28. 28? 9. 29. 29. Yeah. 29 yeah. points of lightning damage to you, Percy. Hold on. I gotta do some math. Oh my god. Are you out too? No, I'm good. Come on, I'm Percy. I'm good. 29. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay. This is and Trinket you're takes 11, yeah. 59 points of lightning. Trinket damage. is unconscious. But it, doesn't he go whoosh, back to the Pokeball? She has oh, to yeah. go over and pick uh, him up. No. No, he goes back. No, if he's he... unconscious, he goes straight into my yeah, Pokeball so, if I'm within 100 whoosh, feet. Yeah. So Trinket <laughs> turns into a little burst of dark bear shadow and shoots into your necklace. <laughs> bear sh and everyone falls. And everyone falls. <laughs> no, no, no. Why? Yeah, because Scanlan went unconscious. Unconscious. Me and you, man. We're out. It's gone. It's ten. <laughs> Everybody, wake up! Yeah. Like some like, shit, like 
<laughs> and the head just stays there, and then shoot. Looney Tunes. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Looney Tunes. Everyone looks down Hold for a second sign. and processes. Yeah. yeah. So sorry, Wild E. Yeah. E. Uh, uh, that is thirty uh, points of bludgeoning damage on the fall. Yeah, you take half because you can still maintain your rage while up there. Yeah. Um, so you take oh, yeah. fifteen. Persistent rage, baby. Exactly. Um, <laughs> the <laughs> new feet. If the gunner a bitch, take a splats down. just. Good. A, 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 a messy good. splat good. of red crimson on the ground. Uh, yeah, this guy's evening out the, uh, the odds as we all go unconscious. We yeah, all guess. go unconscious. Impacts uh, is alive but hurt and is like on the ground, kind of Does she jaw. fall into the, the 20 foot uh, crevasse? Yes, she... and then takes an additional. Do it. End Come her. On, die. Finish her off. Die. Die. Um, die. Actually, let's see if she eventually takes a saving throw to stay in there. She actually lands on the edge, because that's where she was standing before. Nope, not with a five. So that's an additional 13 points. Damn, she, oh, she's looking rough. Um, yeah, but that other gunner is gone. That guy's fine, who's been holding on. Uh, the mage takes... It's already taken some 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 hits. Let's get a little thin of a rage. The mage splats. Yes! Yeah, he does! I Fuck killed two you. people! Yay! <laughs> With your eyes closed. And, Grog, you are prone on the ground there. <laughs> that's it? Just 15 points, that's it? He's that's that made of stone. Uh, my hit points are actually in the double digits now. Oh, oh wow. Oh, cool thing. Yeah. Rare. I know. Actually, I'm a little for... frightened. <laughs> Wait, is he. He only did 15 points. Upper 90s. He's good. He's Mine are almost in the singles. So like almost 100 hits. All right, he's fine. He's it's personal. your turn. Okay. At least one of Start us is still healing alive. everyone. <laughs> Fucking shit. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to. Heal the world. <laughs> Make it. Make this it is such day. a bad experience on every conceivable level. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run up to that jerk with the knives, mm -hmm. and I am going to press my left hand with great authority, especially considering I've just taken another bolt of intense electricity, and I am going to Iron Man the living, just in, he's in, just in, on the on the head. I'm just going to on the head. I'm going to just do Wait, it. Wait, go for it. Use diplomacy. I'm going to use diplomacy. For have the you first ever used kind of diplomacy? This is the second time we have before. ever used diplomacy. Yeah, go ahead. We roll have for an no attack. idea. I actually have no that's idea how to roll for an time. attack for this. I have. No idea how it works. So uh, for this, I I can just roll and tell you what I roll. No, roll a twenty. You add your proficiency bonus of five plus your strength modifier. That's embarrassing. Okay, I know. It's okay. You'll roll a natural twenty. Uh, anyway. You know what? For the f mm. I just He'll rolled. Okay. He'll be okay. And it's a okay unless you've got something to add to that because that is a sad number that you're just that you just threw at me, but. Uh, it's fine. It's, You'll be fine. You'll be fine. I would say, I mean, you're unfortunately, because talent. you're not a monk, it's going to be strength. It's just okay. It's a physical. Act. Okay, because it's just touch. Like I don't actually have to put any. What is it? What'd you uh, roll? It's a twenty. Uh, it's, it's a uh, twenty-two. It's is what I rolled. What are you even worried about? Get hit. I am horrified by what's him, going on. You're Jesus. touching him. How cool. can you not? Sixteen. Hit? Yeah, you're fine. Jeez. But my strength is a one, so I'm horrified. Yeah, so. but you do actually strike. So okay, all right, Mr. Um, Darcy. Oh god. So he's gonna go ahead and make a Constitution saving throw. Natural one. Yeah. Oh. I love I love when the dice make narrative oh. work. Oh. Um, I love when the so dice go ahead and roll. Uh, charges. You're up. The lightning charge earlier. Yeah, yeah. I'm at, I'm at, technically, if if it's one long rest, I may be at three charges, two or three charges. So three d six. Okay, that'll do. You're worried about some random little. Sure. Uh, ten points. I'm there. You're there. Ten points. Alrighty. Eighty feet far. Ten points of damage. Your girlfriend's on the ground. It's your turn. And Kynan is stunned for the round. You want to save it on your action? Go. For it. I also need you to roll another d20. Oh, for that. Just roll another d20. Mm-hmm. Eleven. Eleven. Okay, uh, diplomacy shorts out That's and fine. is probably going to be repaired. That's fine. Um, he's stunned. He's like, the electricity hit, and he's currently shocked, and he's going to be stunned. He can't do anything for the next round. Okay. Um, am I close? I'm in theory. I wanted to be touching distance to Keyleth. Yes, you Can are. Can I use a bonus to feed her a potion, or is that a full action? Uh, to feed somebody a potion—that's a full action. All right, next Yourself round. Yourself is a bonus, All right. but that Shit. requires you to pull it out, grab it, somebody, I had open to get their mouth. Me. 
pull off the cork, pour it down, and make sure they swallow it. Okay, that's fine. Um, and then for the rest of my action, I'm just going to, after that, two slashes with the sword just to finish it up and Go then for it. hop down. Go for it. Uh, I, do I have advantage because he's fucked at the moment? Oh yeah, no, he is stunned, so attacks uh, have advantages. Okay, so let's do two little slashes. Techn- technically it's incapacitated. Natural 20. Oh, they're both crits. Oh. Because he's stunned? Because he's, he's stunned. stunned. Yeah. Oh, and so I'm just going to roll melee. crit damage. That's Wait, are funny. you just wailing on this kid? I'm just going to wail on this fucking kid because no, we do not have time for niceties. Um, so that's uh, 48. Try and leave something that resembles baby food. Maybe. Uh, 14. Uh, 20. Double dice and add bonus. Yeah, 34 points of damage. Ooh. 34 on the first strike? No, that's 34 total. Total? Okay, 34 points of damage. As you whoosh, whoosh, and start carving up uh, the, the, the currently paralyzed man, um, you know, the armor kind of separating with each slash, uh, the red crimson beginning to pour from the wounds, uh, the eyes are quivering in fear. I'm gonna then hop down next to her for, and and okay on that side of her so that I can deal with that. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> it's Percy's turn. Grog, you're up. Uh, can I stand up, please? Yep. Vex, uh, next time you see. 25 feet of movement if you want it. Who? Oh, shit. Who's down, down in the crevasse the down there? That's the Goliath. The Goliath Who's the other one in the crevasse? That is Vex around. Oh. Can I slide down to the Goliath? You might be able to see you from her perspective, and we so might be able to see she is. Six points of damage. Uh, you, uh, if you slide down to meet her if with that type of force, you will take uh, seven know. points of piercing damage, reduced to three. Okay. So three points of piercing damage. Uh, I'll make. Down to the bottom. Is she prone? Uh, she is prone. Yes. Do I get advantage on that anyway? Then you do. I'll make it great weapon master, please. You may. Thank you. Oh, shit, I have to take a potion as a bonus. That's even better. 18 plus. 32. No, minus 5. Yeah. 28. 28? Can I can I pop in a bonus action I meant to take to slug a potion anyway? For himself. For myself. Sure. Thank you. Uh, what's a regular add? Regular is 1d4 plus. That's it? Uh, That's no, four. 2d4 plus 2. Thank regular. you. Sorry. So, Grog? Oh. Uh, 32 points of damage on the first one with the Great Weapon Master, five of which is ne- necrotic. 32 right. On the first one. Yep. <sighs> I can lie, this dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a 28 for the, uh, 20, 23. You slam the axe down once into her chest. She oh, gives out air and grabs the blade to try and pull it out from the wound. You just put your boot down on her face and push her away, pull the axe up. <laughs> How do you want to finish her off? Oh, I want to do this. Man, doesn't it suck when you don't even get one fucking hit? <laughs> oh! <laughs> and I'm just going to bring it down clean on the forehead because I would like to see what her brain looks yeah. like. Oh. Uh, Hannibal. It's it's purplish and gray, um, given the force of the impact and the scattering at the top of the head against the stone yes. glass. Um, yeah, she is no more. The body just goes limp. And as you realize, your, your foot on her, pushing her down, you're actually pushing the glass shards through her body that are going to jibber. And you, she, you seem to kind of begin to pierce through her. Mm. I'll give it a little extra <clears throat> shove. There you go. I have one extra attack, uh, but I will. Ooh, can you get. Oh, no, it's not. You know what? Uh, ne- uh, I'm good. Uh, can I- no, 25 feet. I probably can't climb out of there, right? Can you use your? Uh, I slid down there. You could. I could give you an athletics check to try and climb out, but you'll just barely get out. You'll That's right. Able to Advantage because you're raging. I'm having a heart attack right now. Uh, 20. You rage climb to the edge. Rage yeah. climb. <laughs> 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 And your turn? Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna fucking die. Alrighty. Nope, nope, nope. First gravity fucked up everything. Not die at the hands, hands of this. Yeah, it did. Don't die yeah. this bitch. No. Um, that Goliath went on quite the ride. Down the crevasse, yeah. up 100 feet, <laughs> down, <laughs> down the <laughs> <again>. <laughs> right He appears at the edge of the crevasse. Oh, wait. Oh, no. She glances really? about and sees the state of her parting. <sighs> and then peers off in your direction. Um, all right. She is going to go ahead and... She's got a broken gun right now. Well, she's going to take a bonus action to go ahead and attempt to repair it. Can she repair in a bonus? 
All right. DM for, says what? Well, no, it would be for this. This would it's be an action. It's a full action to repair. It's an action to do it, yeah. Action repair. That's true. Ha! <laughs> uh, that's a success. So she repairs it with her action, but she can't fire unless she has a uh, Can really an action sir. fighter. Fuck! I shouldn't have even said my goddamn goddamn. Oh it. no, it's on the list. Don't worry. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Um, this is meant to punish me for everything I've ever done. Yes. I'm well aware. This is uh, the first strike, she she has two more grip points. She's going to spend one to do a violent shot on you. God damn it! That is a twenty-five. It's mega Percy. It's a twenty-five. Twenty-five. Yeah. Wasn't a very. Are you high still roll. ducking behind the tree? I am still ducking behind the tree, but that still hits. That still hits. Back, All right. So that's, that's a violent shot on that. She's going to send another grip point to do. An, uh, well, let's do that that attack first. Um, so that is. Sixteen. Oh, that's a fizz, a fizz. Oh boy. It's too much math happening. Twenty-five out points. How many? Twenty-five points of piercing damage. Oh. With two okay. points psychic. Twenty-five points of piercing damage. I'm gonna have to try and catch that because it's gonna fucking knock me out. So I'm going to uh, attempt to snare that oh, bullet. Can you snare range stuff? Hmm. Uh, snare is all range. No, but I'm trying to see how many oh, times well, you can use. I can do it once a once a once a round. Turn is a reaction. Yeah, it's a reaction. That's pretty cool. All right, go for it. Just wanna make sure. Uh, uh, I snare eight points of damage off of that. So that's okay. How many points is that? So it was. 25, 25 plus 27, You're still alive. so 19. Keep you alive, oh my god, man. Is he still alive? One point. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Now you're doing the one-eyed plus, blinky wink. Plus two points of necrotic damage. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not going to fall. Wait, oh. I spent a six level spell to keep you alive, man. What do you got? Necklace? Uh, the the, the uh, for this you are unconscious. Let me see this real fast. Okay, we'll see if it, if it has a perk. I'm happy either way. Shit. Uh, no, that, that does not affect you this time. Okay, just checking. That's fine. Shit. Okay. Um. Taking at me. Uh, the. Okay. So, are you unconscious? I'm unconscious. Oh my gosh. You hit the ground. As you fall, the shadow around Ripley flares, and you hear a voice go, "Yes." She aims and takes another shot at you. Mm-hmm. <gasps> oh, shit. Uh, yeah, that hits. You lose death saving throw. Mm-hmm. Third shot at you. Second death saving throw. Okay. Um. Oh my god. She shouts over her shoulder. Finish him. And if we get taken out by a single white female, what, I'm gonna be what, so what, um, what, you She doesn't roll? vanish. You There's roll? a shimmer and she goes, uh, curses. And runs. Uh, curses. 15, 20, uh, 25, 30 that way. It's metal and clips. Right there. She shouts over the shoulder, finish him! Uh, this one over here, looking over to the side, goes and takes aim. Is it his turn next? Uh, yeah. God damn it. The gunner's going next. Take it. Um, I am currently. I do have some AC just because I have some cover. Uh, correct, and it's and and technically uh, cover it is. Yeah. This one. I don't know not. why I'm arguing with this because I'm amused by this entire <laughs> process at the moment. The uh, no. The, this is with the pistol. <laughs> Takes a shot. The third bullet <laughs> sinks into Percy's form, and the breath fades to stillness. The necklace <laughs> shatters around your neck, the one that Pike gave you. Mm-hmm. And a sudden burst of divine energy fills your body, and you're restored to one hit point. Oh, oh my God. fucking! Are you serious? Pike saving the day when she's not even Dude, in the That here. was what? it. That was. <laughs> when did she fucking give you that, man? Before she before left. Before, before she, she left. left. She pulled it from under her bed. Oh, I'm here it is, John. Uh, John. <laughs> John. Oh, Joey, living on a prayer. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. What? Uh, you just died, motherfucker! I came back. And yeah, that's gonna go ahead you're and end the gunner's angel. turn. Vex, you're up. Uh, 
Kill Grog. Kill Grog. Do so do I see away. that? I mean, Scanlan, where was Scanlan on the initiative order? Is he before me or would he go after me? Scanlan goes far after you. I'm gonna run up to Scanlan, and I'm gonna cast Cure Fucking Wounds with my shit ass healing at level four. So that's four d eight plus four. <laughs> Four D eight plus four? Yeah. That's I'm a gonna heal you asshole. Is that bad? Yeah. My grit doesn't restore from none of my stuff restores from death, does it? Stop asking for anything. I am desperate because we are still doing? so fucked. Oh. Twenty-eight oh. hit points. <laughs> yeah. Um can I <laughs> do lost. anything else after I've done that? <laughs> I can't shoot any arrows after I've healed him, can I? Do uh, I get no. one arrow? Uh, no, because it has to be, uh, as you get two attacks, it's, it's either you attack or you do something else. No. Okay. And then I'm gonna dra- I'm gonna, I guess I'm gonna run back behind the tree because I'm a loser. Okay, you oh, do, you I do take, because that, that is your movement to get there and back. You aren't taking subtle te- steps, so that's gonna be, uh, six points of piercing damage, just running across the glass to go to and from. Jeez Louise. That's not really good. Hmm. Okay. So up there, moving. Look these crater boobs. All right, end your turn. Yeah. Backs are up. Wait, wanna... wait, for my bonus action. Yes? I'm gonna cast Hex, I mean, not Hex, Hunter's Mark Hunter's on Mark. Ripley. On Ripley, let's do it. It's angry. She is Hunter's Mark. Uh, I want to start moving towards my friends. How far can I get uh, towards Keyleth and Kynan and Trinket if uh, on my uh, movement? I need you to make a <laughs> athletics check. Trinket's in the necklace. Oh, never Trinket mind. That's athletics, you said? Yes. Uh, which is a seven. You can't get out of the crevasse. You try climbing and the rocks are just breaking away. On the movement, on my movement? On your what, movement. What happens with my dash and my action? Make another that? attempt. Uh, I'll do it again. <sighs> Fucking a nine. You get almost to the edge, and the glass breaks, and you slide back down into the crevasse. You're like, back again. down. Natural oh. 20. Oh. Oh. You just yeah. climb up to the edge. No. That's your turn, but you're out of the And crevasse. I'm going to shout, Kynan, you have a heart. Think of a man. What are you doing? It's not too late. Make a persuasion check. Uh, Seventeen. Okay. No, sorry. Uh, Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Um, and that ends Max's turn. Keyleth is. Oh, it's at the end of that. I need you to make a death saving throw. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Didn't didn't lose one there. You have a success. I have a success. Um. Shit. All right. Is now. Oh. Kynan's turn, Kynan is stunned. Stun wears off at the end. But Kynan is left there kind of breathing heavy, looking down at the two bleeding uh, bodies before him. One that is eyes flash open on the ground, and Keyleth currently just face down in the dirt, with a little puddle of blood around the corner of her mouth. Um, at the end of Kynan's turn, Scanlan? Tank is down. Tank is you down. are conscious, but Ugh. you are prone on the ground right now. Ah, oh, what a crazy dream. <laughs> <laughs> Scan it. Hope it's real. <laughs> <laughs> Anything would be helpful right now. Scan it. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. Well, tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I wanna, oh, I wanna, oh, I wanna, oh. I wanna, I wanna go fuck them up. Okay. <laughs> All right, I run over to Keyleth. So it's, that's half your movement, you can move that far, and you take two points of piercing damage. <laughs> <laughs> Um. Mm, yeah, sure. I'll I'll just uh, healing word at level two, just to get her back to life. It's bonus action, so that's two d four plus six. Two d four plus six is on fourteen. Oh. Uh, ten. No, twelve. Pretty good. All right, you heal. <laughs> you come to consciousness. Um. I turn to fuck nuts over there, and I I'll send a fireball. Yes. To kill the fucking gunner. Okay, what's the range of the fireball? It's a uh, 150. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That'll make yes, it. that'll do. All right. Uh, 
Uh, she with a roll of a natural seventeen plus uh, with disadvantage on uh, the, hex. the dex. I know you were unconscious, so the hex is. I know oh, the hex is gone. Oh, so, yeah. Um, and probably would have lost concentration. But it's fine. I know. It's fine. You made it good for now. Oh, uh, and I'll do three charges. Making okay. So it's ten d six. Ten d six. All right. So yeah, she she makes her save on that. The gunner. Does not the gunner does not survive this no matter okay. what you roll. The gunner is, just, <laughs> is a, a, a crispy pile of ash thrown towards the back of uh, go ahead and roll a 10 6 damage. <laughs> oh my god, I have like no. Whistle while you 27, not very 27 good. 27 halved. Um, to 13. The cloak flashes a bright blue underneath, and it seems almost like some of the fire is pulled into the cloak, and it begins to glow with like this kind of pulsing charge. She oh, takes shit. even less damage than you expected. Okay. But shit. she takes some damage. Takes some damage. Oh, okay. And you can now see this kind of like crackle <laughs> across the cloak. Good to know. Wait, this is rippling? Yeah. All right. That's, uh, it. that's, that's, all that's your turn. Shit. As the as the lightning's cracking around her, she goes. Ah. Well, sometimes you have to rely on those that prove worthy. The shadow that's around her shoulders kind of leaps off, <laughs> and you watch as is Orthax now appears uh, next to her. Hello, the shadow is still connecting them. You watch as this long stretch of shadow kind of curls across and attaches to her leg. They're still bound by this tether of darkness. But nevertheless, they are both together on the field. And uh, let's see. More facts here. More facts is going to go ahead and just. There. Um, and is going to go ahead and look towards you and go. You. Oh no. You'll be my quarry now, big man. Um, you are currently hit with the mark of vengeance. Is that a charm? Nope. You are just marked. A marked. Mm-hmm. Oh. Marked. With with vengeance? That means I have a theory, but I can't. I think you meant mark of Virginia. That would be, that would be yeah. inappropriate. Uh, the form is kind of in a bad place right now. He's he's there, kind of out of desperation, but there is sunlight coming down from the sky, and you can see it's like it's hurting its presence. But once again, in a desperate place. Um, all right, up the top. Yeah. Percy. <laughs> oh good, you're awake. Ah, fuck! Uh, I look at, I look at our little friend up there. I, I just get up a bit, I look at him. Just run! I pull out my gun and I take, um, the two shots with a reload that I'm allotted at, a um, at, a uh, Ripley. Okay. So, um, oh, thank God it's the retort pistol, because that would have been really poor. Um, that's a 29 to hit and 15. 29 to hit and a 15? Yes, 29 hits, 15 does not. Okay, that's fine. Uh, pew, pew, pew! <laughs> that's um, 13 points of piercing damage. Alrighty. <laughs> See the flash of smoke off her shoulder, the impact. <laughs> you see and now her hair that's pulled up is now kind of like fallen in her face now, uh, covering part of her in the front where a little bit of blood kind of curls at the corner of her mouth. I doubt he'll do well without her. And then I try and take cover. I, I'm just going to pull as much cover as I possibly can and <laughs> and and take a defensive, as much of a defensive. Okay. I doubt so he'll do you have any well healing potions? her? Oh, and I'm going to slug a healing potion for my bonus. Thank you. That's Go a good it. point. I meant to do that. I was literally thinking that. It's the greater, which is 4d4 four four plus 4. Plus four. four. Uh, yeah, go on. I'm, I'm fine. God, there's so much coffee in me. <laughs> <laughs> Said Percy. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm like, yeah, that's so sad. All right. Aww. That ends your turn. Buddy. Grog, you're up. Uh, I have one question. Yes. If I wanted to try and like double my speed or whatever, get around Orthex to Ripley, would I still be able to hit her at all, or I'd have to burn all my attacks oh, to get to her? Um, you would have to use an action to dash. 
And I have two other Sorry. attacks, but they're not well, actions. Well, no, no, no. It's an action to do two attacks. Right. And my so, bonus is the third, so it's e- okay. So you may let me double check real fast here. Um, as part of your frenzy. If you think, uh, yeah. What do you mean? Frenzy's the bonus. Yeah, which means you get one attack. I would? You would, you would? you would move, you would use your action to move again, and you would have your bonus action to do one hit. I grab my earring and I say, Orthax or Ripley? Oh, no. uh, oh fucking Orthax, really? So name I was hoping I wasn't gonna, Wait, gonna hear do, again. Do you, what Ripley. Does it, I'm gonna, I'm Ripley. Oh, Ripley. Okay. Can I can I burn okay. that to get all oh, the way? Oh man! Past I know it's an opportunity if you do so. I under, yeah, like, add advantage. Fifty. Yeah, you get up right into into her face. Yeah. Her eyes go wide as you approach. Hey, chicken uh, nickel. <laughs> Orthax does get <laughs> an attack of opportunity against you. Um, has advantage on attacks against a marked creature. Plus, I did reckless, so yeah. yeah. So that's a double advantage. Do you get to hit him back as you run by, as your reaction? I don't know. About it's a twenty-three to hit. It does hit. All right. Um, you take. Bow, 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 bow. Eighteen points of. Oh no, I'm sorry. You had advantage on the roll, so that would be twenty-four points of psychic damage as the claw just rakes through your body, like missing a corporeal oh, sorry, form, man. and sorry, it man. just shocks into your system. Your brain spiking with pain. Uh, do I get retaliation? Is it a melee? Me- melee? Hit? It's a reaction to do it. So you could run past and whack, smack, and immediately you just after. Do that. So you run, so you run, you get raked, you spin with the axe and attempt Rock. to slam into it using the momentum to keep charging forward. Uh, 26. 26 will hit. Go and roll damage. Literally attacking the darkness. This is what D&D is all about. We attack 27 darkness. with five points in the crowd. 27? Okay. Oh. With that might laugh Six off the All right. Um, and I get all the way to Ripley. You do. Um, no magic yeah. on Ripley. His, the, the mark gives him advantage Whoa. on attacks, but the sunlight is giving him disadvantage, so he just gets a single, like a regular roll against you. Unless anyone else is going to have a harder time, but that's what the mark is helping him with. Right, okay. Um, all right, so yeah, you get right up to Ripley, who's like, you know, gun still in hand, seeing you just rush up angrily with your one angry, raging Goliath freight train of an individual. What do you want to do? Nothing magic here, bitch. And I would go reckless, great weapon master, Ripley, please. Oh. Okay. <laughs> You've seen it. I've seen it. Reckless, great weapon master. Great. That's even better. I don't know what it means. Sounds good. Sounds great. 32 minus 5 is 28. 28. 28. That hits. Why am I not always doing great weapon master? What the fuck is the matter with me? <laughs> 28. 28 with a point of necrotic. Eight points of pain. Our <laughs> A little bit of blood spatters across the ground near her. She takes the wound and kind of shrinks away a little bit, kind of clutching her chest. What the club uh, not helping you with that one? <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. Is it new turn? That's it. Yeah, it's now her turn. Uh, first, she's going to go ahead and use her bonus action to use her second wind. What? She gets to heal. She gets to fucking fart heal. twice right in front of you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? This is my first, and this is my second <laughs> one. Uh, she. She's not attacking you in melee. I fart in your general direction. <laughs> she is going to see you in the face. She's like, you are next. And leans over and is going to go ahead and fire at you, Percy. Can she make a, a, a ranged attack while while she's okay? She can. All right. Um, she's in. She's she's in melee. Yeah. Um, she, I'm learning. I feel like I'm learning things here. Well, no, actually, she used your reaction to hit Orthax, so she can move away from you without getting an attack of opportunity. Fuck. That's what? Right. Yeah, she Shit. does take six points of damage from the run. Uh, but that gives her a better angle on you. Oh, yes, it does. All she wants. Yeah. Half. I love her. Uh, she's going to use her. She's out of grit. Uh, no, she's one more grit point. How does she have one more grit? I thought she burned them she's both. She's better than you, God Percy. Fucking damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you're right. No, she did she use burned, Yeah, she burned both. She did. 
Uh, so she's going to. She has one more attack in her. Really. You're like the Olympian judge of uh, the that new. That is going to be. I've had to deal with this shit so much. Nine point four. Twenty one. That does not. Oh, with, with, do I still have some cover? Uh, with the cover, yeah. Uh, with the cover, does not hit. Right. So it off. Mm. Mm. Natural twenty. Mm. Oh, fuck. Uh, which gives her grip point back. Yes, it does. Oh boy. Wow, of all the things to roll. Um, I have that coming. She is the Yeah, you did. You have that coming yeah. more than anybody. I just broke my glass by bite. So that is. <laughs> uh, 17 no, points cool. of piercing damage and four points of psychic damage. Has she not lost her. Oh, is the psychic damage attached or did she not. Li- I'm, I know I'm like. Psychic damage is I'm so something desperate. you don't know. Okay, it's a thing I don't know, so she didn't... Okay, it's just some a thing. Are you still conscious, Bruce? Uh I don't know. I'm going to try and catch it, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, uh, I'm trying to find the die for that, which it seems to vanish. There we are. Uh, 17 Come on, points? Oblite. 17 points. All right, let's uh, see what this does. Yeah! Um, okay, so that's uh, down to nine points. Mm-hmm. Okay, so if, if it's just... And is it 17 total? Uh, 17, uh, 17 points of piercing damage plus four points second. Okay, 17, so that's nine plus four, so that's 13, 13. points. I am still standing. Mm, but bang. <laughs> oh I God. am just, like, Rasputin here. This is getting ugly. <laughs> uh, third and final no, shot. A, oh, uh, God, she needs to shoot again. Yeah. Misfire, misfire. Uh, Nope, that Natural is 20. a last shot. Twenty-six to hit. Yeah, that hits. Take uh, eleven points of piercing damage. Yeah. Plus four seconds. Oh yeah, no, I'm I'm out again. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but well, she's out of shots. Yeah. She... Pike's necklace just goes. Pike's necklace is gone. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. She she's out. She's gone. She vanished. She, she vanished. Uh, Vex, you're up. Do I sense her with my hunter's mark? Oh, what? you're fucking kidding me! But she was she ran her full movement, didn't she? I'm so sorry. Mm, shut up, shut she up. did move her full movement. Yeah. Shut up. Let's listen to this lawyer talk. She's got fancy things. Yeah. What do you do, Vex? I want to try to shoot where she was. Okay, go for it. Well, for two attacks. I just want to shoot one to where one attack? she was okay. right now. First attack. Uh, yeah. Some bitch. Uh, 19. 19 seems to pass through. Whew. Okay. What are you gonna do? Um, I'm gonna, fuck, I'm gonna shoot at fourth axe. Okay, go for it. We are dying. Done! <laughs> Natural one. Oh, <laughs> the arrow just goes high over the tree line and disappears in the distant jungle. Sweet, tight. Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess I will. I'm gonna get on my damn broom. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna get up to the top of the tree that I'm at right now. Ooh, All that right. is a bold, scaredy cat move. <laughs> I'm just doing it so I don't have to take a point of damage every step I take. Sure. Every Sam. step I take. This may be the end. Get up at the top of your tree. Every move I make. Build move, coward. (laughs) Up above the tree, looking down into this kind of open area. And your turn? Yeah. Backs are up. (laughs) Where's Kynan at? Kynan's over here on top of the tree. Is he out? Is he just standing there? Standing there. He's standing there. He just got out of being stunned. Out of being shocked with diplomacy. Fuck. Wasn't she? uh, uh, I'm going to use my movement to get to Percival. All right. <laughs> is she tethered to orcs? She is tethered, tethered to orcs. Not close enough. And not a physical tether. Uh, he, I'll unfortunately, use that. That's in I'll the use way. my bonus action to get all the way, okay, and I will so, yeah, cast lay on hands with my action to get him on his feet again. Okay. Go Five for it. hit points. Yeah. Oh, this is getting uncomfortable. <laughs> Kynan, getting down and up. Kynan, down and up. Kynan. Kynan. Fucking Kynan. Just kill him. <laughs> Just kill him. You're all right. You are right. Persuasion roll. Balls. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, oh no, not bad. Because I'm a rogue. Seventeen. Seventeen. All right. Good to know. All right. Uh, that ends your turn, Keyleth. 
<sighs> okay, so I'm waking up, and the first thing I heard was Grog saying Orthax or Ripley, correct? correct. More or less? Oh, God! It's the fucking gods! And I'm gonna just throw down a daylight spell Seriously, on the nipple. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Grogs or get some Next sun on those boobies? The crevasse right nipple <laughs> on stage right, my stage right. The little now be your <laughs> stage right. <laughs> nipple stage right. Nipple even. stage right. <laughs> Daylight on nipple like stage the right. right. A little bigger than the left one. <laughs> That's totally it, I mean, natural. You're in. You're in daylight. So <laughs> but, adding daylight isn't going to make a huge difference in daylight. High fantasy. But I thought, like, Orthax is all like a shadow fiend, right? Yeah, and he's currently in sunlight as and part of And he's having a hard time, but I thought it was like, it. like, like, like we're under tree cover, no? No, there's no, no tree cover. Really. He's not blown out of this area from the explosion. We're in direct so daylight. So adding daylight would, it would just we're make really daylight out, man. in Sunbeam? daylight. You just woke up. I, am, I have burned through everything that's nice like that. Um, okay, never mind. I'm gonna get up, and I'm going... Oh, oh, no. oh, elemental uh, man, do I can't, can't do, do that. that. I'm oh, done. Boy. I'm done. She's utterly burnt. Um, I'm going to um use your staff. <laughs> to stick it. Uh, fucking Percy, kill him, and I'm gonna cure wounds for that level Helps. three. No, no, no. Fucking, right. fucking killer. Fucking killer. I'm trying. This is your post-traumatic ah, stress that we're dealing with here. I'm sorry, my issues have gone. Your your issues do have guns. And your turn? What? Well, I'm gonna do it's three D eight plus ten. Okay, thank you. All right. You roll or I roll. Cool. Right. I don't have any more. Twenty two. Uh, yeah, twenty two. Twenty two. Yeah. All right. That'll. Fucking. Killer. Orthax is casting like Killer. a really fun little shadow. And then I'm gonna actually take a bonus action yeah. to do um, a healing yeah. word on myself, just at level one. Yeah, one d four plus yeah. six. Uh, is the tether between uh, me and Ripley physical or just do like we a, still see you don't know? You mess with it. And right now you okay. see it kind of the tether kind of reaches out right now and then dissipates, like it kind of just fades. I'm at twenty hit points. It's still facing this direction. But it's physics kind of physics work, man? <laughs> All right, and your turn, Keyleth? Yep, okay. I'm I'm still coughing up blood, just, uh, right. kind of in the fetal position, trying to keep Percy alive. Right. <sighs> Kynan steps off the back of the log, oh, out of sight. Um, okay. That's good. That's good. That's better than the There's a small gap beneath the log where Kynan comes out from underneath as you finish a uh, healing spell and takes the blade and just jams it right <gasps> into your back. Kynan does. Damn. Try to at least. Uh, that is 23. To hit me? Yes. Yeah. <sighs> God, fucking damn well, uh, it. Now he this has is your to friend. Die. That seals it, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> your little project just killed your girlfriend. Did you go unconscious? Um, we'll see. Probably, though. That is 4 plus 7. Eat that. 26 points of damage. Is that sneak it? Did he get sneak attack on it? Wasn't it? I'm on, I'm Jumped a, behind I was the, at 20 the, points. So over the top, hid, and then came underneath yeah. and got her. As soon as he sees you fall, he pulls the he pulls the blade out uh, and drops it to the ground. He goes, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, right. and like falls to his knees and just starts like shaking in place. Um, I'll leave that up to your discretion. That's right. And his turn, scaling you up. I look at Keyleth and I fucking heal her. The <laughs> <laughs> heal factory continues. It's like, heal! <laughs> heal! <laughs> heal! <laughs> <laughs> Has anybody else ever been to a horse tranquilizer party? Because it's just kind of like. <laughs> and EpiPen! Except you, you can't afford awake? to do them anymore, Are sadly. You, what? <laughs> I am awake again. Okay. I was, but now I'm awake it's again. Like hands on a hard level, body. Level oh. one healing word bonus. One d four plus six. Wow. Man, he's doing the smallest of the small. Nine. Ones. Nine. Oh, or a nine. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's great. It's great. I don't like being unconscious. Okay, keep going. Uh, then I will. <laughs> Someone's got to do this, and it can't just be Grog. I'm gonna dimension door over right yes. next to Grog. Don't get me, baby. Yes. Next to Grog? Yeah. Uh, 
because towards the, the uh, yeah. Ripley side, away from over here. Yeah, and then I'm gonna use my the rest of my mo- movement to move around 25 feet and to go like this, looking for Ripley. Looking for Ripley. <laughs> <laughs> looking for Ripley. <laughs> You're okay. feeling it? I'll take five points of piercing damage sure. just running across the glass. <laughs> <laughs> and you start waving your hands freely. Okay. I find your sword out for a little extra. Yeah, use your sword. I'm going to use sword. your sword to do it. I can't. I don't know. Sure. Yeah. Whatever. I'm looking around. As you swing it around and you're moving around, nothing. <laughs> Maybe the it, she goes into another dimension or something. <laughs> this is like the worst game of Minesweeper. I just want to point that out. Yeah. yeah. And uh, Ripley. Right now, yeah. that's gonna be Orthax. <laughs> Marco. Orthax is going to. There's can't. There's bombs too so on the field. Yeah, there's so many bombs. Hey, everybody, wake up. No. Or, uh, Who is then, what? He just bams, is in our Orthax just bam. Ten feet right, moved. <laughs> Can't help you guys. And then would move uh, over there. So power can move on there. Yeah, no, because he can jump through shadow. Everyone when the T-Rex um, found the kid yeah, under but, the car. Um, as a smoke monster, wouldn't he hurt his feetsies on the glass? <laughs> <laughs> There's shadow? What shadow? What shadow is he using? He's using a moon, moon shadow. shadow of the Legos? Moon shadow. I don't see any shadow. Um, <laughs> shooting. Probably on that. Okay. He Dreaming is going to use his Rampage Pulse. That sounds Fuck. like an awesome band. Are we really all gonna die today? I know is your inner gonna... insecurities cannot be the cause of Vox Machina's death. I just want to point that die. out. I'm aware. Okay, I'm aware. Okay. We're being, can I have more? Stay focused. Tell us so, we are being killed by a metaphor. Right? Yes, I know. We are. Aren't we always? So I need Vax, Percy, Keyleth, and Kynan to all make a Wisdom saving throw. Oh my oh, favorite. Oh shit. Fuck. <laughs> oh, I am really not wise. I'm re-rolling that. That's actually pretty good. That's actually pretty good. Okay. No, I'm done. I'm re-rolling that. <sighs> Seven. Thirty total. Oh my god. All right. So. That look from Matt Percy, you worst. take ten points of psychic damage. Still conscious though, right? Yep. Uh, Vax, you also take ten points of psychic damage. You okay? We'll and see. Tynan, uh actually does make it save, strangely. Um, with a really high roll. Uh, however, uh, Percy, as you kind of feel the rampage pulse hit you. The eyes go red, and suddenly you're surrounded by shadow entirely. And you pull the gun over, and you fire at something that's nearby. I need you to go ahead and make a single uh, pistol attack with disadvantage because you're nearby against Keyleth. <gasps> with disadvantage. Yes. I was waiting for it. Oh. I knew it. God, <laughs> fucking wow! You're just this oh, is no. here to this hurt is me. This crazy. All right, let's let's uh, <clears throat> pistol shot with disadvantage. I'm up right now, so you're like. Um. Never get a haircut. Ever uh, again. three. Uh, so sixteen. 16. Misses. Yay. It strikes the wooden splinters off. Vax, I need you to go ahead and make a uh, dagger attack against Percy. Uh, that is a 17. Misses. Yay. What did you roll? I rolled a six plus 11 is 17. That's slick. Uh, Percy is, however, prone, so you have advantage on the attack. Am I prone? Oh, yeah, I guess I am prone. That hits. That go ahead and roll 28. damage. It's not a sneak attack. Okay. Whatever you say, boss. It's not a sneak attack. It's not no. a sneak attack. Uh, oh. That is a seven. Seven points of damage. Ow! And <laughs> that ends Orthax's turn. Hey, this is a shit show, man. Yeah, oh, is. technically I've burned an ammo. That's a burned shot, too. First of all, you're up. <sighs> oh my god. She's not around, so we're off here. Um. I'm going to climb. Can I? Can I stand up and climb on top of the? Just get a little. He doesn't have an attack of opportunity against me where he is right now, does he? Or You'll find out. For God's sake, man! Don't risk it, man. I'm going to stand up, <laughs> and I'm going to ignore him, and I'm going to hold my attack till I see her. Okay. The second I see her, you're going to attack. 
one you would do now. And there's a fucking bonus action. I'm going to drink my last potion, which is a basic a regular. Uh, All right, two d four plus two. Two d four plus two. Yep. We need a cleric! <laughs> we need a cleric with us all the time! Ashley! 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 Grog, you're up. Oh my god, we miss you. Right now? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> it's, my, it's my turn. Uh, can I join Scanlan in the most Stevie Wonder <laughs> search ever with my blood axe being my stick? Like You can also hold you can hold your attack till she appears oh. again. <laughs> All right, I'll move. I'll move over to where I am and hold my attack and just okay. hope I bump something, bump yeah. into something along. Yeah. Okay, betray your art. Man. And I've got, pers- yeah, I've no, got persistent sorry. rage, so I don't lose my rage. <laughs> Good to know. Oh, sure. All right, something. at the end of your turn, <gasps> she appears over there. <laughs> Wait, did he, he find her? Again. Did he find her? No, she just oh. she, she, she bounced back in. Her, her turn came about. Um, two of you have reactions or actions that have been held. Percy and Grog. Yeah. You Reckless. Have, you're not within range. You're not within range to hit her melee, so you can do one chain of returning throw attack. But the chain is magic. Yeah. yeah. But then weapon. Yeah. Okay. Just, or just throw the axe and let it sit there. If you don't. Are want you the chain. sure it's magic? Are you sure it's just not a chain that he gave you? No, it's magic. Chain returning. Murder. 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 Returning was inside murder. you all over. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna uh, murder. Yeah, I'm just yes. gonna attach the chain and throw it. Go uh, for it. Reckless. Yeah. Great weapon master. Okay. Okay. Which one? All right, Gil. <laughs> <laughs> that might. I, I, there's only one that could beat that one. So that's a, a, a 32 minus 5, Dang. 28. That'll hit. Keep rolling that high. I know. Fucker. 28. 28 with two points of necrotic. 28 points of damage. It slams into her and the axe like slices and carves off like part of her arm. Just like, ah! The giant shadow claw that she still hands, uh, has on the other side, like clutching the weapon. She angrily looks over her shoulder. Shit! Shit! <laughs> um, so that's your, your turn? Yeah, I yank it back. Uh, you can on your next turn. Got it. Um, uh, sharpshooter shot, retort. Misses. Uh, 12. 12, no. Sharpshooter shock. Tort. 20. 20. Uh, that would hit, but she uses her reaction to use another shield. Uh, the bullet is deflected off an arcane uh, shield on this side. She's like, axe off Grog, deflects the bullet this side. She's cornered and trying the best she can to get through this. All I got, because I burned and shot attacking Keyleth. Right. Uh huh. So I have to reload. Um. Yeah, I just just sort of. Yeah, I'm just going to stare at her, and the best thing I'm going to do is, no matter what today. I forgive you, but I cannot let you leave. And I'm just going to sit and reload. Okay. Uh, She is going to use her first attack to reload her pepper box. Let's see here. Okay. She is going to look over with her her clawed hand. Uh, actually, no, she doesn't reload. I'm sorry, she's back. As opposed to reloading, she looks at her weapon, puts it in her off hand, takes her clawed hand, and points a finger over in her direction and releases a single beam of red energy. Detonates there in the center as a I fireball. I will counterspell that at level six. Oh yeah, man. Bless you. Yes, yes. That's it. <laughs> Scanlan. Uh, Scanlan for the win. I mean, <laughs> clutch. 
Okay, at level six. Uh, I believe. I think we're good. Is a third level spell? Yeah. Third level spell? Yeah, third level spell. Gone. Yeah, it's gone. She can't. That's yeah. it? Yeah, boom. Oh, she's, my. she's not that powerful of a mage. She's, yeah! Uh, multiclass doesn't go that what far in was wizard. That? It was a fireball, and she goes to release it, and you just shout out towards it. I, th- I shout out. Anna, Anna, Bobana, Banana, Banana, Bofana, hey, five, four, mana. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's going to go ahead and move. One, two, three, four, five, six. She's going to take six points of piercing damage. Yes, she will. And. God oh, damn, it. damn it! How can she still do that? Talk. Cloak, it's man. It's an effect Cloak. that you are unfamiliar with. Vestige. Effect that you are on. What the. Coward! The uh, shit, man. Now that you've been up close and seen the effect, go ahead and roll uh, an arcana check. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Bard of many things. Please, please roll high. Please roll high. Yeah. 22. 22. Uh, you, you haven't really seen the spell, then, but you've heard in your trailer there are certain mages, certain not too powerful magics that essentially cause individuals to occasionally blink into another dimension briefly mm-hmm. and then come back out. I've heard of them. I thought she was Sam doing it this point. Uh, <clears throat> ends her turn, Vex, you're up. Right after she disappears. Yeah. Great. Um, okay. I guess I will shoot at Orthax. Alrighty. Or, oh, yeah, you will. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to bramble shot him. Sure, go for it. Okay. Uh, 31. 31. What just happened over there? That it? Okay. <laughs> I couldn't find it. It's like water splashed <laughs> on a cat. <laughs> uh, oh shit, I burned that. I'm pretending that that's Do I add anything to that damage that it's just 48 piercing? It's 48 piercing, and you would probably add your uh, additional lightning damage. So, 16 with three lightning, okay. and then he has to do a strength save or be restrained. Strength save. Uh, that is uh, 19. He is not restrained. I'm going to use my second attack. Okay. So the uh, the brambles reach up out of the out of the arrow, <laughs> wrap around him. All the thorns kind of constricting and tearing enemies. <clears throat> Actually, he. No, 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 yeah, no, he does not disadvantage on saving throws, just on his perception and attack rolls. So yeah, he does break free and all the brambles kind of shatter and break off around him. You go for your second attack, which is? 31. 31 hits, good roll damage. I don't know why. Clutch counterspell, man. 18. 18 damage. Yeah. Nice. Yes. 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 I know. I decided not to back away. Back away well, no, when you got up, that's the space you were Am in. I still oh, you down? were still within melee. He has a ten foot reach. Oh, right. I I stood up too to cast. What was it that I cast last? Heal. No. Wait. No. Something. No. The wine was a poor choice. I mean, it was good wine, but it was a poor choice. You cast no, a, you cast choice. heal on Percy last. That was the last thing you did. No, that was a long right. time ago. Yes, you would have not heal. You would have got up, but you were. Oh, oh, I did cure cast. Did cast I cast. Yes, yes. So, yeah, you would have been up, but you're still. Heal, so I'm up. You're still out of uh, melee. I think. Am I? Fuck. All right, keep going. Or at least out of your own melee. No, that's uh, fine. Then I can I take a uh, go three squares north to the edge and hold my attack until uh, hold my attack until someone steps up. Sure. You're still in his melee range, by the way. Mm. Within melee range. He has a 10 foot reach. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Then I will continue along the edge to the, the that pointy crack in the ground. So right I'm out there? of range. Yeah, keep going. Yep. That will get you out of his melee range, but he will get an attack of opportunity on you. That's all right. All right. He will take his attack of opportunity on you. At disadvantage. Yes. A disadvantage also because of the sunlight. So that's 
Uh, plus nine, that's 25. And 19. Misses. <sighs> you just duck underneath. All right. Uh, finishing Vax's turn. Keyleth, you're up. Oh, shit. I'm up. Okay. Yeah. You're alive um, for once. I'm fucking alive. Uh, I'm so running out of options here. Um, Ripley's not on the board or anything, right? We only have Orthax in front of us. He's all that's left. Right. Until we hold and we wait for her to appear again, which she inevitably will. Wow, this isn't good at all. Um... Dum, wow, dum, cool. Dum, dum, um, dum, dum, dum. All I have left is a thunder wave. Yeah, that's fun. Do that. So, I, in oh, a wait, fit of wait, um, uh, what do you want? Fight or flight wait, in. Wait. What? No, go, 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 go. That's all I got in a fit of flight or flight. I, I, as I'm standing up, I smack down on the ground and and hit a thunder wave around me because that's that's all I have. Okay, fifteen foot cube. You can do right there, not hit any of your party members, and it'll hit Orthax. Oh. It'll hit who? Vex. It'll hit no, Orthax. Orthax. You can Orthax. Orthax. Only Orthax. Cool. That's a fan. So, uh, as a Constitution saving throw. That's the cox roll. Sixteen. Uh, no, fail. So 2d, 2d8 thunder damage, go ahead and roll that, and it's pushed 10 feet away from you. Ooh, um, 11 damage. No, sorry, 10 damage, 10 damage. 10 points and he's of pushed thunder damage. Uh, is reduced by 10 half, feet. because it's resistances, so he takes five. All righty. <laughs> Blasted back, or that's <laughs> And I stand up. And as a reaction, I'm going to cast a uh, healing word on myself again, once again at first level. Mm -hmm. Okay, go for it. Um, and in Keyleth's oh turn, heal eight points. Kynan, who's still on the ground, is kind of wrestling with the whole circumstance. Okay. Uh, Kynan looks up at, at Keyleth standing up after stabbing her and watching her fall. Seems to be kind of. Really noticing both the tide turning and looking up towards you, the absolute face of. Guilt. I look at him and I just stare daggers right into him and kind of shake my head and wipe the blood off my mouth. I'm sorry. He grabs the dagger from the ground. Is she next to <gasps> yes, him? Yes, yes, yes. He's huh? gonna. Uh, she, no, no she, he's gonna kill he's me. Right next to her. Right next to her. He's right next to her. Takes the dagger, rears That's back with it. And flings it to the side towards Orthax. Yeah! Oh! Good boy. Um, that is. Kyan! 16, which hits him. Just barely, actually. Um, Orthax technically is next to you, so he does get sneak attack. Yeah. Uh, 23 points of damage to Orthax. Wow. And Kynan travels with the blade right next to him. Yeah. Uh, like he throws the blade and then vanishes in a puff of spoke, oh. and the uh, dagger strikes into him and he appears right where it landed with the blade in his hand. How did he get so. Oh, that's Whisper. Uh, I'm going to attack now. All right. Uh, first one is a 17, second one is a, uh, 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 is a 28. Mm -hmm. So first one with sneak attack damage is four plus uh, eight, 12, 18, 26, 32, 36, 38 for the first, and second one is 10, so 48 in total. Wow. You slam both blades into the side of Orthax right now, the form itself, the shadow sparking and the sunlight you can see is kind of scarring and pocking the back of this kind of oily surface that is its muscled shoulder. Um, the, each blade strike that hits, you can see the black shadow pouring out like a small waterfall of pure void. Um, Orthax is kind of like <laughs> But with each damage he takes, his head doesn't turn, his face still locked in pure hatred and vengeance towards Percival. And your turn, Vax? Oh yeah, because that was your reaction. Uh, Scanlan, you're up. Um, 
I'm going to. Can I gingerly walk on the on the glass? Or will you, you can hurt? move three squares and not take any damage. Will that be where she was when she disappeared? Uh, she was right here, around there. So you can, you can go there. I'm gonna go gingerly there where she was. Carefully step away. All right. Draw my blade. Get it ready to rock. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, and and inspire. Oh. Wait. I can't say anything, can I? No, sadly. I can inspire myself. Because <laughs> I'm a selfish motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you, 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 can, you can add an inspiration die to an ability check. Well. I see. You don't okay. actually inspire yourself. You can't inspire yourself. No. You're, you, always, you, you are inspiring to yourself at all times. The that is true. Yeah. It's your um, one, one all thing right, you can well do then I will inspire Grog. Alrighty. That's fair. Are you going to talk about how the Redskins lost the Cowboys this last weekend. I'm sorry. Did that happen? Who? Mm, the, you brought that up. The, the that sounds Washington like fan fiction. Team, whose name I don't, dare not say. <laughs> Is there football fan fiction? <laughs> um, I'll inspire you with a dad joke. It's called fantasy football. <laughs> it's called fantasy football. <laughs> it's another cow one. Oh, good. It's, why did the cow want to go to Hollywood? Why? She wanted to be in the movie. She didn't even have to yeah, look. Didn't, didn't even have to look. look at at all. That's really yeah, good. Yeah, That's movie. really, <laughs> really funny. Just hilarious. That's uh, two moo jokes, okay. I might add. And I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm <laughs> holding my action. Cows are kind of our mascot. It's kind of melting. So she reappears. So she reappears. Oh. oh. Um, ending your turn, that brings us to Orthax. Orthax, <laughs> glaring intently, is going to go ahead and move his Mark of Vengeance as a bonus action to you, Percy. Well, I am offended. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to step forward. <laughs> Attacks of um, opportunity. Uh, from Vax, who is not here. Oh, <laughs> where did he go? Vax um, ran to the bathroom. Okay. Also, he doesn't technically the uh, 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 young squire get oh, yes. attacked? Up he's still in melee. Oh, he's still uh, in melee. Still oh, in melee, damn technically. Damn um, um, do you want to go ahead and roll an attack for Vax? Yes, that sure. would be hilarious. I trust you. Go for it. Don't it's fuck not the this dicey up. rolls for attacks. <laughs> wow. He rolls um, a spiky fucker. 20. That hits. Go ahead and roll 1d4 plus whatever his bonus to one of his daggers is, which I believe. I hope he kills Orthax and isn't even here. That would be. That 10? Would... 10 damage? All right. 10 damage to Orthax. <laughs> kills Orthax when he isn't even here. <laughs> Takes That'd the hit. Awesome. Keeps yeah, walking that would be great. Forward, straight towards you uh, as it walks up. Takes both of its claws back and just <laughs> unleashes on you, Percy. It would have disadvantage in the sunlight, but the mark gives it advantage, so it's just a basic attack against okay. you. Okay. That is uh, 18 plus nine. 18 plus nine to hit? Yes. Wow, does that hit. Okay. That's crazy. Uh, oh, no. And the other one is a 14 plus nine. Four. That's, a tw that's a 23 to hit? 23 yes, to hit. Of course that hits as well. Okay. Um, just so, unconscious again, Jesus. So the first hit is 2d8. A 4d8, because <laughs> he has advantage on you. No, he doesn't have advantage. He doesn't have advantage. So it's 2d8. It's nine. Ten, you delivered ten points of damage while you were gone. That's so cool. You did. You stealthed that hard. <laughs> what happened? Twenty-one points of psychic damage. Oh Jesus! Thank you. Was yeah, it I'm out again. Again. It was. You're out. Yeah. Fucking fuck. Uh -oh. This is not good. Uh, guys. It's a it's a it's a claw it's a claw slash attack. Yes. All right. Twenty-one points of. Second, second strike attack. hits you. Death two death saving throws. Oh my it's a crit god. Within five feet. So it's a crit within five feet? It's a melee attack within five feet and you're unconscious. It's two death saving throws. Yep, been That's there, true. done that. All right. Come on, Percy, come on. Big money, wow. no whammies. Where's um, that guys, golden That snitch? ends Orthax's turn. Where's your Percy, fucking golden it's your snitch? turn. Roll a death saving throw. Oh, oh shit! Oh, no! Come Wait, on, is this it? Is this, this it? Is it? Uh, this come is on, be yeah. it. Come on, come on. Golden snitch. Ten. <gasps> I, believe, I don't remember. I believe that is not a failure. That's, I believe it's nine. I think it's or below. ten or higher, right? Yeah, I think it's ten or higher. Oh Are you shitting me? You rolled a fucking ten. It was 10? on the money. Why yep, ten or higher, me? you succeed. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh, Guys, oh, let me. Oh, god. I have the coolest character lined up, but okay. Can I, uh, can I seeing Scanlan, prepare for uh, uh, the Bamfin? Can I move to the other side of the last place that I saw her? Yeah, uh, Scanna's standing where she was last time. Okay, can I just move opposite of him? Like over here? Yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit further. Yeah, to where she sure. can't yeah. shoot around you. Yeah, and, and, and turn towards that space, nice. and I'll hold my nice. action until I see her. Okay. Yeah. No, bitch. that's one success and two failures. All right. So, uh, it is now her turn. She is going to appear 
right there. Stop, 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 stop. No, 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 no. Wait, what, what? Just out of reach of both of you Are guys. you fucking kidding me? He's Wait, what is she, what, 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 what? This is a five foot melee attack. She's just out of range of both of you guys. I'm he's got a, he's my got a sword. You he's can, got a throw. You can still do your Wait, she's, you throw if you want. she's bamfing, is that what she's doing? She's bamfing, yeah. She bamfed so when she bamfed out, the axe throw fell to the ground and you throw your axe in. So you can, you can make your throw yes. if you want. Come on, reckless, man, come on. Reckless, oh, great weapon. This will kill me, by the way. Kill! It's going to kill me. Grog. Oh, Grog. Come on, Grog. Come on. That giant number again, that's 32 minus five. 28. Yeah, I know. good. Killer. Killer. Everything you got. Grog, killer. 30, 32. 32 points of damage. Yeah. As she appears, you throw the axe, and it's a very short distance, so big amount of your physical strength is put behind it. The axe embeds itself like right in the upper torso and abdomen, and she's like, Ugh. <laughs> It's still in her right now. She's like, no, no. Looks over and sees Orthax. I'm throwing no. my sword. You're gonna throw? Yeah. All right. Roll with, with disadvantage, no proficiency. I have proficiency. advantage on my attack because I just inspired. Stitch. So bad. Uh, with Carver. With Carver, yeah, but you'll have disadvantage. So just because your regular attack, we have no proficiency bonus. You're not you're not proficient at throwing weapons. No. So you're this is this is a serious penalty. Oh god. So much gonna be like a 19 Can you inspire yourself? Have you done that yet? No, you can't really do it. No, <laughs> no, no, tilt, 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 tilt. tilt. Uh, yeah. What am I adding? What'd you roll? Thirteen. Nah, it's no. not gonna do it. Okay. You throw, you throw the blade and woof, woof, it just whips past her. Um, as she appears, she takes one step, two steps there past Grog, sees Orthax just wailing on the corpse of Percy. Oh, it's. It's back. <sighs> Another name off the list. Yes. In fires. Can I do cutting words? Has a whole uh, round been gone and gone by since my last reaction? Uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it has. It has. Yeah. yeah, we can we can get to that. We'll see what she rolls. Wow. I mean, I don't know. Am I the first one to go? <laughs> shut, shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Uh, and she has, because you are technically prone. She has to. I'm prone, and I'm yeah, I'm, I'm in shadow. So that is a fifteen plus. Oh no, 13. 13 plus 14, 27. With cutting word? Cut, I'm gonna reduce, reduce her attack. Word. Yeah, so go ahead. 27. 27, roll a d10 and reduce her attack by a d10. Roll a d10. Roll a d10. You have to roll a 10. Yeah. You have to roll a 10. Well, do I have, no, because I have, I have. Any uh, cover? I have a you little bit of. still had cover. Do before. I still have my cover bonus? It is a giant mess in there. Does he have covers like he did before? No, he doesn't. He is, he is prone. That's given the disadvantage. So, so you have to roll a 10. <laughs> this is adorable. No. Why is this on me, guys? Because it's oh funnier that way. <laughs> Two. Two. No. The bullet sinks into Percy. Um, you hear the air escape from his lungs as Orthax suddenly flares up with darkness. You watch as the edge of the barrel, some sort of script that was carved in the side of one of the barrels flares away with a purple flash. And it seems like some of Ripley's wounds tend to heal a little bit. Wow. Splash one. She goes, now, it's time to go ahead and make an escape. I'm just gonna use a bonus action to Misty step that way. I can't. She's not next to me. And vanish. Is my axe still in her chest? The axe, as it, she runs away, kind of drags a little bit behind her to the chain, and as soon as she vanishes, it falls to the ground. That brings us to Vex's turn. Are you are you down? Are you unconscious? Oh, uh, I'm not unconscious. That was He's that's dead. technically yeah. speaking. That's He's three. Dead. That's Percy. three. Dead. Is now devoid of life. Can you do anything as a paladin? Can you do anything? <laughs> Whose turn is it? It's Vex's my turn. turn. I um trinkets in the vault in the necklace. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know what I can do. I mean, 
do it. Just kill Orthax. Yeah. Kill, kill Orthax. Orthax. Gotta, That's literally your best bet right now, because I don't. I'm. Can you do something about this? This is necessary nothing. at the moment. You have nothing. I. He's got. Um, okay. Even if I had nope, something, nothing. I couldn't do it. I just scream. I scream, and I start shooting arrows at Orthax. Liam. Go for it. Roll two attacks. Go for Orthax. Did you, uh, did you do something with that? Uh, okay, never mind. Ashley is asking to ban Finn. Would she have felt it. anything because her necklace went off? <laughs> uh, that hits him for sure. 15 plus yeah, 18. Ashley's know. texting quite a lot right now. <laughs> I'm not looking. I don't want to look at all caps. 21 on the second hit. Both hit good roll damage. Nineteen, four is lightning damage. All right. And seventeen, one is lightning damage. Okay. You're gonna stay where you are up in the tree. No, I can I. Can I fly down and try to? I don't. No, I want to fly over where, closer to Percy on the other okay. side of the tree. And fly down this side. Yeah. Okay. That ends your turn. Vax, you're up. And I release Trinket. Trinket is currently unconscious, unconscious. in your necklace. Um, I'm going to attack uh, Orthax. He's got people around him, yeah? Uh, currently, yes. Yeah, alive oh, people. Oh, I, did I get sneak attack mm-hmm. on Orthax? Uh, yeah, because he's in melee. So yeah, roll sneak attack on that. So 2d6 to that. <laughs> eight. Okay. Eight more. Okay, that's eight. Mm. All righty. Um, so Vax. Uh, I'm going to use Sharpshooter on this attack. Okay. Uh, that is a one, so that misses. I'm not going to use Sharpshooter on the next one. That is a 24. 24. Go ahead and roll for sneak attack. Okay. One plus. Not okay. Six, 11, 14, 17, 23, 27, 31. 31. 31 damage. And I'm gonna use my, ah shit, no I'm not. I'm gonna move, uh, where's Trinket? He's in the necklace. In the necklace? Yeah. I'm gonna stay put. Okay. Lean back to turn, Keyleth, you're up. Oh, fuck. Oh, Jesus. Uh. How close is Orthax to me? Orthax is right, right, right in front of you. Pylon. In seeing um, Percy fall, all I have, le- all I have left is Thunder Wave, and I'm gonna do it at fifth level because that's all I have left. Okay. Thunder Wave, Constitution saving throw. That's a nine. That's a failure. So at fifth level. That's an additional 48, so that's 6d8 thunder damage. <clears throat> I rolled all sevens, so 7, 14, uh, 21, plus, oh shit! Fuck. Um, what did I say? 21, uh. plus another 8. Which is 29, plus another 8, which is 37, plus another 6, which is... 43. 43 points of thunder damage. As you turn back at a frustration and blast forth this wave of thunderous energy, you watch as Orthax's shadow form is scattered for a second and falls into this kind of small pile of shadow on the ground that is now shifting for some sort of focus. It's just kind of around the ground like a slippery snake. Uh, Orthax is essentially uh, at zero hit points. Um, that ends Keyleth's turn. Scaling, you're up. I walk over and pick up my sword slowly. Okay. And Take five points of piercing damage to go over and get it. Even gingerly? <laughs> gingerly, you can't quite get to your sword. Um, and hold my attack in case maybe you should okay. camp spell. You can hold a spell too if you want to. I'm uh, holding a spell. What spell are you holding? 
I think she's resistant to it, but I will hold Otiluk's resilient sphere. Okay, good call. All right, so that ends your turn. Back up at the top, uh, Grog. Uh, I go get my, I go get my axe because I'm still raging. Okay, so yeah. You pick up the axe right there, which is where it was kind of on the ground after she vanished. And I hold my axe in there in case she comes back. Okay. End of your turn. She appears. She does. Yes. I will um, encapsulate her or attempt to. Politics of Brazilian Sphere. Odalux. All right. Uh, dexterity saving throw against a DC of. 21 with disadvantage. Because of. Because I cutting words to her. It's true. That would be a 16. The sphere encapsulates her. She is now currently down within the sphere and she looks about, suddenly going, what What the heck is going on? You can curse, it's okay. You killed one of us. <laughs> okay. Everyone gather around. Her. Oh, not leaving Percy. I'm gonna drop this thing and we're all gonna fucking kill her together. No. Yes, we are. She stands there, she can't, she goes and uh, fires at the wall. She just kind of does has no effect. I, uh. Looks over the shoulder. I, um. I have three I, attacks. I get, I slowly walk up to her with with the sword. And right, the well. I'm walking over as well. Okay, I am just so well, first at the end of her turn, the last round of the blink spell does not go off. The, it didn't, the roll didn't happen? Yeah, and it, it, this is like the blink, she didn't blink out, so she's now locked in the sphere and she's starting to look about extremely nervously. The shadow of Ortex comes and kind of finds her and is beneath the orb and can't quite get through. Uh, a, nothing, no magic can happen in the orb. Um, you guys all work towards and bring yourself towards the edge. We'll say. No, I'm staying. I'm staying, staying there. We need okay. you. I'll shoot her from a distance. Okay. Get ready. All right. To. It comes through. We'll say, for sake of brevity, here comes back to Scanlan's turn. Everyone's holding their action. I'd like getting, to get right up next to the orb. Me too. I do as well. I'm getting up on the log so that I can get a clean shot at her. Okay. Vax, you with us? Yes. Kynan actually walks along with you. And heads up. Ready? <laughs> I'm ready. When you are. For Percy. Her hands are around the orb, and right now her eyes are darting around. She's, like, <laughs> She's trying to find a way to think her way out of this. And you see like her face kind of flash in a couple ways. And she looks around cunningly at all of you and kind of smiles. Percy's killing you right now, not us. I drop it, and we all attack. Stab. Oblivion. All right. Go ahead and roll. Croc, roll your three attacks. Reckless, great, everything. Vex, roll your two attacks. Vex, roll your attacks. Scanlan. 29. 26 and 32. God 26 damn it, Gil, you better not fuck me. <clears throat> not bad, Gil. <laughs> 26 and 22. Are we just doing melee attacks or like spell attacks or what? Spell attacks is fine. She doesn't have a whole lot of energy left in her engine and we don't even need to roll damage because how do you, <laughs> Vox Machina, want to do this? I want to sink my dagger into her arm and sever all around her shoulder and rip her fake arm off of her body. <clears throat> she, the, the arm just plummets to the ground, the shadow kind of still coalescing at where the wound is. Um, the shadow of Orthax kind of sh shoots up into where the exposed wound is. With that moment, who does what next? I'd like to carve the Dorolo crest into her forehead. <laughs> As she's clutching this, um, you reach forward and grab her by the throat, her eyes wide, and you just slash across. You can see the 
right now she has no strength to resist. I'm gonna take the axe and go straight across her navel. Feel it. I'm gonna take a grasping vine and choke her around her throat. The vines wrap around and hold her in place. Bex? I want an arrow straight through her heart and one in her mouth as she screams. The scream is cut short as the arrow finds itself placed in the back of the skull, the other one straight to the chest. Grog, your blade cuts through the midsection as the other grasping vine pulls the lower half down. Ripley is entirely torn asunder in a final silent scream. The shadow of Orthax dissipates, sputters, and vanishes. The battlefield grows silent. <laughs> you all turn and look back over your shoulder and see the still body of Percy against the tree trunks over there. I'm still gonna try to cast Cure Wounds on it. I do the same. And that's where we'll pick up next episode. <laughs> oh, shit. What? Why would you do that to us? I didn't, no, I'm, I'm okay with this. It's what they would have done. I'm okay with this. I have nothing left. Just happened. Wait, is that is that it? We need to know because if that's it, then we gotta go get drinks. <laughs> that was our promise. <laughs> well, there are certain people that have magical uh, divine abilities that have been known to restore life to those. It's happened before to other members of your party. How do we get there though? We're so far away. You can bamf us through a tree. There's no trees. Not today. <laughs> She's depleted. I'm totally depleted until we sleep. Maybe I can put him in the, in the, in the next. In the bag of gold again. Yeah. No, in the bag of gold again. I can help. I, I, I think Percy would like that. I think that's very close. I can help drink it. I could put him in the necklace. I could put him in the necklace. Yeah. And maybe stabilize him. I don't know. Can't stabilize. Are we gonna? Are we? Are you're gonna. You're gonna make us deal we with this like this, this think, for a we're fucking week. This out next as time. as as the person who is sitting here, I think that if you we guys, will see you next week. It is it is eleven forty five. It is time. We're gonna consider. We I've this grown a lot of later. emotional attachment to I know, this. Baby. I don't. <laughs> I mean, we can keep going for it, but if you guys no, want to no, stay, no, it's no, no, I'm, I need a, I need a, I need a, I need a process. I need a process. What? Pick this up. Pick this up later. Ashley just texted. She doesn't work next Thursday, so she she doesn't work. She's desperately wanting to get in. Yeah, she was like texting everyone. Mike would be an individual to talk to about this. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Well, that went sideways. I'm. Yeah. Let's 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 stop this conversation for now. We'll have more of this conversation this up later. next week. I will not I have, have this conversation online either, guys. Nothing Sorry. left under a third later. level spell. I mean, nothing left. Next week with new Vox Machina member. <laughs> no. Oh my god. Thank you for your service, Talison. No. What? Shut up, Sam. Shut up. Will Wheaton will be joining us every week. He'll be getting a mohawk. <laughs> Thank you. We'll have we'll have this talk later. Thank you, guys. The story, the story, will, be, the story will continue next week. There's like all of us. Have right. hope. <laughs> have faith. We'll see what transpires. Faith? Members of Vox Machina. What? Members of Vox Machina. We don't have, have faith at this table. It's okay. Some of us do. It's okay. Some of us do. It's okay. Honey. It's fun to be the DM. <laughs> um, <laughs> thank you, Matt. Th thank you, guys. Thank you, Matt. Good game. Good fight. Hard fight. The very clever foe felled. Yeah. We'll pick this up next week. Have a good night, guys. Is it Thursday yet? <laughs> <laughs>